Hello, everybody, and welcome to the stream. Wow, that was all black for a second. I am right between Cthulhu's tentacles, as I wish it to be. This is my happy place. <laughs> but good morning, everybody. I hope you tuned in to the Code Gears collaboration stream. And today we are here to play Sucker for Love, first date. Um, I think it says, I sudo something. <laughs> I'm guessing that's how you say sucker in Japanese. And then Hajime... Those bits I understand. Is the music really going to turn? Oh, come on, repeat, please. Don't leave me in silence. I hate the silence. <laughs> Hope you had a lovely day, Fuchan. I did. I finally got sleep. Like, oh my God. I feel so much more relaxed <laughs> than I have in the last week. Because there's just been so much going on. So I got like a day or two to like calm down. I'm going to definitely look up like which artist we're going to be getting. Wow, it is really going to stay silent. <laughs> um, I'm going to be looking up which artist we're going to end up using uh, well, uh, uh, for our second year badge today. Um, I'll make sure that I get that like at least started today. Uh, there's some other like stuff I want to do, just like personal stuffs. And then we'll be getting ready for birthday prep because oh my God. It's really not long until my birthday, which is kind of scary. 11 days. So just under two weeks. Oh, man, we've had so many things over these last, like, four to five weeks. You and Enigo going neck and neck was exciting. Yeah, that was really funny. <laughs> the fact that I got stuck at the stop spot for so long. And then right at the end, oh, man, I, I still can't believe she got away with Asford. <laughs> Asford was so funny to me. <laughs> Kept getting extra rolls. It was so funny. Yeah, I was getting lucky as well. Uh-oh. One second, I had something set up wrong, which is why I ended up frozen for a second by a powerful spell. Fix that, get my Necronomicon ready. But yeah, today we're playing a game called Sucker for Love First Date. It's a pretty short one. Apparently most people beat it within about three hours, but obviously it's a visual novel. I talk a lot through visual novels and I also do the voice acting, except at this point, the girls will have their own voices, which is good. So I'll just be voicing the main character, I assume, and maybe some other, maybe there'll be some other characters who don't have voices in the game. Um, but the general idea is we are going to summon an Eldritch Horror we're going to try to smash it. <laughs> I mean, by the words of the developer, we're going to try to smooch it. From what I heard, yeah, we're here to smooch. Cthulhu mouth breathing against Archivist. Yeah, in fact, you know what? I'll move myself out of the way into the even more fun position. Ah, uh, yeah. Breathe on me. Oh, it's so warm. Is this why everybody likes Door so much? The hot breath. <sighs> delicious anyway we're gonna be trying to smash cthulhu and some other other monsters i don't think this is even actually cthulhu i think she has her own unique name but it's all like eldritch horror monstery kind of things it's a monster fricker game it's about three hours long it might take us like four to five with how i play these kinds of games <laughs> but yeah we're just gonna, gonna try to monster frick it's our natural habitat let me move myself back up here right between the love filled eyes and let's start our new date I should have the volume settings all set out properly, but we'll find out. Survive chapter one to unlock. Oh, God. Oh, that looks like serious romance. I suit or koi to do something. Hajimete no deto. Oh, oh, they're both Hajimete no deto. Just chapter one and chapter two. Got you. And then something else. Find all three secrets to unlock. That's some gingy Ito level shit right there. I don't know what this is. Kind of cute, though like an egyptian cat girl with just a giant gaping hole in the face of darkness with an ever unblinking eye <laughs> and yeah i like how 80s this feels with like the cassette tapes and the sound effects are really good at it as well three secrets that's easy we'll see depends on how hard the secrets are to find is the big thing <laughs> chapter one lynetta my really scary girlfriend oh Okay, you do the voicing for me. That works. 
God damn, the outline is crazy already. She needs a looser top. <laughs> the secret ending route is by far my favorite. I wonder if we'll manage to find all the secrets then. Are they going to voice this as well? Oh, that's a sick shot of Cthulhu. Hello, 90s anime. It feels even older than 90s to me. It looks like late 80s. Like the VHS track lines and everything. It's balanced, but your volume is lower than usual. Actually, this time my volume shouldn't be lower than usual. I'm at max volume. I checked it before this. I can put myself up. No, no, no. I'm hitting the full yellow. Um, mine shouldn't be lower than usual. But yeah, is the balance for like the other like background music going okay? Hello, Cowboy Bebop. Hell yeah. You sound fine to me. Okay. Yeah, I think that's just someone who maybe their sound system is a bit lower. <laughs> it's actually very high for me. Awesome. That's what we like to hear. Yeah, I made sure before I uh, did the other stream with Enna that we were still on 100. Okay. They're not going to voice this, so I'll do this. Eldritch gods, cosmic horrors, things beyond our understanding. To merely gaze upon their form is to abandon all hope. The only thing protecting all of reality from the final coalescence of insanity and terror is the fact that the unspeakable gods wait dreaming. Their awakening under a line stars heralds the end. Today, the stars are aligned. Damn it! Come on already! Same day shipping my ass. <laughs> yeah, I know that feeling. <laughs> that finger? Yeah, I can finger whatever. Ooh, it oh! Yo, it actually covers up light sources. That's kind of sick, actually. That's. Ooh. I like that. That's attention to detail right there. But yeah, I've got a finger. I can. <laughs> oh, he's a little bit adorable. Oh, how's my Cthulhu doing? Oh, you little baby boy. <laughs> anyway, come on already. Same day shipping my ass. I only have a half hour tops until the stars move out of position. I better wash my face to calm down. A year ago. <laughs> Wait, that's me? I, I have a poster of myself on the wall. Am I a model or something? I kind of look like Alvin Yan. <laughs> Wait a damn minute. This is Alvin Yan if he aged by like five years. <laughs> what the sh... Oh, man. Fuchan, that's a mirror. Yeah, now I know that it... Wait. In the bedroom was a mirror? I was like poking the thing in the bedroom. Is it not a mirror? I don't know. We'll go back and look in a minute. I really didn't think it was a mirror. I thought it was a poster. If it wasn't a poster, how the heck did I... That's the bathroom. Okay, yeah, no, no, no. I know this is a mirror in the bathroom. I mean, in the bedroom, there's a poster of this same dude. That's why I was confused. <laughs> that's not a cat boy. That's a cat man. Exactly. A year ago, I saw the face of an eldritch being in my dreams. It whispered its name to me. Lynetta. Ever since, I've been obsessed with trying to see it again. I'm not the kind of person to get addicted to stuff or spend recklessly. But I just can't help myself. I also like that I have a giant D hanging from my neck. <laughs> I don't think that has anything to do with my name. It's just, hey, I'm that D. <laughs> There's something I have to do once I see it again. Was that the door? Thank goodness. See, it's him. It's slightly buffer than him. But yeah, no, that's a poster in his room of himself. Candyman. I... Idol 1991 number one. Oh, so D, I am an idol. I'm an idol. That's unexpected. <laughs> I am the number one idol of 1991. So this is actually early 90s. It isn't um, late 80s. But man, I did not expect myself to be an idol in this game where I'm just trying to fucking eldritch horror. <laughs> Poster of himself over his bed is crazy. To be fair, if I was the number one idol, let's visiting Deacon. <laughs> Deacon. <laughs> Candyman. Okay, so Candyman's the name of the club, and I'm D. <laughs> it is the name, then. I really just be giving them that D all day long, apparently. Was that the door? Thank goodness. I spent way too much money on getting this for me to miss my chance. The amount of money I've lost to scammers claiming to have the real deal is a little embarrassing. But as of today... As of today... I have a genuine Necronomicon, an ancient spellbook containing the dark rituals needed to contact the Elder Gods. Finally, I'll... 
that's not a Necronomicon. That's like a teenage girl's diary. <laughs> a teenage girl who's into tentacles. So, I mean, can I touch the turtle? No, not yet. I want to touch the turtle. But yeah, teenage girl who's into tentacles. So good for her. There's some wild fan fiction written in this, but still. <laughs> Is D his pseudonym? A pseudonym? Pseudonym? Yeah, it should be D. Um, Like, should be his, like, idol name or possibly his host name. I mean, it says at Candyman, so rather than being an idol idol, I think he's like a host idol. Uh, you show up at Candyman and he will host you. D for David. Yeah, I was thinking about doing the David Kun voice, but there is no way I would have do a David Kun voice for the whole stream. <laughs> so I was like, screw it. He's the protagonist. I'll just go with my normal voice. It's fine. Huh? What the hell is this? Why is it pink? Isn't this supposed to be like brown and bigger? It's supposed to be an ancient book covered in flesh or something. This looks like it just came from an office supply store. No. Please don't tell me. Scammed again. How much money I spent this time? I thought there'd be no chance it'd be fake. Great. No way I'm getting my money back either. Scammer is probably long gone too. Yeah, you see, chat, I wasn't going to make that joke, Sparrow Splat. I was sitting there like, no. No, you're better than that for chat. <laughs> we don't need to make a size queen joke, but fine, fine. Damn it. I need a new hobby, seriously. What a strange scam, though. I think they'd at least try to go for an authentic look. I personally like the gold leafing. That's impressive. Honestly, it may not be a real Necronomicon, but it's a cute book. Just turn it into a diary. Just white out all the pages and start writing in it. It's gorgeous. <laughs> Do they really think nobody would notice that their Book of the Dead is Malibu Pink? Wait. Is this symbol on the front... embossed? Is this thing made of real leather? The pages look gilt and gold, too. And this weight... Yeah, he definitely is a size queen. <laughs> it's like, damn, it's so hefty. You know what? <laughs> Why'd they make a knockoff out of such high-quality materials? Oh, my computer. That's probably just the delivery confirmation message. What the? My order was delayed. It won't be delivered until tomorrow? Well, that doesn't really work considering the stars are aligning today only. Oh, yeah. But yeah, where did the book come from then? <laughs> Maybe Lynetta likes us. Maybe Lynetta went into our dreams for a reason. She's calling out to us. Let's fucking go. Then what the hell is this book supposed to be? Did it get delivered to me by accident or something? There's no shipping label on the box. Stranger still, this inscription at the bottom. It's Relayan, the unholy language of the Eldritch Gods. Also, the pages reek of formaldehyde, embalming fluid. In other words, it stinks of death. Okay, now my question is, what the fuck did they skin to make a pink flesh book? <laughs> They must have skinned some poor, adorable, cre creepy pink monster. That's mine, my bad. Wait, what? <laughs> Guess it is made of skin? Yeah. Why would something so cute have such an insidious aura around it? Maybe I'll take a look inside. Objective, perform the ritual. Is this my book? This is my book. Ah. The calling. She do look cute. She's doing like the come hither thing. Mm. I like the spikes on the shoulder. You know, interesting question. Yeah, I want to know what they skinned to make this. <laughs> Human skin, kinda. Did they paint it pink? I guess they could have just painted it pink. Maybe they just wanted it to look cute. <laughs> Ensure all possible light has been snuffed from the room. In your room, this means. Okay, in your room, this means. So this is somebody who's stalking me. Yeah, Lynetta, Lynetta wants to come down to Earth. She knows I'm a simp. She's like, he'll call me. He'll call me. <laughs> Draw your curtains, turn off your bedside lamp, turn off your overhead lights. In the dark, light the red fire candles. They're for your protection. The dark is dangerous. Find and put on your ritual necklace. When all is complete, chant. Uh oh, I can. Neta fart im nilgri. What if I do it without? <laughs> what, what if I end up doing it without doing the protection? Ah, too fast. I am going to get possessed and murdered. This is the fastest bad end of all fucking time. Wrong candles. Oh. 
<laughs> well, that's not helpful. At least they translated the important part. No, whoa. Never leave the lights off. Okay. Her name, her name, her name, her name, her name, her name, her name. Concert. Deep. Bomb dead. For concert be the second eight. Ooh. Do not cover your ears. You will need them. Nothing is just your imagination. Okay. Well, you know what? Candles on. More important. Oh. That's not black candles. That's white candles. Don't be silly. Turtle. <laughs> you know what? You're coming with me, buddy. I'm going to call you... Timothy. Timothy. No, shit. That. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's probably why my mind connected with that. Screw it. You are Timothy. I don't care. The sound effect. Yeah, the sound effect is so adorable. I have a little turtle. His name is Tiny Tim. Take the knife. I don't think I even needed the knife. It definitely said I needed a necklace. I need to turn off the lights. Guessing like this. Ooh. I can remove. No, leave that up. I want her to know that I'm the number one idol at Candyman. <laughs> oh, everything's getting so much darker. Pyramid. Oh, 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 oh. The numbers were in the book. Do, 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 do. I know I saw a pyramid with numbers in it. 613-753-294. Oh. Is this just all like different demon summoning things from like the Solomon's book or something? I don't know. Well, let's go with this one. I like that one. <gasps> Ritual robe. <laughs> then a band t-shirt. <laughs> yeah. I may be the type to be in a cult, but that doesn't mean I can't look fashionable. What if I just leave and don't do the ritual? Oh, I can't go anywhere else. The freaking hand blocking the light is so sick. An artist when it matters? Yeah, I need to do a demon summoning. You're damn well right. I'm going to like triple check to make sure everything looks good. <laughs> Imagine if I do a demon summoning ritual and I fuck it up just because I can't draw good. Smooch. I, I like that that's just always an option. I just need three hearts. Hey, what's this? My bathroom. You stay on. You stay on. Just in case. Running water. Why do I look so crazy? Am I okay? <laughs> My dude. Yeah, let's wash your face. And again. Calm down, dude. Okay, let's go summon your demon girlfriend. Eldritch horror girlfriend. Bro is stressed. I don't know why. This is nice and chill. Okay. I think I'm ready. I've got all the light off. Fine. I've got my ritual necklace. I don't want to put the mask on. I wanted to know I'm a human. I don't want to, like, confuse her and be like, yeah, I'm totally a tentacle monster like you. And then be like, nah. I was catfishing you. <laughs> okay. Neta of art il. Lugap kta dishtu. Nil ril. I thought you were going to voice these lines. <laughs> um, mortal. Oh, God. It actually worked. She's here. And she does look fine as fuck. Holy shit. That outline is enough for me. A beacon of madness is towering over me. An omnipotent and chaotic avatar of world-ending calamity. Even with a year of preparation for this moment, I'm frozen in fear. And... Lust? Those thighs, man! Those are child-birthing hips. And those wings? Yeah, she can carry me around. For what purpose have you awoken Laneha the Starspawn and brought about the end of reality? I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm just really fucking horny. Um, saw your thighs? 
saw your chest, saw your tentacles, and I was like, that's what I want. I can't talk. I can't even breathe. Blinding dread, choking terror. My very sanity is teetering on the precipice. And looking down. <laughs> Wait, was that a suggestion that he has a huge fucking boner? <laughs> no one. Mikella? Oh, I recognize her voice. I don't. The VA is real good. Yeah, I like the VA. It sounds like very, very relaxing. I also love a voice actor. Mikella Laws. I don't know this person yet. Awesome. Voice is nice. Awesome. I'll look that up after. I wonder what else they've been in. I definitely feel like I know it from somewhere. That's what I mean when it feels like relaxed and chill. I feel like I've heard the voice before, but I can't recognize where it's from for me. His name is Capital D for a reason. That's why he's the number one host at the host club. Currently and permanently erect. <laughs> oh my God. No, I finally got this far. I finally have my chance. I can't perish now. Dark one, I ask that you grant my wish. You wish to be the first human to be destroyed, yes? So that you are spared from the cataclysm I shall wreak upon all life. Let me turn this up just a little bit so you can hear it a little bit. Is he an idol? He's more of a host, I think. But they named him number one idol at the host club, so yeah. She's a VTuber as well? Oh, freaking awesome. Okay, Lynetta. Hey, man. Let her be Chuni. I mean, she's an eldritch horror. She could probably actually do it. <laughs> Destroy us in bed. Yeah. Let's see how. Let's see how she takes my actual request. She's an eldritch horror, and I'm acting like she's a fucking succubus. No. I want to smooch you. <laughs> he literally says fucking smooch. Oh my god, he sounds like fucking Link in the '80s Zelda cartoon. Oh boy, smooching time. <laughs> <laughs> that took such a turn. Let's go, Lynetta. I want to smooch. Say it again, creep. And how are you looking directly at me without being driven mad? Oh, I'm mad, just not in the way you're thinking. Again, those hips. And oh, my God, you, you could wear a looser dress, but <laughs> he actually said it. I'm mad with lust. Send me back. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. You're, you're, you're mine now. You don't want to end the earth? That's your problem. You're still hanging out with me. <laughs> also, my poster changed. Damn it. I wasn't a Cthulhu fanboy. I was my own fan. Huh? You just got here. What about destroying reality as I know it? <laughs> he sounds so excited for that. He's like, yeah, destroy reality. Just, you know, destroy me first. <laughs> I'll do it next time. Maybe when the stars realign in a thousand years or so. Uh, do let me know if this sound is loud enough, by the way. There's no way to adjust, like, and yes? No. So, yeah, there's no way to adjust, like, the volume of the voice over the music. So, let me know if the voice is too quiet and you need it a bit higher. She's definitely a bit lower than me, but yeah. Pretty good? Okay, cool. But I'll be long dead by then. Exactly. Rude! How dare she say exactly? <laughs> is a bit soft it's fine though okay i'll turn it up just a tiny bit more the music actually seems to be pretty well balanced so put it up a little bit more so she's a little closer to my volume hey i went through all the trouble of finding this damn book the least you could do is that position holy shit huh what this i found it outside my door D does she want the book this is her diary isn't it that moo always trying to set me up with someone ray moo moo wait who's ray moo moo to you <laughs> moo moo finally setting me up it's about damn time moo who's that Are they the one who left this funny looking necronomicon on my doorstep it's not a necronomicon it's not what necronomicon is bright pink silly i mean i agree with you on that one i was right there until you know you appeared God, she's cute. What's with the sudden personality change? Does she recognize the book? Uh, well, if it's not a Necronomicon, what is it? It's a survival guide. Oh. <laughs> so they uh, they genuinely mean it when it says like, hey, never turn the lights off and keep your ears open. Am I going to get eaten if I don't? <laughs> a Necronomicon? 
Necronomicon, like with a nom. Like, eating, so it don't get eaten. That's what I'm going to call it. A Necronom nom, actually. Necronom nom! <laughs> For what? For dating me. Oh. What, really? This thing! Mm -hmm. It's full of rituals that I like. Offerings, spells, and how to protect your sanity while performing them. Oh, I am so in the right place. I am so in. Why is she excited about that? Surely that's like a breach of confidentiality or something. Like, I'm just like... It's basically her diary. It's like, hey, here's everything she likes. Here's what not to do around her. <laughs> the two I mostly know, Michaela, are from Ayano in Yandere Simulator and Silvana from Alpha... Half Mouse Street. I don't know either of those, unfortunately. I mean, I know of Yandere Simulator, but I never actually played it. Sanity who? Exactly. She's already driven me crazy. I love how her ponytail is just a giant fucking love heart. Oh, no, I guess those are tentacles. <laughs> is that hair or more tentacles? I honestly don't know, but yeah, she's adorable now. I struck gold. All the money I spent finally paid off. Wait, what'd she just say? Protect my sanity. I am a cosmic entity beyond comprehension. So no amount of contact with me is safe for a human. Your mind could snap like a reed at any moment, actually. That's hot. Honestly, that's a vibe. I'm down with that. <laughs> Tentacles, question mark? True. <laughs> Michaela did Tumblr goes crazy. Oh, I do remember that. I wonder if that's where I know from. Didn't mean Yarlothep, did she? Nyalothep is a different um, Eldritch Horror, along with Cthulhu and a bunch of other ones. I think Cthulhu and Nyalothep are the main two that people know. Gorsh! Oh, don't make that face. I can make it worth your while, if you understand what I'm getting at. I think I do. Okay. <laughs> Why is she suddenly so down for this... There's something wrong here. <laughs> Why did she go from get me the hell out of here to, oh, he has the book. The book must have some something she can use in it. You'll let me smooch ya? If you can make it to the end, darling. Damn, she's down. <laughs> if you chicken out or go insane, I'll end reality right then and there. Honestly, that works for me. I mean, yeah, I am a bit of a Riz God after all. No way I'm going to chicken out or lose my sanity before I get to smooch ya. Well, will you spare the world if I win that kiss? No. Oh, huh. that's okay. I don't care about them. It'll take me back to the weird Eldritch dimension though, right? You knew what you were getting into when you woke me up, right, darling? I did. Fuck humanity. Fuck the world. Fuck existence. As long as I get my smooches. Looks like my only two options are die or die without getting a kiss. Hmm. Well, I say if you've already eaten the poison, you might as well lick the plate. <laughs> Facts, actually. Yeah, shit's already started. I might as well have some fun with this on the way out. <laughs> so if the world is going to end either way, deal. <laughs> I like to think he went from like the normal Bishonin look to like the giant Fist of the North style look. It's just like, deal. I will get my smooch. <laughs> Excellent. Let's begin the date then. Why don't you start with the Invoke the Deaths ritual? Oh, baby, it is better down where it's wetter. Okay, how do I do that? I'll invoke the shit out of those depths. That's the calling. Oh, they translated it for me now. Aw, that's sweet. So, okay. We have to, we have to, yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep reading new pages. Fuchan, what? I mean, that's the depths we're diving into, right? Right? We're invoking the depths. I'm just assuming that means... Or play. <laughs> Do not... Wait, actually, let's read this in these voices. Do not perform this ritual alone. Snuff all light from the room. Turn on your sink or shower to make the sound of moving water. When all is complete... <laughs> wait, actually, now that you need the running water as, like, a guide to help it, maybe it just means she needs to pee. <laughs> maybe she just needs to pee. <laughs> She's just like, come on, do the Invoke the Depths ritual. She's just chuny as shit. She's like, I kind of need to pee, but it's not coming. Can you can you make running water noises? <laughs> that always helps me go. <laughs> when all is complete, chant. Nathal forgotten. Do not look out your window from now on. 
Oh, so I'm going to be trapped in this room from now on as well. That's fun. Good. Okay, nothing new is unlocked. Okay. Um, snuff all light. So I even turn off the candles. Turn on sink or, sink or shower. I think they're already on. Wait, why did that turn back on? I never turned that on. Also, get out of here, Cthulhu. She's my daughter now. She's going to be calling me daddy from now on. <laughs> Oh, no. <laughs> uh, no more touching grass. Yeah, we're stuck here forever. Oh, good. We have a lot of running water. Yeah, we're all already golden. Did my blinds open, though? Nope. Sick. And you know what? No more of this needed. You know what? I'll keep the necklace. The necklace may save my life. Oh, she's chilling on my bed now. Hey. What's with the worried look, darling? No worries here. I was just excited to see you in bed already. I shouldn't be doing these spells alone. The book says so. But you aren't alone. I'm here. True. You know what? You know what I mean. These rituals look really bad for my long-term health. Long-term health? The world ends when this date does. What does it matter if your mind is unraveling? She makes a fair point. Nobody is in this world for the long haul anymore. These rituals... Oh, D stands for darling now. That's cute, actually. <laughs> These rituals look bad for my short-term health, too. Well, you better finish them quickly, then. If only I were a minute, man. Make life easier. Why did my hair turn pink? I mean, I'm down. It looks good, actually. I thought I was going to look more insane, but... <gasps> Is she going to turn me fully pink and then skin me to make more books? Oh, no. <laughs> well, this is fine. I am darling after all. That's all that really matters. Okay, let's, let's go do this ritual. Also, the little hearts. I think the little hearts are just part of the shirt, though. I mean, that's just because I took off the robes. Who knows? Maybe he was make me wearing different clothes. I put the clothes on, like, straight away, so... She's going to skin you for the book? Yeah, she's going to turn me fully pink, and then I'm going to be the next Necronomad dating guide. Necronom you know, I didn't expect you to last this long in the same room as me. I know, right? I told you. Not a minute, man. I spent a lot of time preparing to smooch you. It'd be a waste if I lost my grip on reality and tripped at the finish line. <laughs> yeah, honestly, just speedrun this date, my dude. You have got to go insane very quickly. Or maybe you're only holding it together because you've already gone insane. You know... <laughs> I mean, I did see you in my dreams. Maybe that was just the beginning of the end for what me. I'm just what your mind wants to see. Things don't look like they did before I got here, do they? There is a lot more pink. I'll give you that. Yeah. Things look better now that you're here. Oh, my God. This is just a different version of what... It, what's it called? A uh, Sayano <laughs> ah, She's so smooth. Aw, she likes that. That's cute. Okay, you know what? I'll do the ritual. I didn't even want to talk to you. I just wanted to remove the poster. Okay. Nalfthagen Urgol Oth Raila Unyokmil. Home sweet home. Are we. What did I just do? You brought the outer depths to us. Didn't you read the spell's name? Our connection is stronger now. Confidence. It wasn't foreplay. I fucked up. I think I just led to the Earth's earlier destruction. The closer you get to where my true form lies dreaming, the stronger my influence on you in this world. Oh, sweet. I am just being used. Wow. At least you'll hopefully reward me before the end. Give me more than a smooch, though. God damn. Ending the world for a smooch is such a pathetic deal. <laughs> we're in the abyss now, yeah. I know we broke free before, but we're back down here. <laughs> I mean, being used, as long as I'm being used in a fun way, it's all that matters. Will I be okay? Just focus on following the book perfectly. You're good to start doing these rituals on your own, right? No, it says to not be alone. You stay with me. No, 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 wait, why are you leaving? Icky from the summoning, so I wanted to use your shower. Do you mind? No, I don't. You can shower. Um, I also have a washing machine in there, so you can wash your clothing if you want. If it's covered in like blood and pus and tentacle fluid and stuff. 
Uh, go ahead. <laughs> Thanks. No peeking. I'm surprised an eldritch horror worries about that. <laughs> but okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. God, he's immediately like so just chill about this again. I mean it. Don't peek. Why does that make it hotter? I mean, I never planned on peeking, but now I kind of want to see what happens if I do. I, I won't. Mm -hmm. <laughs> She's a really good voice actor. She's doing cute but scary at the same time. It's adorable. No wonder she got into uh, Yandere Sim. She's perfect to play a Yandere. <laughs> I won't peek. You're sure you won't? I kind of want to see the bad ending, so I'm not sure that I won't. Positive. All right, I'll be back in a jiffy. No, 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 you take your time. Can I save my game? You can't save. Okay, you can load checkpoints though, so it's an auto save kind of thing. I mean, there's only, oh yeah, it says not to be in the dark. Um, I'll keep some light on, not all the light. I know she probably doesn't like light, but. Yeah, fuck it, let's go. How long do you think they made her record humming this song? Think we can wait it out? We're definitely gonna die anyway. Exactly, we die no matter what happens. Did she at least wash her clothing? Nah, she didn't. It's disgusting. Wait, where is she, her clothing? Unless she's showering with it on. She has a beautiful voice. She really does. Is that the end of it? Yay! <laughs> we outdid it. Okay, fuck it. Wait first. This is fine. This is fine. Ikuzu! <laughs> Worth it. <laughs> I fucking love this game already. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, he died of happiness. So yeah, if you don't know anything about like the Cthulhu mythos, um, the Eldritch horror kind of stuff, the Lovecraftian shit, if you see the true form of one of the old ones, you do like your eyes melt out of your head and you go fully insane. So worth it. <laughs> okay, Metlinetta invoked depths. Okay, oh, well, there's two options. I mean, true ending zero out of two. Oh. Home sweet home. Yeah, we did this. This is fine. You I won't peek. Don't worry. Okay. Next objective. Perform abyssal miss. Uh, take, give me back my turtle. He's my little guy. What did I just get from there? Milk? <laughs> I can never escape the milk. Do I have the milk here? I do. <laughs> I got the young knife. <laughs> oh, I'm never dodging those allegations. Let's put it back in the fridge. Let's not let that get warm. Okay. The depths we've done. Abyssal miss. Ensure your sink or shower is running to make the sound of moving water, then go outside. Avoid making eye contact with that which rooms the fog. They'll know if you saw them. Uh oh, that's terrifying. <laughs> Turn off your lights before you leave. This one isn't a warning. It'll just help lower your electricity bill. <laughs> That's pretty fucking funny. And then chant. Oh, that's everything. That's nice and simple, actually. Okay, we turn off the lights. Avoid eye contact with that which rose the fog and leave water running. I really hope she doesn't turn off my water and get me killed. That would suck. Give me my necklace back. Leave that on. Let's not go out in cult robes, but I will take my knife just in case. I'll put, I'll put, I'll put Timothy back as well, just for safety. Get out of here, dad. Water bills throughout. Yeah, but at least my electricity bill is down. Okay. We're outside. Nice, beautiful, sunny day. I love the God rays. I love the little bits of dust. Wait, what's this? Oh, that's another way to get to the... Gotcha. Okay, it's time. Jeez, it looks like Quiet Hill and 
out here with all this fog. Oh, they mean Silent Hill. I was like, wait, Quiet Hill? That's a reference I don't get. Okay, so avoid looking at the things in the fog or they're gonna see me too. <laughs> Is something moving out there? Quit looking, my dude. You had one rule. <gasps> Darling, you didn't. I did. I made the world more comfortable for you. None of that icky sunlight so you won't feel as gross anymore. You can get more comfy. I love foggy, rainy days by the sea. It's like my favorite weather on the surface world. Honestly, so do I. Like, a lot of people talk about rain ruining, like, a beach trip. You're going to be swimming anyway. Fuck the sun. I prefer rain on the beach. Swimming in the rain is actually amazing. Still extremely humid. Okay, that would suck. <laughs> By the sea, you got to have the fish people, man. If you've read any Lovecraftian horror, there's always the fish people mixed in with the cultists. I didn't know you have a house on the water. That, that, there's no, um... Yeah, I, I made sure it would be as comfortable for you as possible. I mean, it's not like you can see anything from like much further than 30 feet away from us. Totally. We're right by the beach. I didn't five minutes ago. <laughs> In fact, I'm hundreds of kilometers from the coast. Even the wildest of hurricanes. Oh, wait, this is even the wildest of hurricanes would never flood the area like this. What terrible power is this thing capable of? <sighs> There's something just so romantic about standing on a balcony during a storm. Isn't there? God, it would be even better if it was like a full-on like widow's walk. Widow's walks are just amazing. Just stand out and look down upon all the peasants below. Throw pennies at them. It's fantastic. I'd hate to cut the fun short. Can we go back inside now? What's wrong, darling? Getting chilly? Uh, no, it's all the things shambling around in the mist, actually. Volker. Okay, honestly, the first part was real, though. <laughs> Why pennies? Because genuinely, it's terrifying. Never, ever throw pennies off of, like, a high ledge. They basically become bullets. Um, but yeah, no. Widow's walks are actually really cool. What's a widow's walk? A widow's walk is, like, at the top of a building, normally of, like... Normally, like, a full-sized house. So, like, two to three stories. It's just essentially, like, a balcony, but without, like, proper balcony stuff. It's a tiny, tiny little thing that sticks out of a house. Uh, it was called a widow's walk because normally they'd have those kind of buildings by the ocean and it would look out upon the ocean and so like women who were married to fishermen to sailors uh to soldiers they'd see their husbands go out to sea and every day they'd go out and look upon look from their widow's walk which is basically a tiny balcony out to sea wondering when their husbands were going to come back like a lighthouse balcony yeah but you, you basically just have them on houses but yeah that's why it was a widow's walk it was the whole idea of like looking out onto sea, not knowing if you were a widow already or if your husband would be back someday. I think they're pretty. I think they're nice. I like the idea of being able to just stand out in the open air. <laughs> it feels like something's watching me from out there. We can go inside if you like, but it's not like it's any safer in there. <laughs> Yay. After all, the next page in the book has an unspeakable horror on it. I bet it's not. I bet it's like her in lingerie or something. <laughs> Hence the name. Yeah, like a Juliet balcony. Oh, actually, yeah, yeah. It's very... The difference is that, like, the Romeo and Juliet balcony... I mean, Juliet lived in essentially a castle. She lived in a huge fucking estate kind of thing. But the same kind of thing. Yeah, just like a tiny little balcony that sticks out of the house that you can basically just, like, take a step out on, maybe fit a tiny table on. I would want one, like, with a tiny little table to do, like, reading and writing. It'd be so nice. I thought it was called a widow's walk because you would push your husband off and become a widow. I like that idea, actually. That's pretty sick, too. Gulp. Uh, unspeakable horror? Some kind of monster's going to jump out of me there? You'll see what I mean. Oh, God. Um. I still don't want to see the faces in the fog, thank you. How are you doing, honey? Can I not talk to her anymore? Oh, that's sad. Okay, let's see these unspeakable horrors. Huh, eh, that's fine. It's a cat girl with some tentacles. It doesn't even say there's any, like, guide to this one. It just tells me to chant. Okay. Maybe it'll give her cat ears. I'm down for that. Um, screw it. Throw these dice. 
Northert. Poom. Oh. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, I knew I was pronounced to get wrong, but I sure, I thought he was being okay. That a bestie? Maybe. Maybe it's like a rivalry kind of thing. Maybe that's why she was talking about unspeakable horror. Maybe she's going to show up and she's going to be like, Oh my God, bitch. It's been forever. You look hideous kind of thing. <laughs> what the hell? I can't even begin to pronounce this. Yeah, duh. That's why it's an unspeakable horror. Eight out of ten. Pretty good. Pretty good. <laughs> unspeakable. Get it? As in, cannot be spoken. My Eldritch horror. My Eldritch horror girlfriend cannot be this cute. <laughs> this is just... That should have been the name of this game. <laughs> Wait. You can pronounce this? Of course I can. I can pronounce anything. You got like the Rosetta Stone hidden somewhere in that tiny, tiny tight dress? Maybe that's what's around her hips, actually. <laughs> Anything. Anything. Okay. We're going to have to get you deciphering some ancient relics because people have been very confused. Especially about like the ancient, ancient Mesopotamian things where they were basically just tied strings. Um, we have no idea what those mean. Let's let's go with that. I have a plushie from makeshift. Oh, that's so cute. I kind of want one too. Her head is adorable. <laughs> the rest of her is just like distracting for on a plushie. <laughs> Read Folger's mind then. Switch on focus. No! I like playing games this way. Worcestershire sauce! Good luck! Only British people can pronounce that. Everybody else is like, Worcestershire. <laughs> it's Worcestershire sauce. Oh yeah? Then what's this delicious liquid which I put on my burger meat all the time? And sometimes in, like, inside like stews. Uh, it's really good on like eggs occasionally. Um, I prefer brown sauce, but Worcestershire sauce is really good for like recipes, cooking into things. Worcestershire sauce? Oh, <gasps> Lynetta, you fucking legend. She definitely did a semester in the UK. Damn, you are the real deal. <laughs> I love how that's the test. We've got all these kinds of ancient, unreadable, unrecognizable languages. And he's just like, how about Worcestershire sauce? <laughs> You're the one speaking in tongues, foo. Maybe that's why I can read, like, the creepy Lovecraftian script. I'm just like, I've trained myself with Worcestershire sauce. <laughs> Worcestershire sauce. I love that. Hey, wait a minute. Those tentacles are like extra tongues, right? Then your weakness is tongue twisters. Now, if anything, she'd be better at tongue twisters because she has so many tongues. Surely... Why did his mind go there? I thought he was incredibly horny. There are better things to th focus on. Say toy boat 10 times fast. Toy boat, toy boat, toy boat, toy boat. Yeah, it just turns into toy, 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 toy. Toy boat, toy boat, toy boat, toy. Yeah, just immediately. Wow, that's hard. Toy boat, 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 toy boat. I mean, if we're doing it that slowly, toy boat, 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 toy. Oh, wow, it gets hard at the end, actually, still. Toy boat, toy boat. Let me count them. Toy boat, toy boat, toy boat. <laughs> toy boat, toy boat, toy boat, toy boat, toy boat, toy boat, toy toy shit. Fuck, that was actually impressive. Okay. Well played. <laughs> I did not know it would be that hard even when you slow it down to that level. Holy crap. It starts turning into tall boy for me. <laughs> Michaela needs a raise. For real, man. <laughs> Show off. Okay, what's next? We've done that. Well, well, no, we haven't done that. <gasps> Eldritch Mouth. Is that going to give me the ability to smooch better? Oh, boy. Smooching time. <laughs> I can't believe we're saying smooch so much. I love this game. <laughs> this ritual will allow you to utter unspeakable incantations. Does it actually grow out of my hat? Well, there is like the body horror fact of having a hand grow, uh, having your hand grow a mouth. Pretty disgusting. Would not like feeling it move and shit like that. Don't know how Vampire Hunter D deals with it. But the uses of having an extra mouth on your hand are uncountable. <laughs> Perform this ritual someplace where gore can be cleaned easily, like a bathroom. Oh, it definitely is going to rip out my flesh and have the mouth spit it out. Wear no robes or amulets. Have a ritual knife on your person. Okay. No robe or amulet, ritual knife. I've got my ritual knife. Still got the amulet. Get out of me. 
Okay, ritual knife, nothing else. Perfect. Paster, you can do fun things with the hand mouth? Yeah, you could. Ah, <laughs> oh, Young CGA? Yeah, 100%. <laughs> I mean, I didn't want to go that obvious with it, but yeah. Oh, she looks better in the light. Poke. 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 Pokey, pokey, pokey. <laughs> I kind of thought the game would have a thing where it would just be like, hey, that's too much. She's got to get pissed. I haven't gone too much more insane. This is fine. Wait, what did I need to do? Gore can be clean easily. Okay, yeah, that's why I'm in the bathroom. I was like, why did I go to the bathroom? <laughs> My mind remembered. Mgoka. Yo. Mgopog. Steak. Oh no. Eldritch Mouth, huh? Maybe I should have considered the spell more carefully before casting it. If there's so much as a single scar, I might actually lose my job. Oh, he's still a host. Holy shit. Using all that host money to buy a Necronomicon so you could summon an Eldritch Horror Girlfriend. <laughs> like how his design changes based on which route he's on. Oh. I think it's more that they affect the entire world because things weren't pink before either. Need the Eldritch Mouth for smooching? Probably. Otherwise, you'd probably lose your mind even faster. <laughs> Please don't let me have something freaky on my face. It's my livelihood on the line here. Okay. Big breaths. Brace yourself. Well, my face is fine. Is my hair getting lighter? Yeah, okay. This is what's happening. It's not that my hair went pink. It's slowly going white from, like, <laughs> insanity. I'm losing my mind. I'm getting stressed as hell. I am definitely going to have a full-on mind break by the end of this. I'm... I... I'm... I'm still cute as hell, baby. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you are. I love how that's what he's worried about. He doesn't mind the giant white hair or anything. Oh, man. I thought I'd get an eldritch mouth or something. Check your hand, you idiot. You saw what the book showed. Everything seems pretty much the same. Weird. Hey, Nana? Yes? Holy shit, she just immediately summoned herself. <laughs> ah! You startled me. Y you called me! I mean, yeah, but you teleported. Uh, uh, uh. Who the hell was the third voice? What are you talking about? That was you! Look! I do have a mouth on my hand. She takes a hold of my hand. Whoa. Hand holding on the first date? Moving fast, but that's okay. <laughs> He's so pathetic. I love him. <laughs> no, look at your hand, silly. My hand? I don't like it. It looks like it's grown into me. I. Oh, you. Oh, f what? Yeah, get it off! Quick, grab that knife from the bedroom to cut it off. Hurry! Cut it off? But it's your hand now. See? Surely enough, it's not a disembodied mouth stuck to my hand. It's a very much embodied mouth indeed. <sighs> Is this really my hand? What? did I do to my hand? <laughs> Darling, are you all right? This is screwed up. I mean, I knew I'd be in harm's way, but permanent body disfigurement this early on? But, but I'm not stopping before I get that smooch. No matter what, I'm just going to think positive. And now I can get a double smooch or a triple smooch. I can smooch myself. I can do other things myself. This isn't so bad. <laughs> I, I mean, there's got to be a silver lining to this. <laughs> now I have my pick of which mouth to use when I smooch you. <laughs> it's great. It's fantastic. I'm happy. I'm happy. Darling. Is someone at the door? This is bad. Did I get busted? A sudden shock feels like a splash of cold water that snaps me in my senses. Whole new meaning to hand job. Holy shit, Mickey Tachan. Not wrong. I mean, you'd be very popular 
<laughs> Everybody's like, damn, did you hear about Fuchan's hand jobs? Shit's crazy. <laughs> damn, I must have done something to give us away. Was I shouting too loudly about that knife? Did the neighbors call the job call the cops? If someone interrupts my rituals now, the stars will fall out of alignment before I can finish. <laughs> finish is definitely phrasing too. <laughs> damn it! I even picked the apartment on the top floor to minimize the number of people noticing odd sounds or smells from my room. If it's the police, they're going to insist on looking around. I'm not going to be able to smooth talk my way out of a demon in my room. Either way, I need to prepare myself now. Who knows how quickly things are going to go south once I answer the door. Hello, are you in? <laughs> I heard you shouting just now. Come on, let me in. That is 100% a cat girl. As soon as I heard that voice, I heard cat girl. That is a cat girl, <laughs> without doubt. <laughs> Probably the one with the creepy, like, void for a face, I'd imagine. Crap, it's even worse than the police. It's only one person it could be, and at the worst possible time. Wait, I know this person, they're human? What do I do? Is it even safe to go outside right now with all the world bending spells I've been casting? Who's that, darling? Um, nobody. Don't worry about it. Probably the mailman. I'll make him leave. Give me a sec. Is it like a childhood friend that's obsessed with me? Are we going full anime? <laughs> you don't look so good. Maybe I should get the door? Or a sister. You know what? It could be a sister. Childhood friend is one thing. Probably yandere childhood friend. But also sister is a, yeah. Sister that just happens to not be blood related is normally how they go. <laughs> no. I mean, no, I really don't think that's a good idea. Why not? You'd break their mind with a single glance. You're a mind flaying goddess. Maybe it'll be too much for someone who wasn't expecting it. Yo, smooth. Hmm. I guess it's a good point. That was a smooth way to deliver that. Holy shit. Wait here. I'll be right back. <sighs> Missy. Hey, good to see you. How do you do? I hope it wasn't too forward of me to call upon you in your own... Private department. How is this not a cat girl? And at the same time, she chuny as fuck. <laughs> what is with the heart shaped eye patch? Holy shit. The rest of the outfit fucking slays though. I'm, I'm good with the heart shaped eye patch. It's just you can tell she doesn't actually need that. This is just like a choice. <laughs> she is a cat girl. Yeah, she's got the Misa Almane hair from Death Note. <laughs> Handlebars, let's go. Missy. She's an old money rich girl that suddenly showed up to the club I work at and started showering me with gifts. How did you fuck up and get doxxed, my boy? She doesn't quite understand that she's not supposed to contact me outside working hours. But it's hard to complain when she basically pays my rent. Oh, dude. Actually, she's pretty much the only reason I could afford to buy all this eldritch paraphernalia. <laughs> no! You used her money to summon a girlfriend? That's so mean. But best of all, she's smoking hard. If I may be so bold, I... Well, I have something special to give you. May I come in? Now's not a good time. Um, uh, not for any particular reason. But maybe we should go outside instead. How about you want to go, you want to go park? Oh, God, yes. Oh, hell yes. Right this way, ma... Wait. Lynetta's inside. I got so caught up in the moment, I almost forgot. <laughs> so she's full on the sugar mama. Wait, have we done this before? I mean, he was very excited, so maybe not. Maybe this is the first time she's ever wanted to come in, but damn. <laughs> Dude, you summoned a fucking... Okay, okay. Uh, actually, now's not a good time. Think you could just give it to me out here? Phrasing. <laughs> Not the kind of present I can give you out in the open. Love hotel? Love hotel. Come on, missy. Let's get out of here. <laughs> well, I'll, I'll come home. Do you not notice the fucking mist and fog in the general foreboding atmosphere? Is that just me? Is that just my sanity? <laughs> A present that has to be given in private. Oh, man. What could it be? <laughs> I don't like this guy anymore. I liked him when he was pathetic. Now that he's pathetic, but also in a creepy way, it's like... Mm -hmm. Wait, 
I almost lost sight of things again. Planeta and Missy meet. I'm toast. <laughs> yeah, the, the universe is already toast, my boy. You ended the world <laughs> because of horniness. <laughs> C can I really not help myself with my life on the line here? Say something, idiot! Uh, well... I can't get away right now. Uh, how about we meet up... after work? I can't go out after dark. Why? What? Right. I forgot. Her weird curfew. Does she turn into something? She is a cat girl, isn't she? She's like a wear cat or some shit. Why can't we just go inside? I really want to give you your present now. Okay, that voice is kind of crazy sensual. I... You know what? Come right in. Maybe Lynetta will be fine with it. She seems quite open-minded. Darling, what's taking so long? I miss you. Fuck. <laughs> and... Uh, I'm fired. <laughs> Is Lynetta coming to the door? I can hear her footsteps. Huh? Who is that? You have company over? No. Um, that was my anime waifu. I have one of those little things where it's like a, a Hatsune Miku in a jar. Um, it talks to me. It's basically just like Amazon uh, Dot or Echo or whatever the fuck they're called. It's fine. I was just the mailman. Inside? Your apartment? Yeah, he's a very friendly mailman. Shoot. I got my lame excuses mixed up. Hey, what do you think you're doing? No one slammed the door in my face. No one. Oh shit, we slammed Missy out. I thought we slammed Lynetta in. Damn, that's 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 brave. <laughs> that was my VTuber. Yeah, sorry, I I, I just left some YouTube player videos playing. Oh, man. She's pissed. Sorry, Missy. This is the only way I can survive this. What's going on, darling? Oh, she's a really good voice actress. I like that. She goes from adorable to scary in like a drop of a hat. Uh, uh, turns out it was one of those, uh, door-to-door -door -door salesmen. They can be really pushy, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I don't want any. <laughs> want me to make them go away? No. I I got this. You, you just have to be persistent. Uh, eventually they give up. Did she finally give up? Oh, there's no way in hell. She's got to be on the balcony. <laughs> I bet as soon as... That's why I can't open the windows anymore. Moo Ray Moo Moo knew that I would have a creepy stalker who would just try to climb up to my window. <laughs> You're about to be a Sally baby now? Oh, oh wait, salty baby. Oh, instead of sugar baby? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That, that goes bad real quickly. I think she's going to show back up eventually with a knife. Can I have Fuchan in a jar? I mean, there are puppies and standees. You can have Fuchan in a jar whenever you want to. <laughs> I better smooth things over with her later before she tries anything crazy. Especially now that she knows where I live. Better hurry through these rituals before there's more interruptions. Now, okay, now I'm curious. I, I know this is going to be a bad ending, but I gotta, I gotta open it. Let's see what the next one is first. Metamorphosis. I know I may be Ovid, but that doesn't mean I want to get metamorphosized. It didn't go well in Ovid's stories either. Oh no, do not attempt this ritual without these two. It's going to turn me into a illithid. Uh, yeah, fuck it. Let's see what happens when this happens. That was less interesting. <laughs> I thought we'd at least get to see one of the creepy creatures. It was just a blue explosion. Dude keeps forgetting the world is about to end. True. Okay. Yeah, okay. We did get the worth it ending. Sick. Oh, no. Do I have to go through all of that again? Oh, this is sick. I didn't realize you were exp like getting more of the drawing exposed as we went through this, too. The manga? Wait, which manga? Oh, rich mouth, please. Okay, let's just boop. 
I'm glad it skips that nice and quickly. Okay, we're back, baby. <laughs> yeah, that made it way easier. That was boring. Yeah, I, mean, I expected a better death. At least the other one was funny, even though you didn't actually get to see anything. Just the whole like, worth it, it was awesome. Okay, this looks like a long ritual. Do not attempt this ritual without performing the calling and invoke the depths. Proceed in total darkness. No lights, no candles. Ensure his image appears in no way, in poster or tapestry. Now, why am I... Wear a ceremonial robe and ritual necklace. Wear a mask or headpiece to distort your features. Have a ceremonial knife on your person. Always remember the second step on the previous page. When all is complete, chant that thing. We'll get there. Okay, so we basically need freaking everything. Sure, his image appears in no way. Okay. Get down, daddy. Where? Where? Take knife. Oh, take knife. Damn it. But, uh, uh, no, go, go back. What the? There we go. Okay, I've got all of that. What else did it say? Do, do, do. Total darkness. Do, do. Ceremonial robe I need. Wear a mask or headpiece. Got that. Ceremonial knife. Always remember. I wonder if we look different in the mirror with the mask on. Let me grab my robe too. Oop. Put it back on the one I like. That is a <laughs> that is a chesty bust as well. This game is made for you. Yeah, they get it. Um. <laughs> <laughs> yeah okay it doesn't go even over his whole head it's just one of those why it looks like it's made of paper or something and he's just like put a piece of string around it <laughs> okay let's go see if uh, missy's still out there as well now nah, we're good she's got oh the music's creepy though nope okay let's do this ritual have i got all the lights off yeah i think so no candles either. Perfect. Okay, it's time then. Hop, gun, zip, 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 Yeah. Hello, handsome. Oh no, what the fuck did it do to me? Oh, I've got tentacle hand. Um. Um. This is what you like, honey? Let me brush that tentacle behind your ear. Yeah, baby. Oh, we can intermingle tentacles now. Mine have suckers. Uh, oh, God. And I thought you were cute for a human before. Now you're totally my type. It, is that a win? Um, I'm trying to respond, but no sound is coming out of my mouth. I don't think I have a mouth anymore, do I? Even when I try to shout as loud as I can, I can't even manage a whisper. Something's not right. What happened to me? Well, only one way to find out. Oh my, what the fuck happened to my statue? Did I, this is the correct thing. Can I still drink milk? Ah, oh, good, I can still. <laughs> I'm a little Cthulhu in the thing now as well. That's so fucking cute. This game's adorable. Okay, that's, um... You know what? What happens if I put his visage back up on the wall? Nothing. Must have only been during the ritual and messed it up. Oh, that's not fun. I'm not going to react to this at all. I'm fine with the tentacle face. I got rid of the tentacles. Um, oh, there's no going back from that. Um, can I speak now at least? Oh, oh, maybe I should have a shower. Oh, oh, I tried to wash it back, guys. I tried to wash it back. He ripped it off. Yeah, maybe I did just actually go insane when I first glimpsed at her. This... How did I rip the tentacles off my face? Oh, God. Come to think of it, I never tried to pronounce this. Why didn't I do that? Do it, hand. In fact, let me do it, too. Mineral 
methods boost the cautious arms of Chester Clifford Lord Mild of Gone. <laughs> oh, one of the secrets. See, one out of three. <laughs> That's something at least. Um, I I don't like my new face. Can I change it? Anybody? Missy? Missy? I've learned why you don't mess around with Lovecrafty and shit. I see. Oh. I think I'm stuck like this. Okay, well that's fine. I wonder if there are any other secret things in here. Wait, break up? Which will sever your connection, restore your sanity, and return you to reality in one of Sally, what are you looking at? Nothing! I was just glancing through the entire book! Nothing, huh? You were looking at nothing? I was looking through something, but it doesn't matter what I was looking at, right? It wasn't anything important. Is that the truth? Uh -huh. hmm. <laughs> Did I scare you, darling? A little bit. Good. I know what page you were on. I mean, the world's gonna end anyway. Is it really? I, I. It's not like I could stop that. You, you, you got what you wanted, right? And if I see you trying to cast that spell about nothing, you won't get past the second word. Okay. Uh huh. Wait, oh, noted. Let me just move on from that. <laughs> sure. She big mad. She big mad. Maybe I have to wait for her to be out of the room if I want to get that bad ending. Uh, illuminate the room to your comfort. Collect necessary ingredients from cold storage. Are you going to make me sacrifice my own baby turtle? Timothy? Well, I love Timothy. His name is Tiny Tim. I put him in the bathtub to see if he could swim. Um, nothing is just your imagination. Okay, game, you're right. Do not cover your eyes. You will need them. But the book gets in the way of my eyes. Not Timmy. Yeah, I think Timmy's going to be the offering. Okay, what do I have to do for this? <laughs> I, I got to find out. Um, let the room be well lit. Ensure this symbol is present nearby. Okay, kind of looks like half of the Sephiroth. Chant three times assertively. Lynetta must be in the room? Oh, that's so fucked up. That rhymes? Yeah, that's where. That's why I chose the name uh, Timothy. There's a children's nursery rhyme that goes like, I have a tiny turtle. His name is Tiny Tim. I put him in the bathtub to see if he could swim. He ate up all the bathtub. Wait, he ate up. He drank up all the water. He ate up all the soap. And now Tiny Tim. Something about his throat. I can't remember. But it's a nursery rhyme. Um, okay. Well lit and with that symbol. Fuck it. Let's die. <laughs> Dying is fun. You're fine with some mood lighting, right, hun? Uh-huh. Well, get me some milk. I got me some milk, right? Yeah, okay. I've got the milk. I would like to take off the mask, please. <laughs> no! I'll take off the mask. Okay, that symbol and then chant three times assertively. Please don't hurt me, Lynetta. It's it's not you. It's me. I I would live, like my insanity. Please. Okay, let the room be well lit. Chant three times assertively. Lynetta, Megaeus, Mus. I mean, she did warn me. <laughs> she did warn me. <laughs> Honestly, you call that a bad end. I call that a good end. Oh, not all the way back here. True endings achieved. Zero out of two. Yeah, I'm kind of pathetic. God damn it. Gotta go through the whole process of becoming a fucking Cthulhu again. Ah, fine. Oh, wait, let me do this again real quick. It might not have saved this either. Yeah, thank God I did that again. I don't know who you are, cat girl, but I like your funny ways. I'll get you some point. Okay. 
do, 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 proceed in total darkness and sure his image appears in no way i kind of want to see what happens if i don't do that let's leave him up uh wear a ceremony robe and ritual necklace wear a mask have a ceremonial all right we need everything okay mask necklace thingy thing got the knife already i think i might also have milk nope don't have milk perfect you can keep your face now I mean, no, because I mean, the rest of the book is still, <laughs> yeah, you can't really proceed without doing this. Butchan out there smooching the cat girls. Hell yeah, baby. Oh, it's warning me with the creepy sounds. Should have taken down the Cthulhu poster. Oh, it doesn't even let you. That's mean. I wanted another bad end. Yeah, yeah. I'm a creepy demon monster now. Okay, let's do the next one. <laughs> Didn't even look up breakup. Not even going to think about it, dear. Only one thing I want in life, and it's you. Fuck the universe otherwise. <laughs> Collect the necessary ingredients from cold storage. Oh, maybe we're just sacrificing milk. Maybe, maybe Timothy will be fine. Okay, we just need that symbol. So the diagonal. Fancy one. There we go. Do, do, do. Get the necessary ingredients from cold storage. I got the milk. Okay, let's do it. Unless. Nah, it hasn't changed the rest of it. Those sounds. True visual novel player. Get every ending. That's how we normally do around here. Especially when the game's only three hours long. That's baby numbers. Okay. Il Goka Img Pog. Pog! Yeah. That already smells delicious, darling. Oh, why is I just preparing you milk? <laughs> I finally brought home the milk. All it needs is a little something and it'll be perfect. Don't you take my turtle. No, 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 no. I'm going to take a short walk outside while you finish. See you in a few, love. Okay, that's fine. You can take somebody else's turtle or paw or eyeballs or something. That's fine. Yeah, that's the only time I'm ever going to say Pog, chat. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed hearing Fuchan say Pog. Uh. Okay. A creepy Eldritch monster, but she didn't... Can I get more? <gasps> now I have cake. Oh, man, I traded up. Can I eat the cake? I cannot eat the cake. That's a shame. Oh, she's not in the room. What happens if I try to do the breakup now? I mean, it requires her being in the room, but what if I start it and she happens to walk in the room? Uh, buh, 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 let the room be well lit. Okay, that's the only other thing. Make them black candles. That sounds fun. Says she needs to be in the room. Yeah, but I'm wondering, like, this time she won't be able to stop me saying it at least, so I'll be able to finish saying it. We'll see what happens. Okay. Wait, what? Finally, some cake on this channel. I've got cake now. La Mama just hasn't drawn it yet. <laughs> Give La Mama some time. I've got cake. You see the chesticles. The the, the, the booty matches. <laughs> Lynetta. Oh. Lynetta. Mga. Eris. Mergla. Magahi. Oh. Yeah, it doesn't even give you a bad, bad ending for that. Ooh, reach into oblivion. Wear a ceremonial robe and have a ritual knife in your possession. Ensure this symbol is present nearby. Have another life form on your person. I don't like that I'm going to have to have another life form on my person. <laughs> Doesn't have to be three times. Yeah, but it didn't even let me finish the first time. Like literally as soon as I finished the chant once, boom, it just immediately said, she's not in the room, dumbass. Do not cover your ears. You will need them. Sure hope I still have my ears. I know I have a tentacle for a face. Bum, bum, bum. Nothing is just your imagination. Okay, let's go put that symbol. <laughs> I don't like the blood stains. Oh, it's a confidant. It's got sheep horns and ears. Adorable. That's what I should have turned into. Okay, I'll put that symbol on the wall. Ceremonial robe, a witch roll knife. And another life person. Okay. So... Ceremonial robe, I've got it. Ritual knife, I've got it. I just need Tim. Sorry, tiny Tim. 
Uh, I've got cake too. Cake's always good. Oh crap, which symbol was it? Hope I'll remember. I think it was that one. Yeah, eyeball with a little V. Perfect. But first, let's go look at our face. I wonder if it did give me goat horns and ears. Ah, that's disappointing. Should I wash the tentacles off again? <laughs> I mean... No, she likes them. She likes them. Let's get a good happy ending. I also like having the water on just in case. Okay, everything's normal out here. Let's do it. Have another life form on your person. Which one? Okay, okay. Everything's good. Ngoka. Yow. And pog. Steak. Ngona. Oh, wait. That's the one I already did. I'm a dumbass. No, it isn't. I did indeed sacrifice Timothy. And something bad happened outside. But we're not allowed to look there. Her name, her name, her name, her name, her name, her name, her. Fun. Tim! Oh, you're good? You're good? He's covered in blood, but he's still good. He's still good. I'm covered in blood, too. Turtles can't bleed that much, so I must have killed someone else or just sacrificed myself a little bit. That's fine. Maybe I just... I don't know. What are these? Oh, I cut off my own fingers. Oh. <laughs> oh. Those are my fingies. <laughs> Oh, I don't have fingies anymore. That's that's not great. Oh, hey, my I get idol posters back. Something terrible is blocking the door. Something terrible, Brunbrook, is blocking the door. Yep, can't go there anymore. Can I turn my computer? I can't really do anything. Um, maybe I'll look out the window. Sure. Her name. Her name. Her name. Her name. Oh, that's about the same as always. Maybe I should have just looked in the book again. Prepare an offering. Didn't they done that? That already smells. Okay, sorry, Tim. We have to do this again. I think I've got everything else ready. I just need the eyeball. I had to know, guys. I had to know. Okay. Yeah, it still doesn't open up any new pages or anything. That's strange. Maybe now it does. Maybe I have to put Timothy back. I'm definitely not opening that up again. <laughs> you. Yes, I am me. <laughs> Um. I love these kinds of flippy books. That's always fun. <laughs> you. Do not cover your ears. You will need them. Nothing is just your imagination. This is a horror game. It's a bit of a blend of a bunch of things. I'm going to turn down the volume just a little bit. This is pretty noisy. There we go. If you can read this, all reality is doomed. Once you start this ritual, complete all three pages quickly. You'll be vulnerable until you finish. Do not open any blinds, windows, or doors. Do not turn on any lights. Snuff any existing lights or you will attract their attention. Ensure this symbol is present nearby. Chant. What do you mean all three pages? It's one page. That's worrying. Okay, let's get the symbol ready. I'm gonna guess, yeah, don't turn on any lights. Snuffle up. This light that's on. Nope, none of them were on. I'm an idiot. I might have just fucked everything up. <laughs> this is fine. Still can't go through any doors. Yeah. Terrible things are closing those doors. 
Okay. Do, 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 do. Let's do it. Emig Kill Stelbsna Amigep Ngorka. Don't worry about that. She is coming. Ensure that. <laughs> I thought that was going to happen later. I didn't know I was that good. Ensure this symbol is present nearby. Enchant that. But the tentacles. I want some. Hey. Ooh. They're crawling in. I mean, I kind of have to see how this ends, right? Come on. Come on. Maybe I'll open one of the doors. Oh, I can't open the doors. That's mean. <laughs> She's getting closer. I guess I can do page two. Mm, yeah. Up. She gets into your room, it's too late. I'm sure this is present nearby. Repeat this chant until you believe you're safe. What if I never think I'm safe? Nothing feels safe anymore. That's a lot of tentacle. They give me way too much time for this, which means I don't think I should win. Oh. I wanted to see death by snoo snoo. <laughs> Man! They're at least giving me death by fucking snoo snoo. I'm just saying. Ngoka. Ngoka, y'all. Mmm, pog. Mmm, steak. Fuck! Ngoka, y'all. Mmm, pog. Mmm, steak. Mmm, Oh no. And do the symbol. And change it to the stupid eyeball symbol. Okay. This is uh, too many bad ends. I needed to know, but. Mmm, <laughs> Goka, y'all. Mmm, Pog. Mmm, Steak. Mmm. Oh no. Okay. Oop. Put Tim back. Turn lights. Oh, wait. Nope. The lights are off. It's just very glowy red. Nothing's just my imagination. Okay. That symbol. I'll just start this ritual. Do not open any blinds, windows, or doors. Turn on any lights. It's not any existing. Okay. That symbol. Let us begin, my confidants. Emig Il Stelvzna Amgepngokka Next symbol is that one. She is coming. Good for her. Too bad I don't get that happy ending. Mm, yeah. Up. Mgvolgdana Horror. She gets in the room, it's too late. Do that symbol and keep chanting that. Okay. Y at the top, M at the bottom. Masochists always go on the bottom, to be honest. So that works pretty well. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, yep. Moka. Emig Kill Stelibzna Ah Mekmoka Darling, what's wrong? You're pale as a sheet. Nah, I'm fine. Don't even worry about it. I'm just vibing. How are you doing? I can tell by the look on your face. You caught a glimpse of the real world now that I'm waking up. That's the real world? <laughs> oh shit. I've just been living in a beautiful dream. Reality is worse than it seems. That's a little hard to take in. <laughs> ah, Mpreg looking chant. Look, man, it was just a couple of M's and a lot of other consonants. <laughs> Can't just call it Mpreg just because it has an M and then a P. That would be like, I mean, there's a lot of things like that. <laughs> anyway. I guess you aren't as sane as you thought, huh, darling? Oh, sweetie. 
Don't worry about reality. It doesn't have anything to do with you anymore. True. You know what? That makes me feel much better. Thank you, Lenena. Though, I should tell you, everything you saw and heard, it's still there. Oh, I just can't see it. Lovely. <laughs> what you saw coming through your window is still coming through. Very soon, it'll be impossible to deny its presence. And even escaping reality won't protect you. Oh, what if I tie you up and break up with you? If I tie her up, she can't kill me, right? Oh, okay. That's what we do. We build up three hearts. We get the smooch meter done. But then we're like, hey, honey, I want to try something a little bit different. Um, How would you feel about ropes and chains? If you like, I could move you to the front of the line and and you painlessly myself. As thanks for waking me up. Do that before the other thing gets me, but not immediately. You wouldn't hear their screams anymore. Or feel that chill up your spine where that tentacle is already touching. Oh, I'm already getting tentacled. Fun. Or maybe you'd prefer to be safe for last. Uh-huh, uh-huh. You have the whole doomed world all for yourself for a while. Though the things you'd see if you lingered. Being destroyed first or last? Which would you prefer? My darling. Save me for last. Preferably death by snoo snoo. Oh, I don't even get to respond. That's mean. Why can't I talk to my girlfriend? Can I still do the breakup ritual? Oh, I can. Let me get away from that before she shouts at me. Escape reality. We did that. Dark communion. That sounds like something a Chuni would say. <laughs> Honestly, that just sounds 100% like I'm going to sit here and be like, Ugh, the dark communion. You have no idea what I've been through today. The tentacles, the horrors, the screams. They still haunt me from the dark communion. Do not attempt this ritual without performing prepare offering and reach into a billion. Oblivion, not a billion. What the fuck? Let the room be well lit. Wear no robes or necklaces. Have the offering on your person. Hmm. Oh, we've only got one more page left. We're close to the end of this route. Interesting. What kind of offering we got? Cake? I'm gonna guess cake. <gasps> Tim's back! He's not bloody anymore! That's good. This is fine. <laughs> you know what? This is fine. Okay, so I need to take off my clothes. What, why did the music die for like a full second? That was, um, uh. I mean, I know the music should be off out here, but why did it die in my bedroom for a second? That wasn't great. Um, okay. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Have the offering on your person. Sure. Dark communion time. Um. Nalf Targan. Urgle. Oth. Delicious. Just perfect. I wish you could make offerings like this forever. I could if you decided, you know, not to end my life along with the rest of reality. It could be just me and you together in this oblivion. Well, my devoted darling, there is only one last spell to perform. <gasps> is it protection? Because, yeah, that's pretty important. Pledging yourself to me. I mean, that works too. God, we have to get married before. Uh, they're only smooching. We held hands already. That's... <laughs> Take heart. Your pledge of devotion will be the last act of humanity for all of time. And it's kind of cute, actually. Ah, us coming together means the end of everything else. Honestly, that's all I need. I'm already devoted, my queen. <laughs> Let's go, Final Kiwi. Words ever spoken by humankind will come from your very mouth and echo into oblivion. I always knew this is the way it would go down. With me speaking it into existence or non-existence, as it were. The privilege is yours alone. Aww. I may be inexperienced with human emotions, but even I know that saying goodbye to your world can be painful. Nah, fuck them. I already threw Missy out. I'm more excited for what's gonna happen after. I like this little 
not quite womb tattoo you got right here. Take all the time you need to make peace with the end. I'm going to take a short nap before I wake up for good. She's napping. I can break up with her. Uh-oh. Could you hit the lights for me, darling? Of course I can. Don't you worry about it. Go ahead. Do so. She has negligee. Thank you, my love. No worries. Or is she just naked? Oh, she's just naked. She's just naked. Oh. Hips go on for days, man. Now tie her up. I don't even need to tie her up. She went to sleep. What happens if I turn the lights back on? <laughs> I love how with the lights off, the music is so dark. And you turn the lights on, everything's just like, hey, happy times again. She's naked. Yeah, her dress is right there. At first, I thought she had like some sort of pink like nightgown on. But yeah, no, she's just fully naked. She just stripped off. Nice. I like this ambiance. Okay. First, let's go look how insane I look right now. Did I lose even more san insanity? Nah, I've just still got my tentacle mouth. I think I've got some, like, tentacly skin as well. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, my skin's getting a bit more tentacly. Oh, fun. Fun, fun, fun. Okay, what's the next spell do? Dark Communion. Final pledge. Have a ritual knife on your person. Am I going to do an oh happy dagger Romeo and Juliet moment? <laughs> you could before the breakup? I could. Or I could chant five times to fill my heart. Um, where is the breakup ritual? I wonder if she'll jump at me even though she's asleep. It's technically. Oh no, we're good. Uh, ba -ba -ba -bum. Let the room be well lit. Okay, so I have to turn the lights back on, which she's not going to like. But she didn't wake up. Uh, I'm sure this symbol chant three times assertively. The chanting may wake her up. But maybe if I get her used to there being a lot of like music Thank and light. You, my love. No worries. You just sleep nice and soundly. Uh huh. Yeah. She gonna be angry if I go back in with the lights on? Nah, she just slept through it. Okay, let's do it. I need that symbol. Okay. Just smooch or duck out? I think duck out's probably still going to be a bad ending. I mean, it said one out of two true endings. And I mean, this is the final page. So these are probably the two true endings. Let's see the boring one first. And then we'll end the universe and get our smooch. I like that the prompt says one last ritual, but doesn't specify which one exactly. <laughs> Lynetta. Gaia is Murgla Magahihi. Fuck. Lanetta Mgahi is Murgla Magahihi. Lanetta Mgahi is Murgla Magahihi. Lanetta Mga Ahirs Mga Mga Did it work? My face and hands are back to normal. Did I really do it? No, she told you everything was still happening. That was reality. I'd already broken the world. We're just like, yeah, now we're going to pretend we're having a nice, nice reality. Insanity has crept in. While we're actually being murdered right now by tentacles. Darling, why? That's what I want as a plushie. That's freaking adorable. And she still has a mouth. Let's fucking go. <laughs> no. Why did you break our connection? I'm cut off from the rest of me. Oh, Lynetta, no. How could you? Why did you? Why did you break my heart? No, I didn't mean to. I just didn't want to get tentacle stuffed. Not stuffed by tentacles. I meant that to sound less dirty than saying tentacle and then the actual word. But tentacle stuffed just sounds like a different form of phrasing. Damn it. I did what I had to do. Sorry, darling. World's not ending today. I think we should see other people. But why? Was I not good enough? Did you have a bad time on our date? 
I was literally the one doing all the work for the day. What did you do? You left the room and said you were going to get something. You came back empty handed. How am I supposed to feel about that? Maybe I wanted flowers. Maybe you should have brought me some milk or cake. How about that? Two people need to work for a relationship. Is there, is there another woman? There's also that, but I mean, that's less important. There's probably many other women. I seem like a bit of a douchebag. No, none of that. It was pretty much just that you were going to end all reality. Hey. No, that's it. That was the deal breaker. What? But you woke me up in the first place. I just wanted to smooch you. I didn't want the rest of the universe to end. We both know I got more than I bargained for. <laughs> oh, darling. You realize I still have control here, right? Uh-oh. If you want to smooch my real form, you have no choice but to do the spells over. Wait, did we just start the game again? No. Please. Who said I need the real form? This works for me just as well. <laughs> you've got a mouth, you've got a face. I've always said throughout my Monster Fricker streams, all I need is a cute face. <laughs> eh. <laughs> I fucking love this game. A squid is fine too. <laughs> Wait, what? Happy ending. Mm. Come on, come on, do the smooch. Come on. Mm. Oh, we never get our kissy kiss. <laughs> Good end. No. Ah, uh, okay. Let's get the bad ending. He still doesn't get his smooch. Even though he's a playboy idol. Pathetic. Okay. Good enough end. <laughs> I wonder, can we go on to part... Oh, yeah, chapter two. King in yellow approaches. Wait, is that... I mean... That's Missy! That's her outfit, just like with big poofy things and way longer hair. Oh! <gasps> It's not Cat Girl, but Missy's... Oh, that's why Missy is the only person who still exists in that world. She's some sort of cryptid, too. So she would have actually been fine meeting my... Meeting, you know... Nanetta. Oh, well. Let's get the bad end. Let's see the Darling, bad end before we on? move on. Hey, yeah. Let me turn off the lights for you so you can sleep. Oh, have I not done... Oh, I haven't even done the fucking second ritual yet. Form Dark Communion. Okay. Fair offering. Let the room be well lit. Oh, I did the wrong thing. Wear no robes or necklaces. Come on. Oh. There we go. Boom. Do I have the cake? I have the cake. Put away the necklace. Put away that. And the cake is covered in blood. That's always fun. Okay. Wait. Nalf Hagen Uhagel Hot Gaila Yogfamol. Delicious! Just perfect! I'm glad you like it. Okay, I'll turn the lights off for you. I love how quickly she just strips everything off. Thank you, oh, damn. Ah, oh, she's fine with the candlelight. That's adorable. But I'm sorry, we have to break up. Um, I remember the symbol. Question is, do, do, do. is there anything else I needed? No way, I don't break up this time. Whoops, <laughs> that's what I did last time. Um, have a ritual knife on your person. Chant this five times. Okay, I've got the knife, I'm good to go. I'm gonna put Tim back. Can I get more? Oh, there's no more cake or milk. Okay. Aster is the shepherd god too. Perfect. <laughs> Lynette. Oops. Lynetta. Ah, fart. Oh. Lynetta. Ah, fart. Lanetta of Art E. Ngapak Ishtua Nil Re. 
And now I'm going to take a temporary break because I'm imagining I am doing a lot of damage to myself right now. And I want to see what it looks like. Oh, they don't even show me all the blood or anything. That's boring. Thank you, my love. No worries, honey. You sleep good. I'll end the world for us. Lunetta of Art Hill. Lugpagishtu. Nilkli. Lunetta of Art Hill. Lugpagishtu. Nilkli. It's done. The last ritual. You did wonderfully. Aw, thank you. <laughs> Always nice to be told you did good when you've worked hard towards something. But cutting off our fingers? I I mean, it didn't show in the mirror. I think I was just cutting myself in random places just to make myself bleed more. Praise time. Well, praise is always good as aftercare, especially. Always let people know they did good. They did great. I'm afraid it's time for the dream and our date to end. Okay, but I get that smooch though, right? That look on your face. Darling, I had a wonderful date with you. And that's because of you. Aw, I'm happy. I think things are gonna go horribly now, but... So why destroy me and all of reality? Why not just stay here with me? That's what you're thinking, right? Uh-huh. Oh, my sweet mortal darling. I'm not doing this out of malice. You've had good dreams before, right? Yeah. Well, when you woke up, you destroyed those dream worlds and everything in them. Did you wake up because you hated those dreams? No, sometimes I forced myself back to sleep so I could escape to those fantasies. No, it just couldn't be helped that you'd wake up eventually. Uh, I guess that makes sense. Eldritch gods just do what eldritch gods do. It's nice that they're sleeping at least. It's like your law. It is kind of like my law. Eventually the dream will end. I love but not for a very long time. And I'll miss you sorely. Please let your last thoughts be about that. My last thought is that I'm gonna smooch you. Don't think I forgot about my promise to you. <gasps> You're up, my darling. You've earned it. Smooch! Yo, look at the fucking booty. Yeah, worth it. So worth it. Aw, our tentacles are intermingling. Also, damn, I can headbutt that shit and it bounces me right back. Bounce a quarter off of that. Okay, the awakening end. Oh, daddy's outside. No wonder this is a bad end. <laughs> it's the bad ending because daddy woke up and said, hey, goodbye, mortal. <laughs> There's another ending. I can't even imagine what the ending would be. Thanks for playing. Sucker for love. First date. Sucker for love. First date. Wait. I can do this one. I still only found one secret. Is there really another ending to this one? Wait, should I have done load check? Chapter one. Manetta, my really scary girlfriend. Uh-oh. Yeah, I fucked up. <laughs> sure. That's what I meant. True endings achieved two out of two. So even if there's another ending, um, I've definitely gotten both of the true endings. Okay, let's start the king in yellow approaching. Uh-oh, I glitched the game. The horrible screaming is just going to stay here. Yeah, it's totally missy. <laughs> Zero out of six for this one. Yeah, this one's going to be a lot longer. Oh, that's why the world, the screaming was still happening. Okay. In a world terrorized by slavering shadows and tentacled nightmares. Doom kind of goes out of the screen, but that that's normal, apparently. Like, that's on my screen as well. It's not just OBS. Weird. Um, anyway. <laughs> terrorized by slavering shadows and tentacled nightmares. Something as innocuous as an additional star in the night sky may be the most prophetic premonition of doom. Forever the lurid golden light of the planet Carcosa shines. The long, wicked shadow of the King in Yellow is cast. Behind that mask lie echoes of decadence and disorder, 
masquerades of limitless cruelty and hideous laughter in equal part. And of all the poor devils seduced by the lavish promises of the God King's court, the favored victims of the King's sadistic amusement. Our followers belonging to other deities. Huh? What? Where? Huh? Yeah, that's a very bright golden star in the sky. <laughs> well, shit. Did I zone out? I was... What was I doing? Damn. I'm having one hell of a brain fart. I can't remember for the life of me what I was supposed to be doing. Everything feels so hazy. Was I going to work? I am standing outside after all. Yeah, that's gotta be it. The sun is setting, so it's probably around 7 p.m., which means I'm gonna be crazy late. Fantastic. That's the beauty of working nights. I can't use the excuse that I overslept. Yeah, boss, I slept all day, sun up to sundown. That's why I'm. Six hours early for my shift? Huh? Those sound like the church's noontime bells. It's high noon? No way. I must be doing some sort of special evening service or something. I can clearly see that it's the golden hour right before sunset. I'll just have to ask someone for the time on my way to work. If it's not too late and I really hoof it, I'll just get chewed out instead of fired. I'll still have to deal with being sweaty, but I'll figure that when I get there. Oh, someone's coming home. Perfect. Fingers crossed that I'm not absolutely screwed. <laughs> I mean... Have you seen this persona looking ass? I don't think this is going to be a fun conversation. Oh, God. Hey, man. Sorry to bother you. You wouldn't happen to have the time on you, would you? Hello? Hey? Uh. Hey? Is this guy ignoring me? Normally, I'd say whatever and walk away, but he's unfortunately standing in the only stairway off his floor. The only way to exit this conversation is to shove past him. This guy's giving me such weird vibes, I don't want to go anywhere near him. The longer I look at him, this guy seems more and more suspicious. That odd posture, he's slowly swaying in an uncanny, disturbing way. The collar of his shirt looks filthy, stained with splotched of deep browns and reds. Is he... Bleeding? Does he even live here? This is the top floor, and I thought I'd met all my neighbors. There are only four apartments up here. My only choice is to go inside and call the police, or to walk past this freaky guy. I don't have the time to wait around for when the cops show up, so I'll... But just as I take a step, I kick something weighty with my shoe. It's bright pink with gold accents. A book? What? Lynetta! But I died. The world ended. The shock freezes me in place, and because I was so distracted, I didn't even notice the... I duck inside my room, slamming the door in the suspicious men's face. Fumbling with the locks in a panic, I managed to turn the deadbolt. Take a few fearful steps back into the room, touching the book to my beating chest. I died. I definitely died when I performed the final ritual, so why am I still here? Where is here? Locked in my room, I now have nowhere to run. Lynetta? Lynetta! If Lynetta was here, she could explain this. Well, there's the king in gold. And I've got one of the masks from one of the codists. <laughs> Fun. I'm just one of them. Story is continuing? Yeah, I, I don't know why. And Tim's back. Maybe we have more milk, too. Everything's looking better already. <laughs> Maybe there's something in this book that can save me. I need to hurry. Come on, come on. Lynetta, where are you? Uh -huh. Who is this Lynetta you're trying to call? Uh-oh. Missy caught me. <laughs> Missy? What are you doing in my room? I just so happened to overhear you saying... Lynetta, where are you? You sounded like you were in trouble, so I let myself in. That's not creepy at all. How did you even get in here? Your window is open. Huh? 
No, it's not. Either way, I'm on the top floor, so how did you... Lynetta sounds like a girl's name, right? This Lynetta is obviously the girl you stood me up for, isn't she? Yeah, but it's... My grandmother... What is her deal? I knew she'd be pissed I slammed that door in her face, but not so much that she wouldn't notice any of the things obviously wrong here. Why doesn't she care about those freaky things stalking me outside? Well, my room is full of evil idols and ritualistic tokens. I can explain all of this stuff. Let me guess. Accursed devices used to channel eldritch magics and do the bidding of outer gods. Yeah, actually, you nailed it on one. Um, did you just randomly guess that? No, I've just been playing coy. I know exactly what you've been doing. Oh. She knew how I've been spending her money to try and get an eldritch horror into my bedroom. I mean, technically, that's what she was doing with me, too. So if she's angry about that, she's just, you know, not fair, really. <laughs> you know what this is, don't you? It's a different book, a golden book with question marks on it. It's a golden version of my book. The book I used to perform rituals for in Lanetta. Hers looks way more ornate than mine. Considering I ended reality with mine, I can't imagine how dangerous hers must be. Wait a minute. Sky? A suspicious man outside. They all match Missy's book. Is she making all of this happen? Oh god. When I expected her to do something crazy, I thought she was just going to show up with a hatchet or something. Missy, look. I'm sorry, I just got wrapped up in something. Please don't. I don't know if you're ending the universe or something even worse. <laughs> so that's why she wanted to be inside your apartment? I mean, she already knew, to be fair. <laughs> <laughs> I knew she'd laugh like that. See that you know what this book is capable of? No, but I, I have a sneaking suspicious. I know all too well. But I also know that these incantations take at least five seconds to pronounce. That if she gets it right on the first try... So, worst case, I have five seconds to stop her. If I dash for my ritual knife behind her, I might be able to kill her before she does something terrible to me. If I can distract her, I might be able to buy myself more time. Or your summer laughter? Hell yeah. God, I wish rich people actually talked like that, rather than all pompous and arrogant. If they just did the full, like, ah, <laughs> then it'd be more funny in life. <laughs> you see, look. I'll do whatever you want. Anything? I can be rather demanding. Anything. Name your price. I wasn't expecting a price, but yeah, no, I'm down. Let's go. So bold. Yeah, I mean, did summon an Eldritch horror and destroy the universe just for a kiss. Imagine what I'd do for In that case, other I have things. three commands. Oh, she's commanding, too. Number one, you'll address me as your highness from now on. So when I come home, it's welcome home, your highness. Okay, nasai, ojo sama. 100%, I'm down. Welcome home, your highness. Please tell me rule number two is you have to step on me, because I swear to fucking God I'm down. When she comes home, she wants to move in? But that means... Whatever. It's not like I'm going to have to actually follow through on these. At least one of us is about to die. <laughs> Jesus Christ, dude. As you wish, your highness. What else? Fuchan, focus? What? What? <laughs> Number two. You'll quit your job so you can spend every waking moment catering to me. You're one and only. I mean, you have all the money, so... <laughs> I guess that kind of works. I'll be a trophy husband. I'm down. D, please. D, yes. <laughs> D, yes. <laughs> He's focused all right. Yeah, I've got my eyes on the correct prize. Job, we still have a job. True, I mean, it's only midday, so I'm not late for my job yet. We're fine. The universe may have ended, but life hasn't, unfortunately. Two things in life go without questioning. Death and taxes. They have to tax me. I at least get paid first. <laughs> sure, whatever. It's a little bit more until I'm sprint in sprinting range of the knife. And number three, you'll obey every order in 
him I have, absolutely, without question. See, that's the one that stops me a little bit. Do we at least get a safe word? Do you agree to my terms? Um... Yes, your highness? Buhi. Absolutely. Absolutely. What? Absolutely, your highness. <laughs> I suppose if you will do whatever I ask, then there's no need to use any of these dreadful spells on you. Hold on, D. Hold on. Let her cook. <laughs> I mean, so far this doesn't seem so bad. Just, just, just let her cook for a while. If, if something does go wrong, then we can sprint for the knife. But mm, let's see what she's working on. Let's, let's see what kind of command she's got. I've already got a full smooch meter. As a matter of fact, I believe you can help me with them. Here. Okay. She just handed over her book without a second thought. Yellow energy pulses and cracks from my fingertips. She... Is she not here to hurt me? Oh, confused. I've liked you for a long time, and you're a capable bookkeeper. Handsome to boot. There's no reason we can't simply work together. Okay, you know what? That works for me. You want to end the universe again? Summon... Oh, wait. But does that mean she loves the Yellow King more than me? The King in Yellow? Oh, no. Don't abandon me. <laughs> Am I just being used for an NTR ending? I swear to God. After all, a relationship based on threats of violence and fear is no good, right? Yeah, we gotta have mutual respect and understanding. Bookkeeper, archivist, exactly. R right. We narrowly escaped with our lives just now. But something is bothering me. How did she remember that I stood her up in the reality that un ended under Lynetta's awakening? And how did she get in through my window? I doubt she was able to climb several stories dressed like that and then pass through my locked window without breaking it. There's only one possible answer. All right, your highness. I'm ready to enter my lifetime of servitude to you. I just have one small request first. You step on me. Could you tell me what this is? <laughs> is this me finding out if she's an eldritch being too? I can only... The only people who can pronounce Worcestershire sauce are English people or British people. Are British people and eldritch horrors. <laughs> this is fucking awesome. Huh? Your Worcestershire sauce? <gasps> what about it? She's not natural! So you are an eldritch god disguised as a human. That change in the sprite is so good. What does this artwork remind me of? It reminds me of something. Now that I've seen like a human face. I don't know. It's not Nana. But it's Nana adjacent. Isn't it obvious? No human being can pronounce wash war chest where Worcestershire. Of course not. It's an eldritch alone word. <laughs> Why else would it be spelled like that? Oh, her eye patch switched eyes? I didn't even notice that. <laughs> That's true. It was on the left before. Oh my god. She's just tuny. She's just tuny. <sighs> I was careless. After all this time, I wasted trying to seduce you in this slovenly form. Oh, hit me. Oh, wait. No, we've already seen the real form. Honestly, I prefer this one. Yeah, you should have tried using your Eldritch form instead. I would have fallen in love immediately. See, he's expecting tentacles. What? That's what I'm into, girl. Don't kink shame me! What? You think cosmic entities are attractive? As a human? Have you seen humans? They're all like fleshy and gooey and... Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Give me cosmic entities. <laughs> Fucking 3D women. <laughs> Come on, dude. 3D women are fine. 3D PD, honestly. But fourth dimensional girls with non 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 -uclidian. I don't know how to pronounce that, but I know what it means. non uclidian geometry are smoking. They got curves I can literally get lost in. <laughs> if I had known that you're attracted to my cosmic godhood, I would have just led with that. Come on, hit me with it. <clears throat> Allow me to properly introduce myself. I am Esther, king in yellow. 
Oh, she is king in yellow. Wood. Wood. The mask does not stay on, though. I need to know what's underneath it. Other than that, everything's perfect. In fact, if anything, god damn, that dress really heightened certain assets. This music is fantastic. Her leading with the full-on Ojo Sama voice. We are charmed, all right. Yes, we are. Disappointed, Fuchan. Look. Summer masks stay on. This mask? Kind of boring. It, it doesn't really add to anything. Wood with mask? I would with mask. Uh, the fucking, like, veil stays on. The veil adds so much. The mask itself, though, I want to know what's underneath it. I, I, I like faces, man. I've made this very clear. She's gorgeous. A bona fide eldritch king in my room. Well, so far, she's just bona fide, but soon she'll be... <laughs> no, no. Oh, man. All my fantasies of smooching and eldritch horror are coming true. An eldritch royalty to boot. The king in yellow. Sounds familiar. I can't remember why. My memory of my other existence is kind of fuzzy. What I do remember is that her followers tend to be incredibly violent towards cultists loyal to other gods. Like Lynetta. Shit. I kind of got swept up in the moment and almost forgot I already pledged fealty to a different god. This reality or not. Uh, wait. I I'm sorry. I'm already involved with another god. I'm following Lynetta. I know. So loyal, so faithful and devoted. That's why I want you to be my follower instead. Oh. I'm not the NTR victim. I'm the NTR adversary. Uh, well... Accomplice? Accomplice. I'm the NTR accomplice. This is such a turnoff. Yeah, a little bit. Only the fact that she literally wants to cuck Lynetta. That's the only bit that's a turnoff. But I mean, Lynetta already ended reality in my dimension. So, I mean, this is a different dimension. Fuck it. We're in the fourth dimension now. There's nothing holding me back, baby. In exchange for serving me, I shall grant you anything you desire. Well, power... Whatever that rotten witch Lynetta offered you, I can double it. Two smooches! Yo! I'm so fucking in. She promised me. All the way. Then I shall... What, what, what? Okay, the mask stays on. Her eyes really do keep switching positions. Um, she's blushing. She's puffed up. This is adorable. <laughs> I like her. Um, but yeah, no, okay. The mask stays on. I didn't realize. I thought it was just shadow. I didn't realize the mask is like hiding a pure black eye with a red iris. That's fucking hot. The mask stays on as well as the veil. The pigtails always also stay in. She's not allowed to take them down. Not unless like, you know, she's sleeping in another bed. She's sleeping in my bed. The pigtails stay in. You handed over your reality to her? Mad for Lynetta, am I right? <laughs> you heard me. So you'll match her offer then? You said you'd double it, actually. I... I suppose... If that's all you're selling the world for, then a smooch... Can be... Uh, arranged. Oh, she's so shy. She has no experience. That's, this is gonna be fun. This is gonna be adorable. No way. You promised to double it. That's two smooch. <laughs> Shit. Does that mean I have to double the smooch meter this time? Wait, no, hold on a minute. Uh-huh. Two of them on the lips. All right, all right. Very well. Two smooches lip to lip. Satisfied? Maybe. I mean, honestly. Yeah. Yeah, that'll do me. That'll do me. Usually, my followers ask for inordinate wealth, unquestionable fame, and influence, or some lavish indulgence. Have you seen yourself? I am asking for a lot, too. Don't sell yourself short, my eminence. My queen. My highness. Nobody's ever dared to ask to kiss me before, so... Oh, she really has never kissed someone. Oh, that's so cute. Her VA is really popping off here. Yeah, she really is. She's doing great. She's really selling the whole na 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 nani kiss. 
She's blushing for real. You really want to smooch me? Yeah? And beyond? Well, <clears throat> your terms are amenable. Suffice it to say, I'll expect you to perform your scenes flawlessly in exchange. So down, 100%. Gonna get all six endings. Scenes? The prompt book I gave you contains the script for The King in Yellow. This is just a fanfic. I'm just... <laughs> Wait. <laughs> So this is just her fan fiction. She really has just been dreaming of me coming to the bar and like paying me shit tons of wealth just because she's like him. He's the one. I write about him all the time in my fantasies. Now he's going to have to act them out. I'm his highness. <laughs> is this just role play? That's what it sounds like. And honestly, I'm down. Uh, we just need a safe word for the love of God. You never know. Huh? You mean this spell book that I was so afraid of? It's just a damn play? This thing is just a playbook! Where are all the power invoking rituals? Rituals? Is this some sort of peasant joke that I'm too rich to understand? Okay, now it's turning into aggressiveness of, yeah. This won't be gentle and loving. This. <laughs> How dare you! No. Barbaric swamp folk casting hocus pocus in a cave. We have a Rude. Class. To invoke my power, my play must be performed perfectly. Darcy gets it. Darcy gets it. <laughs> perfectly. I don't always get these rituals. Uh, I mean, scenes right the first time. What happens if I botch my lines or set a scene wrong? Your performance will receive a scathing review in the Carcosan Times publication. And you'll also be killed. I love how that's an afterthought. <laughs> you getting killed? That doesn't matter worth a shit. It happens all the time. Everybody dies. But being named and shamed in the Carcosan Times publication, a world of pure death where only the yellow emperor, the, you know, the king in yellow reigns. That's what's the problem? And if you're the only one who reigns on that world, that literally means it's just you writing reviews for yourself. <laughs> Nobody even re- Okay, okay. <laughs> No, I didn't get picked up on the microphone. Damn it. Nah, it's not going to work. Damn it. Damn my amazing microphone settings that count off quiet noises. I'm getting those smooches. No, no matter what. Break a leg, dearest. Oh, I will. Last time, I kind of broke a lot of things, including the universe. She's her own biggest critic. Now, that's the problem. It sounds like she's everybody else's biggest critic. But she trusts me. I wonder if I look different today. Everything else in my... I'm not going to remove that. She's going to be pissed. <laughs> I wonder if I look different now. Maybe I've got like a creepy mask face. Oh, she kissed my forehead. Aw. And I'm wearing yellow instead of pink. That's adorable. Perform act one. No. First, where is my wife? I've got a yellow robe now. I don't like that. Preferred the green. What if I just leave? <laughs> you know this is an option, right, MC? You could, you could just leave. <laughs> she didn't stop you, so... <laughs> but the smooches, though. <laughs> the king in yellow. Oh, this is much more... I don't know. Uh, the handwriting is very fancy. Everything else is very regal, too. I need that lipstick. It's so beautiful. Honestly, golden lips. Sexy as fuck. I don't like it when, like... A lot of people do the whole, like, cover your entire body in, like, gold. Um, they did that, like, a lot in Rome and stuff. And it was like, eh, it's just body pain at that point. But golden lips, ah. Uh, golden lips, golden eyeshadow. That's all you need. And then, boom. Fancy as fuck. Single one is more hot. What, just, like, one, one eye? Or just, like, one lip? Like, the top lip or the bottom lip? Hmm. You've given me much to think about. <laughs> Act one. Wait, no. Actually, this isn't really Eldritch. Even though it is Eldritch, it's more like... Act one. Invitation. Setting. Exterior in view of city. <laughs> Fuck me. Okay, so the pink is the actual commands, and the rest of this is just our fan fiction. This is so funny. <laughs> I love this. Golden glitter versus full gold, though. I mean, I like the way she's got it, where it's like, it's like patterns of gold. There's like faint gold, like leaf moving around everything. And then like, there's the pure gold as well. 
Golden eyes and lips with a shadow ombre. Oh, fuck yeah. Host, click and drag the first word of the first line slowly. Greetings, stranger, fortuned fellow. Tis a party for which I bellow I invite the king in yellow. So come all ye in Yitla. Wear thine masks upon you to my masquerade until he may come to lost Yitla. Hope for us there may be still. King enters disguised. Shadows lengthen, dim streets darken. To the curfew thou must hearken. Why so loudly dost thou bark in the dim city of Yitil? Only much attention quite unwholesome you'll instill. From the souls of poor Yitil, why attract such ill will? Host, that is just what I must seek. See hidden somewhere amongst the meekly. Tis one invitee I seek ye. Shall allay my mistakes undo. Tis the king in yellow whose great wealth I shall accrue. When his shadow passes through, wealth will come to I and you. King disguised. Lo, your plans shall surely languish, and this whole town will know anguish. For the king is whom they say which shall the city indeed smite. If he comes, you till and you and I will know his might. All will be lost within a single night. What reward is worth that price? Wearing this expensive clothing, pardon from my family's loathing. Lasting till I'm decomposing, all my friends whom strife I've caused, yes. Preparing for this night, their forgiveness is the cause. They shall all be proud because I had brought the king to us. Exit, host and king. This is great. Is this any I iambic pi pre da da da. iambic pentameter? No. It is very, like, Shakespearean sounding, though. That's a lot of pages. <gasps> See, that would be sexy as fuck. Gold eyeshadow, gold these face markings, gold lips. Perfect. Nothing else. Is it called eyeshadow? Yeah, that's eyeshadow. No blush. No blush. Everything else, just like, yeah. Up, 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 up. Okay, so I think I need a mask. Uh, exterior and view of city. So I have to go outside too. It says that everybody is like in a masquerade. So I'm going to grab the mask just to be safe. I wonder if I can dual wield masks. Nah. That's a shame. I wonder what the second item is then. Oh well. Let's see how my mask suits me. I like the monochrome eyes. <laughs> I guess they always have the one dark eye. <laughs> she committed. Why so many pages? She likes it. Nothing else so naked? If only. That would work. <laughs> Shakespearean fan fiction. Yeah, she's just creating her own story. It's adorable. Okay, outside we go. I guess that's why she's missing, is she wants to do her, like, disguised arrival. Okay. That is what I must seek. See hidden somewhere amongst the meekly. What? What? How? What? Why was that the wrong line? What? <laughs> that was the second line? Huh? I... Oh, I was on the second page. I... Ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> well... Get that mask back on. <laughs> I thought that was the first page. <laughs> this is fine. Well, we got one bad ending, but it's okay. Okay, let's do this again. Greetings, stranger, fortune fellow. Tis a party for which I bellow. I invite the king in yellow to come all ye in Etil. Wear thine masks upon you to my masquerade until he may come to lost detail. Hope for us there may be still. Shadows lengthen, dim streets darken. To the curfew thou must hearken. Why so loudly dost thou bark in the dim city of Yatil? Only much attention, quite unwholesome, you'll instill from the souls of poor Yatil. Why attract so much ill will? She's adorable! Okay. That is just what I must seek. See hidden somewhere amongst the meekly. 
Tis one invitee I seek ye, shall all my mistakes undo. Tis the king in yellow whose great wealth I shall accrue. When his shadow passes through, wealth will come to I and you. Lo, your plans shall surely languish, and this whole town will know anguish for the king is whom they say, which shall this city indeed smite. If he comes, ye tell him you and I will know his might. All be lost within a night. What reward is worth that price? Oh, the reward is that he might come. Bestow that glory upon me and I shall hum with the good graces that fill my bum. Then you and I shall know some thing. I don't know. I, I ran out of rhymes there. <laughs> Jump, please. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Wearing this expensive clothing, pardon from my family's loading. Lasting till I'm decomposing, all my friends from strife I've caused. Yes, preparing for this night, their forgiveness is the cause. They shall all be proud because I had brought the king to us. Grazie, grazie. There's more show times. Hey, be sure to check out the revenue. Thank you, my highness, your highness. What a colorful script. Hell yeah. <laughs> Shall no come. I mean, they started with, yeah, they started with the whole, like, they will know his might when he hath come. And I was just like, I'm turning this into a joke somehow. But just saying, ha, 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 come wouldn't be funny enough. <laughs> it's actually so creative. Yeah, I like this. She's got some nice fan fiction going. I like poetry, especially the weird way she's doing it. It's an interesting rhyming meter. Um, It's winter snow. Uh, be careful. Only three emotes per message. I know you probably just don't know the names. It's lovely to have you here. Don't worry about it, but just yeah. Um, the rules for like different live streams are always in the description of each video. But yeah, I hope you're having a good day. Why, thank you. That was actually pretty fun. I haven't gotten to flex my acting chops since high school. Well, so my name's Dearest now instead of Darling. Aw, Dearest is actually cute. <laughs> the meter sounds similar to the Raven. Yeah, it is a bit less Shakespeare and a bit more Edgar Allan Poe. I like it. I'm not normally good at rhyming schemes like that because I, I get confused when it's like time to do the not rhyming lines. <laughs> dearest Mel. See, yeah, Dearest Mel annoys me, but just Dearest, like, oh, how are you, Dearest? How are you? It's as good as love. I think love is one of my favorite pet names. It's like, you're right, love. Hope you're having a good day. Take care of yourself, love. The only problem is it sounds kind of demeaning if you're not in a relationship with someone. <laughs> like, I feel like some British people can get away with it. I get really uncomfortable. Like, I've seen so many British people just casually be like, love to everyone. And I'm like, nah, 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 nah. It feels a bit demeaning. <laughs> you're no stranger to the stage, I can tell. Indeed. After all, I am the dearest Mal. Yeah, I was a theater kid. My school did Macbeth. <laughs> Of course they fucking did. A virtuoso of the bard, are we? If you perform Shakespeare, then you must be an actor of sufficient ability to survive my play. It, it, it was a high school play, to be fair. <laughs> but okay. No worries, love, I would say. Yeah, I mean, they're like, yeah, like you said, some British people say that a lot. Camille, they do. I think it's one of the best things about Klaus from the Vampire Diaries slash the originals. Probably the only reason I watched the originals the whole way through was just Klaus and Elijah. I liked them both a lot. But yeah, he managed to make that sound really good all the time where he's just constantly like, hey, love. What's up, love? Shakespeare's hard to perform. Yeah. I played a tree. <laughs> I knew it. I love this game. I was tree number four. I wasn't aware that was a role. Tis the most bold of roles. Most people play other humans, not I. For I am an actor of greater caliber. I envisioned the tree. I became the tree. I stood there, planted myself. I fucking photosynthesized. I didn't move from that spot for three days. The whole time the play was showing. Yeah, nah, it's not. I'm sorry, I was fucking with you. You weren't even the leading tree? Nah, I was number four. There were three people who were better at being trees than me. They had like better foliage, brighter colors. I. Look, I was a bit of an awkward duck, but I turned into the number one host, so I've grown. Don't worry. I was actually Macbeth. I thought you said you were a tree. Ah, you thought wrong. Acting. Oh, you piece of shit. I hate that. Oh, you are good. 
Shit, we actually impressed him up. <laughs> Good actor can photosynthesize as a tree, I guess. Yeah. And you got to respire in a different way. I, when I devoted myself to become a tree, I said, fuck it, no more oxygen. I'm quitting oxygen. I started breathing in carbon dioxide and breathing out oxygen. That's how committed I was. I actually did incredible things for the environment for those three days. And then I said, no, nah, fuck this, it's a bit tiring. What? Hey, what's happening to you? Don't fret, dearest. Something is simply passing between my planet's light and your bedroom. A cloud, perhaps. Wait, are you not physical? But if I can't touch you, I can't smooch you. You know the proverb, wherever the golden light of Carcosa shines, the shadow of the unspeakable one is cast? It's a literal rule. Oh, so you can only be wherever the light of your star shines? That kind of sucks, dude. Also, yeah, I'd be trying to touch her right now. Not in a weird way. <laughs> I'd be like, just, you know, trying to poke the dress that, a little bit. I'd be like, are you actually here, though? I can only be wherever the light of my planet star Carcosa shines. In other words, I can't reach you at night when you're not standing in natural light or if anything obstructs your view of Carcosa. Huh. So never close the blinds. Wait. Does that mean if we're trying to have some fun and like a cloud goes past, you just kind of poof out? Man, that's fucked. That explains why Missy had a weird daytime curfew. She'd literally vanish when the sun sets. What a Cinderella-like curse. Honestly, yeah, it's probably just Tuny bullshit. <laughs> it's probably just her lies because she finds it romantic. Oh, my dearest, I couldn't possibly be with you when the sun goes down. Oh, if only I could cure this curse. <laughs> she blinks during, it's going to get messy. I mean, I don't think, I, I think it's fine as long as the light is shining. But yeah, if there's like an eclipse during... Oh, God. I'm just suddenly by myself. <laughs> Imagine if something like... No like, she should be able to carry me. She looks like she's like seven foot. She, I bet she's ripped as shit. Even though she's like dressed all daintily. I bet she can carry me. What happens if she fades away while she's carrying me? Do I just fall to the ground? That also explains how she got in my room. My window may have been locked, but the curtains were open, allowing the light in. So... She can't get into my room if I close my curtains. Aw, I was quite enjoying my time with you. I wanted to stay a little longer. Aw, okay. We'll see each other tomorrow. Alas, parting is such sweet sorrow. It may be some time until your sky clears. Until then, I bid you adieu. I will serve you until the end of fucking time, my queen. And she's gone. <laughs> well, looks like I have one hell of a choice to make. Gold, 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 gold. Lynetta hasn't been summoned yet, and Esther is stuck outside for the moment. So I have a moment to collect my thoughts. Between Lynetta and Esther, who do I want to smooch? Or maybe more accurately, who am I more afraid of? Do I stay with Lynetta? Do I follow Esther this time around? She is offering twice as many spooches after all. <laughs> Fucking, he did the maths. <laughs> he did the maths. Why not both? Uh, as was said in the lore, Esther does not like sharing. Pretty sure as soon as I touch anything on Lynetta's root, Esther is going to be a vengeful, vengeful goddess. <laughs> I need to make my choice. If I want to stay with Lynetta, then I should focus on casting spells from her book. If I want to smooch Esther, then I should open my window again when the clouds clear. And use Esther's book. And if I try going for both, well, walking down the middle of the road is bound to get me run over. Yeah. I don't feel like this is the type of game with a harem ending. I think this is the type of game with bad endings. <laughs> as long as they aren't both in the room at the same time, well, I should be safe. Right? <laughs> oh man, what am I going to do? Either way, I need to talk to Lynetta. She might be an avatar of world ending calamity, but she might as she might be able to help me get my head straight. Speaking of my head, why does my forehead feel kind of sticky? <laughs> she marked you, my boy. She <laughs> We're the beta now and she's the alpha. <laughs> oh god. Oh no. This is fine. Everything's fine.
Oh, I have to take off the mask first. Okay, he doesn't react. Oh, I could wash the mark off. <gasps> I mean, I want to do a Lynetta route on this route first, because I want to see what kind of ending that does. Wait. Oh, he's only... He makes me do the pink book first, anyway. Hear me out. Her Highness did not turn us into a tactile thinging. Hear me out. I agree. <laughs> Honestly, between the two, Esther seems more fun. Ojo Sama, fun, fun times. Fun times. Golden Lips, really fun times. Double the smooches, double the fun. Um, but I still want to do Lynetta's thing first, just in case. Calling. Oh, I have to do all this again. Draw your curtains, turn off the Lynetta, turn off this. In the dark, light red fire candles, fire and pull on a ritual necklace. But I mean, I already did all oh, oh, I have to call her back all over again from the beginning. No wonder there's a lot of endings to this one. I'm going to try washing off the mark. That's worrying. <laughs> the world stopped being golden, and I'm covered in blood. Oh no, the world's still golden. The bathroom was just less golden. I'm gonna... Yeah, she can't come in here anymore. We're safe. Uh-huh. Red fire. Okay, Lynetta. Blood lipstick? No, that's my own blood. <laughs> We're in pain. Throw the curtains in the dark, red fire, put on your ritual necklace. Right. Okay. When all is complete, chant. Lonetta af art il magapik dishtu nil rir. I don't know why it always cuts off that line for some reason. That happened both times and we just hear Muh! and then it stops. Mortal, for what purpose have you? Darling, it's you! Hey, Lynetta, did you like ending that reality? I did good, right? Hey, Lynetta. It's nice to see her, despite everything I've been through so far. Sure, she may have ended the reality I was from. But she never lied or deceived me in any way. Yeah, I mean, that was all my choice. She told me up front what would happen, and I did it willingly. That said... I'm really glad you're here, but can you tell me what happened to me, to that world we dated in? That reality fell to me. Nothing there exists anymore. Like a dream that ends. Just as I thought, only then why am I still here? Why did I survive when the rest of that reality didn't? And yeah, we're back to darling. I guess it's just whatever the main god is calling you right now. <laughs> Oh, did you protect me and take me to a new dimension because you l l l l l l care about me? You're still here because I'm I'm still dreaming about you. Oh, now I feel really bad for the fact that I'm already emotionally cheating on you. <laughs> Not physically yet, but I, I've kind of moved on. That's really sweet, though. <laughs> is being dreamed about by at least one eldritch god so as long as you're on my mind you'll exist somewhere that's really sweet that's actually kind of sweet in a terrifying cosmic way <laughs> at least i managed to sneak my way into her dreams the rest of humanity not so much wait you went back to sleep already god you were awake for like 30 seconds what would happen if every god stopped dreaming at the same time what if you woke up all at once? Everything, including all of the gods, would cease to be. I love Lovecraftian lore. That shit's crazy. And that can just happen at any time? Nah, don't worry. There's about 50 of us total. So the chances of all of us being awake at the same time are low. But not zero. <laughs> so if we stop being on her mind, we disappear? Yeah. Whenever she starts to get bored of us, we'll just slowly start to fade from existence. Uh, that is what it is. Should have been me. <laughs> There's only like 50 of you in all. She probably knows Esther very closely. Kind of a big family, huh? Oh, and their family. That makes it even worse. Ah. Uh, 
family. D do you know Esther? Esther? Darling, I thought I told you not to mention other women while we're together. Especially not my sister. Oh, they're fucking sisters. <laughs> no! Why? This is so anime! <laughs> S sister? Boyfriend stealing. She's done this before? Wait. She She was acting like she'd never even kissed anyone before. Was I lied to? Okay, now I have to go for the harem ending though. <laughs> Absolutely not. We've been fighting over planets and followers for eons. It wouldn't be a stretch to call us nemeses. <laughs> Thanksgiving dinner must be awkward. <laughs> Ew, good thing I washed my face. Playboy instincts dropping out there. If Lynetta saw that lipstick smear on my forehead, I'd be in hot water right about now. Well, I still am in hot water now, actually. Gotten involved with her sister. A messy affair is bad enough. But with a family member? I'm toast if she finds out. Esther. Looks like the clouds haven't cleared yet. Won't be able to see her right now if I wanted to. For now, I should work through Lynetta's spells again. Eldritch Hand saved my ass last time. Better cast that one in case I'm unable to talk again. Shh. Listen to myself. What the hell's wrong with me, man? What the hell's right with you, man? How are you so lucky, my guy? <laughs> They're effing sisters? You're effing sisters. Not yet. Give it time. <laughs> Maybe she did seduce someone but didn't go further. Honestly, maybe she was just into the wrong man. Maybe she was into a guy and the guy just wasn't into her and she considered that having a boyfriend stolen. Netta kissed us on the lips, but your highness kissed us on the forehead. True. But we didn't fill up the smooch bar with um, our highness at that point. So I wonder if getting caught with... Uh, yeah, that's got to be a bad ending. 100%. Perform Ed Eldritch Mouth, but first... Oh, did she... I have a... You didn't see shit. <laughs> Darling, what's this I found under your bed? <laughs> um... Yo, white hair and purple eyes. MC got taste. The fucking three-sided bra. Oh, that's my Eldritch Encyclopedia. I haven't translated it yet, but its diagrams are useful. Don't worry, honey. I know all of the anatomy. I, I've been practicing for today. Oh, you studied it extensively then. Oh, yeah. I sense I've made some sort of mistake. Uh-oh. Um, you're in the way, Fu-chan. Here you go. It's an eldritch horror with white hair and purple eyes, and it says AV debut. If you don't know, AV stands for audio video, not anything else. Definitely not anything. The A doesn't stand for anything else. <laughs> uh oh. Uh, I guess. Why? What's up? Darling, this is a dirty magazine. Uh huh. I have needs. You only smooched me once. What? Really? I thought it was an anatomical guidebook. <laughs> my my dude, look at the cover of that, you know. Big slippery Shogoth Girlfriends Volume 3. I bet you can learn a lot of anatomy from this. Perv. You weren't here when I bought it. You can't tell me what I can and can't like. Volume 3. Yeah, don't worry about it. It's very, very, yeah, very extensive. I mean... There's a lot of manga like that out, so... I said I haven't translated it yet. How was I supposed to know? This girl on the front isn't wearing anything. She's topless. I mean, she's an eldritch horror. I <laughs> doesn't really need a top. That's a girl? It just looks like an amorphous mass of tentacles to me. Is this what you wish I looked like? No, no, no. I don't need you to be all tentacle, baby. I, I love the way you look. I mean, if you dyed your hair white, it might prove something. I really, truly don't. Trust me. Look, Lynetta, you're smoking hot. I could never have eyes for anyone else when I'm with you. You're my dream girl. When I am with you, eventually my eyes melt out of their head, so I'll never be able to look at another girl. Okay? Oh, sheesh. You're going to make me blush. We win, baby. 
That's the power of a host. <laughs> I seriously didn't know it was a dirty magazine. Honest. I mean, yeah, you're right. Mel. Not Mel, sorry. <laughs> of, of, uh, Claudine's. I also like your sister, but other than that, I swear, my eyes are just for you two. <laughs> totally get you, Futan. White hair are beautiful. Yeah, they are. Especially white hair and red eyes or white hair and purple eyes. That's Targaryen shit right there. Let's fucking go. It's okay. I forgive you. Aw. There was nothing to forgive. It's fine if people like adult entertainment. We all have needs. That said, can I keep it? Dude, you are fucking brave. Not a chance. Yeah, I, I figured. Uh, well, that's okay. Hey, out of curious, curio out of curiosity, have you ever dated before? I have too, so I was mainly just wondering what kind of guys you're into. Well, I kind of have a thing for guys under a billion years old. I know, I know, I'm such a cradle robber. How could you? Meanwhile, I bet you're as old as existence. That's just rude. Billion years old? I, I was talking about humans. What kind of humans have you dated? Let's just say you're the nicest guy I've dated by far. <laughs> That's not always a compliment. <laughs> that should be a compliment always, but a lot of the times that's just like, hey, you treat me nice, I guess. I'm not really super interested in you, but uh, you're nice. I mean, yeah. So there were others. Yeah, she didn't say there were no other humans. And she didn't say there were no other Eldritch monsters. Although apparently all the Eldritch monsters are a family, so... Nice. Sheesh. Are they really that bad? Well, my last human ex hit me with a boat. So the bar is low. Is that a Lovecraftian story? <laughs> thing? I don't remember that. <laughs> You've dated non-humans too? Of course. Though me being single now kind of tells you all you need to know about how those relationships went. Yeah, especially since you called your sister a boyfriend stealer. So there's that as well. Got any stories? I dated a beholder once. The ones with all the fucking eye stalks and the beamy beams? How'd that end? You know, in hindsight, I shouldn't have been surprised that a sentient mass of eyeballs was seeing other women. <laughs> okay, all of that for a pun. I love it. <laughs> There's a lot of references to actual Lovecraftian horror literature. Yeah, I figured like maybe, yeah. <laughs> She's like, is a character that started to raise from the depths and somebody hit her with the boat to try and put her back to sleep kind of thing. Maybe even been a Cthulhu reference. Game is hilarious. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> okay, we're all done talking to her for now. Well, I can only do the pink book, so I guess that's what we're going to do. Oh, they've changed the order this time as well. Nothing is just your imagination. Fun. I can only do Eldritch Mouth. Okay, uh, someplace gore can be cleaned easily. Wear no robes or amulets. Okay. No robes or amulets. Get rid of that amulet. Don't open the blinds. You never know what's going to happen. Okay, honey, just pop it into the bathroom to grow a hand on my mouth. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. It's actually how the Cthulhu story ends. He gets rammed with a boat. Fuck yeah! <laughs> I figured. That's awesome. Okay, at least I did get the lipstick off my mouth. We're definitely going to have to re reload at some point and see how that goes down, though. Better robes. Oh, shit. Ritual knife. Idiot. Fuchan, what are you doing? <gasps> Honey? Did she find my mask and robe and poster and leave? Anetta, please! I can change. It was just a one-time thing. It was just a kiss on the forehead. Ah, fuck. I'll show you how devoted I am. Ngoka, yow. Ngog, steak, nimg, na. Shit. Still as unnerving as I remember. Now it speaks. That's new. 
In this reality, this is just my hand now. Forever. A date date? We get to go outside together? I get to show you off to the fear the, the abandoned fearful mortals? Burn some heads out of skulls? Fuck yeah, let's go. Why don't you open your window? Let a little light in here? No 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 oh actually yeah no let's not go outside. Um uh, uh, why don't we spend all day in bed watching Netflix? That sounds more comfortable. Oh no. No, wait. What? What is it? Um you sure you want to do that? It's all dry out there. We can be nice and wet and... Blah, blah, blah. I mean, there's showers and waters in here. What do you mean? I mean, uh... Don't you want to shower first before you go out? Like last time? I just called her stinky. I am so dead. Ah, oh, that's the end of my life. Huh? Why did you suggest that? It's just because I'm a pervert. It's not because I think you smell. I actually like the smell of the ocean. A lot of people talk about it being like very fishy and unpleasant. I like it. It's salty. It's relaxing. Just a tad salty. Heavens below. I'm so sorry, darling. I'll be right back. No peeking, but I love you. That was a close one. She opened that window, Esther would have came. I would have been a goner. Damn, that's all it takes for Esther, huh? <laughs> okay. Ocean smell is smoothing? I know, right? Evans below. It's cute. I actually like the fish smell. I got slapped last time I said that. God damn, Darcy. Yeah, that'll get slapped if you say it with the wrong context. Jesus Christ. Looks like the clouds have cleared and the net is out of the room. If I want to date Esther, it's a go time. Otherwise, if I want to stay with Lynetta, I need to make absolutely sure that window never opens. Ever. It's time to choose. From this point on, my actions will have consequences. Okay, so I still think we... Nope. I still think we stick on the Lynetta route for now. We see what kind of ending we get during the Lynetta route. Um, but first, we got to get this bad end real quick. Still worth it. <laughs> I fucking love this game. <laughs> Tap is still going. I mean, she's showering now anyway, so... Wouldn't sound any different. Besides, now I can get the other bad ending. Start, by the way, with this part. Stop bringing me back to part one. Back to one performed Eldritch Mouth. Wait. Huh? What's the one in the middle? I mean, that should have been the bad end I just got, right? <laughs> Why is there no bad end for having the lipstick on my head? I want to see that. Bravo. Yeah, yeah, I know. I'm great. Got two books. Not going to wash the lipstick off. Just going to summon her. Draw your curtains. Turn off all the lamps. In the dark like red fire. Ritual necklace. Okay. Boop, boop, boop. Ritual necklace. Close that. And we go time. Oh, sexy crazy lady. Please murder me for having dared. Spoken to your sister and been kissed upon the forehead by her. I am so absolutely terrified of you stepping on me. Yeah, that line's just broken for some reason. Mortal, for what purpose of you? Darling, it's you. It's me. Hey, Lynetta. Nice to see her. Sure, she may have ended reality, but she's hot. Really glad you're here, but can you tell me what happened to me? Blah, 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 blah. Just as I thought, why am I still here? She's dreaming about me. That's cute. Okay. Anyway, what about Esther? Esther? Darling, I thought I told you not to mention other women while we're together. Especially not my sister. S sister? Now she's gonna notice, her. Huh? Don't uh, have a great relationship with her. <laughs> Thanksgiving dinner must be awkward. <laughs> Darling, what's that on your forehead? Um, oh, uh, it's a birthmark. I've always had it. Didn't you see it before? 
Oh, what's what? Fucking toy box music is not good. It looks like a lipstick mark. That's not from another god, is it, darling? No, it's from my Eldritch hand. Because if it is, well, you die here. She kissed me. I was not complicit. I just read a couple lines in a play. It was acting. It was acting. It meant nothing. No way. Did Esther leave a kiss mark on my face when she kissed me? I should have checked the mirror before I summoned Le Le Lynetta. It's... Uh... It's what? Come on, man. Just bullshit it. Say something. It's... Ritual paint. Ritual paint? Yeah. It's one of the steps needed for your rituals. <laughs> oh, really? Uh-huh. Yeah. Which ritual? The I want another smooch ritual? Uh-oh. It's, uh, it's a secret. Nice show, Destiny. I'm going to pretend that this lipstick mark came from a human girlfriend so that I can spare you. Oh, she's very forgiving. But from now on, if you contact another god, I swear I'll stop being so sweet. Okay? Okay, that's fair. You wouldn't care if I had a human girlfriend? Of course not. Why would I care about that? Shit. Our amending. Just not with... Oh, but I like Esther. When it's a race against other gods to amass as many followers as possible, Expecting your followers to be celibate is a bad move. Is that all I am to her? Just a follower? Even though she's dreaming about me? Aww. For Grammy Roxanne, it's actually a requirement that you start a big family. Or you get excommunicated from her following. If you have no Riz, you just get kicked out of the cult? That's actually really fucking funny. You do everything. You give up your life, your wealth, everything to run away and join an evil cult. And they're just like, sorry, you got no bitches. No bitches, no cult status. <laughs> Grandma Roxanne. Oh, I'm sure you've heard of her. She's got the most followers out of any of us. She's the black goat of the woods or the mother goddess of fertility. Now that sounds hot. Goddess of fertility, she knows some shit. Fertility goddess, you say? <laughs> yeah, there we go. Funny ideas, mister. There's no telling what I'd do if you cheated on me with a family member. Okay. Um, okay. <clears throat> Esther. Looks like the clouds haven't cleared yet. I won't be able to see her right now, even if I wanted to. Okay, so you don't actually die for this. It's just more flavor text. We'll just do this again, because I found that cute. Ooh, ooh, ba, 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 ba. Okay. Um. I know robes are amulets. Hold the ritual life. I don't think I have a robe on. Nah, I'm good. Do, 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 do. Da -da -bum. On that note, is the sequel game out yet? I don't believe it is yet. I think so far we just have first date. I wonder if second date is going to go beyond smooches. Maybe we'll get to expert handholding. In Overlord, the black goat is described as a black sheep. Ah, see, they were made for us. Magaka, y'all. Wait, that break. Magaka, y'all. Mm, pog. Steak. Mmm. I don't know. Fuck you. Mmm. y'all. Steak. There. Fuck you, game. Okay. She's showering. This time we don't kill ourselves. But we do go down the pure Lanetta route for now. So what do we do next? Metamorphosis? Shit. We're running to that fast. <laughs> We're going to be a tentacle monster again. The chan's made for visual novels. I do like them. Performing this ritual after Esther's masquerade will have consequences. If you see or hear something strange, it is not your imagination. Be ready. Proceed in total darkness. No lights, no candles. Ensure their images appear in no way. In poster or tapestry. Wear a ceremonial robe and ritual necklace. Wear a mask or headpiece to distort your features. Have a ceremonial knife. You need everything. Always remember the second step on the previous page. Okay. Wait. 
Come to think of it, how do I look right now? Ooh, ba -da -bum, ba -da -bum. I'm gonna keep it. I like it. It's a nice decoration. This is not the Jujutsu Kaisen I signed up for. That's not what I signed up for either. It says I could wear a mask. I <laughs> mean... You know, let's let's be nice to Lynetta. She she's keeping us alive right now, so. Oh, but that's not my green robe. I'm sure it's fine. I'm sure everything's fine. Okay. No more candles. Those are off. We're good. Ceremony robe, mask or headpiece, have a ceremony knife. Always remember second step. Okay, we're good. Okay. Uh. I can't help how quickly I move my hand with the mouse. I have arthritis. Fuck you. Uh. Mm. I think. Uh. Oh, was... Ah. <sighs> Harp, gun, think. Fuck! I'm not even drag. Harp, gun, think. As, gun, or. Aya. I didn't even remove the fucking poster. Up, gun, the, the think, la, asb, think, or, I, uh... My mouth. I can't move it again. Just like last time. Okay, calm down. Focus. If I can control my hand, then. Uh, hey! Hey! to control your eldritch mouth so soon? Oh yeah, anything for you, baby. I will learn to do everything that I used to be able to do with my old mouth with my new mouth. So that I, you know, have the two mouths whenever I want to. I'm... I'm getting the hang of it. Seems I still have my muscle memory from the last reality. Good. Ooh, yeah, I can talk in Eldritch speech now. Um, Cthulhu, Cthulhu, and God. Nope, nope, nope. You won't like that. You don't like me talking about other gods. Yeah, <gasps> Volkt. Oh, that's so sweet. You Aww. Say I love you. You must have been studying, huh? That's so cute. Aww. Yeah, I could say wish wish sauce. I could actually pronounce it properly. Yeah, I'm uh, pretty fluent now, right? Also, don't worry, chat. I'm not an eldritch horror. That's not why I can say that word. I'm just British. <laughs> you know what? That should be a thing that people have to say. I'm not an eldritch horror. I'm, ju I'm just British. <laughs> what? Well, in Yabu, mid, vaulting would be a dangling participle error since you started the sentence with it. Yeah, instead of yeah, yeah. Okay, my bad. Okay, fine. Yeah, yeah, Volk. And since you and I are intimate, you don't need the gin suffix. No need to be so formal with your girlfriend. You're intimate? I see. Um, nice. We only kissed once. Yes, I still have a lot of learning to do. <laughs> Fuck, she's so cute. How do you... <laughs> Damn it, it's actually really difficult to speak English through my hand. Or Leanne, or I was off the tongue in comparison. Hand tongue, that is. How do you speak human l languages so well? Actually, most of us are hyper polyglots. You can't get people to worship you. You can't communicate with them. That makes sense. So she knows, yeah, she already talked about knowing every language, to be fair. Really? 
What else do you know? English, Mandarin, Spanish, French, Arabic, ASL, Parcel Tongue, Elvish, Undercommon, Swedish. Elvish and Undercommon? <laughs> you know the fucking JR. Uh, no, no, no. You know the fucking uh, 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 JK Tolkien languages and the fucking Lord of, uh, the Dungeons and Dragons languages. My brain is gone. Why did I have to wake up at 4 30 a.m. today? <laughs> I love how Swedish came after those as well. She hit us with fucking Elvish and Undercommon. And then she hit us with Swedish. I wonder if Swedish is harder. <laughs> hey, you made some of those up. All languages are made up, darling. You're not wrong. <laughs> Fuck. Um, yeah. We, we make them up to learn how to communicate with each other. To be able to uh, express ourselves. People can make up other words whenever they feel like. Huh. That was a mind fucking off. <laughs> All languages are indeed made up. Uh, what's what's my next step? Like pog? No, pog doesn't count. Pog is not a new word. Pog is just a feeling, a spirit, if you would. Eldritch embrace. Very spooky. Proceed in total darkness. No lights or candles. Don't worry about these steps. Chant. Yeah. Don't worry about this shit. All you have to do is give Lynetta a big old hug. I love, love, love you. I want a hug! Lynetta! Squeeze me! Oh, I can't hug her. This is bullshit. Did I move the page? No. What other page did she rip out? Was that the earlier page? <laughs> yeah, she ripped out the second page of this one. <laughs> That's cute. That's cute. Okay. Okay, what's actually next? Um, oh, she just, oh, she just, I thought she'd stick a page over it. Um, do I get my hug now that I've turned the page? Uh, Lynetta? Yes, darling? I'm just checking, but you haven't tampered with my book, right? What do you mean? She just wants a hug. Oh, 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 no more breaking up. I don't even care about that. I just think it's adorable that she wrote in a fake ritual, which is just, just hug Lynetta. This Eldritch Embrace spell. It looks a bit different from other rituals. <laughs> <How strange. laughs> See, this is like the wholesome route. The other route, surprisingly, despite the tentacles, this is the wholesome, cute, adorable, like waifu route. The other route is the fun time for a short time. She's going to chain me up and beat the crap out of me, Root. That's why I'm going to prefer that one, but this is a fucking adorable too. Oh, what's the use? You caught me. It's not a real ritual. It can be real if we make it real. We can make it a uh, every hourly ritual. I just... I see how hard you're pushing yourself to make it through these spells for my sake. I thought maybe you could use a break from the real rituals so I could spoil you a little. Oh, she had a really cute reason for it, too. <laughs> That's actually pretty sweet of you. There's no time for breaks. Shut up, MC. Hug her. Not even a quick one? Yeah, quick one. Mmm. How quick? Think. Hmm. I'll do my best. I can't lose sight of my singular goal. Smooching ya. Well, all right. I'll leave you to it, then. Bruh. How oh, dare. <laughs> You're leaving? There's something I need to check on. It's probably nothing, but you haven't seen anything strange lately, have you? No. Definitely no cults or wearing gold masks and a girl looks like a... No, no, nothing. I've seen plenty of strange things lately. Out of gods, hands with mouths. <laughs> I meant things beyond the usual strangeness. Nah, I mean, it's been fine. It's been good. You haven't noticed anything watching you, have you? No. Hmm. Sorry, I guess I'm being the strange one, huh? She's clingy. I like that. I'll just be right back. Stay safe, okay? I don't think she's really going anywhere. I think she's just on a hide just outside and make sure I'm not cheating on her. You have nothing to worry about, Lynetta. This is this is my good. Good, 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 good one. Um, Eldritch Embrace, very spooky. Look at the little... Oh, shit, sorry, I was in the way. Look at the little drawing, too. <laughs> She's got the little thumbs up. 
Like, hey, don't worry about it. It's very spooky. <laughs> Too many sheep count. There are a lot of sheep watching us right now as well, but that's fine. Some people like to be watched. Okay, Dark Communion. Performing this ritual after Esther's banquet will have consequences. Let the room be well lit. Wear no robes or necklaces. Have the offering on your person. Anything else? Nope. Oh, we've only got one more page in this route, though. This is going pretty fast. Okay. Sacrifice obtained. It's milk again. I love milk. Looks delicious. Put back these. Do I need a knife? I don't have to not have a knife. So sure. Let the room be well lit. Yo, it's lit fam. Shit's going hard. Okay. I'm good. But the window? The window's closed, right? Yeah, the window's closed. There's just a tiny bit of light coming through a crack. She can't appear like that. We're fine. We're fine. Okay. Na fulfultagen. Uegel. Otla. Ria. Ngwa. Yog. Fuck my life, lol. Delicious. Just as perfect as last time. As long as we keep finding each other, we can keep doing this forever. Yeah, I think it's, um, uh, I think just like whenever there's a sound effect and a voice line play at the same time, the sound effect just takes over the voice line. I like that. Do you remember the last time we did this? When you couldn't speak back to me? I know, right? Now I can. And I can hug you. Because you're physical, unlike your sister. I do remember. So, you know what happens next, right? Uh-huh. End of the universe. One last ritual. And then we say goodbye again. You'll keep dreaming about me, right? I'll, I'll just be back. As always, take as much time as you need. I'll wait as long as it takes, darling. Aw, she's so sweet. <sighs> oh, I knew waking up could be so exhausting. Yeah, you go back to sleep and dream about me. I'll end the universe for us. Gonna take a nap before you, well, end everything. You know me so well. Better not dream of other humans. I mean, I, I guess I'm fine with you cheating with other Eldritch Horrors. That uh, confuses me more than anything. Um, just not with other humans. But don't try anything while I'm sleeping this time. I, I didn't. I mean, I did last time. But not in the ending we saved. I know what you did. Oh. Right. She knows all universes. Uh-oh. Don't look so surprised. Right before our date would have ended, you betrayed me. Don't think that there aren't consequences between realities, darling. Oh, um, you forgave me, right? I mean, you still showed up this time. I've already dealt with that pesky breakup spell in your book, as I'm sure you've noticed. Yeah, I, uh, I wasn't going to do it this time anyway. So just take the straight and narrow path of loyalty in front of you. And we can keep doing this forever and ever and ever. Cute. Hmm. Can you put the lights for me again, darling? Uh huh. I got you, hon. Uh, bum. Uh, bum. And she's naked again. Can I hug her now? Um. <laughs> fine. Guess I'll end reality or some shit. Please turn her into a plushie again. I mean, I can't. I literally. I guess I could. Oh, no, I can't, because you literally you can't say the words. <laughs> Nanetta, big ol' hug. Yeah, this is different. Yeah, I can't break up with her even if I wanted to. <laughs> Borg, why why did you do it? I, I didn't think she'd remember. I just wanted to get all the endings. I should have said she should know about the other endings when I thought about it earlier. It does make sense. Yeah, every reality is just another dream of another god, so I mean... She exists outside of that. She exists in the fourth dimension, so. Maybe she wouldn't give this warning if she hadn't betrayed her. I wonder about that. That's interesting. Okay, final pledge. Only need a ritual knife. Got a ritual knife. This time I won't do it in the bathroom. I'm going to do it right above her. Let my blood spill for you. You may not be my queen, but you are my queen. Lanetta F. Arthur. Okay, 
Darkly. Lanetta of Arthur. Boga Picadishtua. Nil Gray. Lanetta of Arthur. Boga Picadishtua. Nil Gray. Lanetta of Arthur. Muga puga dishtu! Nil go Hey, you don't want me to? I need to talk to you first. Am I getting broken up with? You really going for all endings then? That's the plan. It takes like three hours to finish this game normally. I'm sure it won't take too much longer, maybe five hours to finish the full game. You're not breaking up with me, are you? I. What is it? We just live through this reality, have a nice human lifespan, and then we end it all? What if we didn't complete the final ritual? She really does care about me. She's thinking about my existence as a third dimensional being. Oh. What if I stayed to sleep longer so we could have a little more time together? Oh. Yeah, let's do that. Just you and me. Lingering in a doomed world, alone. Like an endless dream come true. That's all I've ever wanted. Especially knowing that I was the reason it is an empty world. That's like my dream. Doesn't that sound nice? Yes! Let's go! It does sound nice. Uh, wait. Did I do it anyway? Anga, <laughs> Yaleta. Unless that just means I love you, Lynetta. Wait, no! Oh, I ended the year. Why would I do that? We were finally going to be together forever! No! I didn't want to do that! MCY! Fuck you, D! We would have been so happy! I wanted to be happy! Ugh. This reality is doomed. It you said it once. The dream has to end eventually. If you keep a dream going on forever. It has to become a nightmare eventually. Or worse, it becomes reality. How fucking nihilistic am I? You're a fucking host club host and you... Okay. Take a look at the world around us. And take a good look at me. Is this what you want our reality to be like? <laughs> of course not. Why not? We'll find each other in the next reality, Neda. I promise. Just dream of me and I'll be there. My dream. You can be. Never come true. But we can be together for a short time forever. But I'm not ready to say goodbye again. Why can't we just stay for good? Sorry, Lorena. Um, this was a one night kind of thing. I'm not the kind of guy to settle down and commit. I, you know, don't let the door hit you on the way out. You know why. You know why. What if we're saying goodbye forever? It's actually really fucked up, man. VA is VA. Yeah, the VA is doing a great job. If I'm your dream guy, then there's no way this is goodbye forever. It's no big deal. You can always dream of me again. Darling, please don't go. I can stay asleep a little longer. I can. That's so sad. She's actually begging him. It already happened. I already finished the line. I'll be right back. <laughs> this ending gets his whole ass own CG. She's so fucking in love with me in this universe. Oh, and she is wearing a nightie. Maybe just because I thought it was like a I thought it was like a, 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 a blanket on top of her. This is cute though. What the shit? The MC's straight up like, nah, nah, nah. Don't run away from your fourth dimension. It's okay. You'll dream of me again. That's kind of cute. I wonder how long it can go on for. Like, <laughs> how many times am I willing to be reincarnated for a single couple of hours? I didn't even get my smooch this time. <laughs> Just crying in her sleep. Yeah, this is a sad dream. It turned into a nightmare. Shit, she just keeps going. MC is, I mean, VA is really VAing. Thank you for giving me a dream 
wonderful enough to remember clearly. Aww. Oh my god, I have a face! My darling looks like this. Remember that when you dream him again. She made me way sexier than I actually am. I'm a little baby twink boy. <laughs> she made me thick. She gave me one hell of a jawline. She gave me the beard. Yo. <laughs> That's adorable. You know what? I get to exist forever in the dreams of an eldritch god. That's kind of sick. <laughs> it's Lele Chan. No, I mean, that's the Archan version. That's the thing. The Le Chan was like the little baby idol version. Le she, on the other hand, was like, nah, I'm gonna make him thicker in my dreams. <laughs> I'm gonna make him thicker. I'm gonna give him some stubble. This is gonna be great. Awake and two. Does that technically count as one of these? Nah. True endings achieved one out of six. Sick. Okay, so yeah. I got the still worth it bad ending. I got metamorphosis, dark communion. Final pledge. <gasps> Wait. There are different ones. How? 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 What do I need to do? Let me get the lights for you. There you go. Um. Maybe I have to remember the breakup smell. Calling. Aldrich Mouth. Metamorphosis. Oh, I haven't even done Metamorphosis yet. Unless I have. Wait. I have done Metamorphosis. <laughs> okay. I want to do the Eldritch Embrace, damn it! Ah, oh, performing this ritual Dark Communion. I have a ritual knife, final pledge. Can I, like, leave now and then maybe Esther is going to start some shit? Uh, Esther? Esther? Maybe that's what I have to do. Maybe I have to do one of these now. Really need a hint, Fu-chan? Nah, I'm working my way through it. Okay, so we've done these ones. Maybe there's something about, like, fucking this up in the earlier part of the... Nope, nope. These are just already done. Okay, masquerade, makeup guide. <laughs> we have makeup for this? Backstage in an enclosed room with a mirror. Prepare the host for scene two by doing the following. Apply the, apply the masquerade mask to host's face. Adorn the host in elegant robes. Affix a ritual knife to the host's person. When all is complete, look in a mirror to ensure the costume is prepared properly. Okay, I'll do that. Masquerade mask, elegant robes, ritual knife. Bum, ba -dum, bum, ba -dum. Mask, robe. I got the ritual knife already. What I don't need is milk. Or Tiny Tim. <laughs> I love that sound. <laughs> I'm going to try opening the window, too. Oh. Um. <laughs> Just open the window, like. Oh. Hey, Esther. Oh. Yeah. Nothing's wrong at all. You know what? He's just gone. I forgot she bails on me. Those tentacles under the dress? God, I hope so. I think it's just more of the dress, but who knows? We'll find out someday. I hope. Oh, that's where she is. Why? <laughs> Why? Um, this is fine. Let me... Should I open that? When did she start? She's already in bed. You don't have a shower off the bed, you sure? Uh, remember she smelled? Yeah, but she she had a shower. Oh. Why can I still hear the water? <sighs> Are you messing with my reality? Okay, I'm gonna go do your ritual now. I don't know what's going on anymore. Um. Uh, oh no, I got the tentacle face. Um. Why, why isn't my masquerade mask on? It's on. Oh. 
Does this not work after you've already done uh, tentacles? I the masquerade mask. Elegant robes. Do I not have elegant robes? Ritual knife. Look in the mirror. Ritual. Oh, the robes aren't on. What? I thought I'd put them on. Okay, now I've got the robes on. That was very strange. That didn't help anything. <laughs> the mask won't stay on my face. It keeps slipping off. Oh. That metamorphosis spell must have made my face incompatible. Hi. Aren't you in proper dress, dearest? Oh, uh, here comes a bad ending. <laughs> um. Oh. Because I wanted you glaring at me like that. This is my kind of thing. Just having pre-show jitters. Getting the mask on is tricky with my hands shaking so much. Jitters? Mm-hmm. You know, I, I know I look like a playboy, but I still get nervous in front of pretty girls like you. Dearest, you love your king, yes? More and more by the second. Yes, 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 yes. But, yeah? And you would never lie to her, correct? Uh-uh, 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 well. Kind of have been. Um, but I still love you. Wouldn't dream of it. Then tell me, what happened to your face? I, I cut myself while shaving. Try to avert my gaze, but her iron grasp holds my chin firmly in place. Her long, sharp nails dig into my cheek. She gets me. We do need a safe word, though. What an unfortunate accident. And an even more unfortunate face. Oh, she doesn't like my face anymore. For now, we shall conceal that hideous visage of yours beneath the hood of your robe. Hopefully, this won't affect your performance. No, I'm good. I can fight through the pain. I'm good. And in the interest of not having further accidents, you will have my undivided attention from now on. She went full yonder. <laughs> She's like, I'm never taking my eyes off of you. You belong to me. <laughs> you may express your gratitude to your king. Of course, your highness. Allow me to grovel upon your feet. Oh, thank you, your highness. Oh, and dearest, one more thing. Uh-huh. I may not be as barbaric as my sister, but I assure you <laughs> I can be twice as dreadful. I'm counting on it. Do not give me cause to demonstrate. Lest. Don't threaten me with a good time. <laughs> um. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Mask. The robes came off again. Shit. Oh. Setting. Interior well lit. Host enters wearing robe and mask. Okay. Okay. So I need the robe. I need the robe. And we'll be able to do part two. Part two. He wants the punishment? Get him? Hell yeah. Get me. What are you gonna do to me? Weird that I have to put it back and then put it back on. There we go. Um, interior well lit. So we also need to well lit this shit. Ah, oh, it's lit as fuck. Fam! Let's fucking go! Okay. Exit. My robe came off. My fucking robe come off. What the fuck? I can't enter here if every time I exit here my robe just comes off. Maybe I just do this. You know what? Fine. <laughs> We're just gonna pretend we just entered. Welcome, company most cherished. May my loneliness thus perish. Thus perish to this evening we shall share... Wait, wait. May my loneliness thus perish. To this evening we shall share which would be wasted by myself. No attendance ever of tonight, alas. Besides thyself, but I'll be beside myself when the king reveals himself. Lay thine hands upon my bodice, for before you stands a goddess. Know this guest of goldenrod is merely the first of the night. You ain't gonna get my goldenrod unless you put the mask back on and turn back into a fucking eldritch god. Yeah, I've got a broken heart. Are you happy? Are you happy? The mask stays on. This is pathetic. Let us drink to your great wealth and family and life, lasting till your afterlife. I'll be yours once he arrives. 
Okay, she does read well, though. I'll give her that. It's kind of it's kind of awesome. <laughs> I haven't watched anything related to Niji Sanji or VTubers, and this is what I return to? What is that supposed to mean? We're having fun here. Have fun and chill if you want to. Head out if you don't like it. This is what you return to. Oh, my love. Host. Okay, I don't have to change anything good. Yes. Until my schemes may flourish, we shall haunt my empty fortress. Let us dance a whirling dervish while we feed our appetites. By the morrow, we shall know if the king came tonight. <laughs> it's phrasing. Midnight marks the final charm. Chime. Until that comes, there is still time. It doesn't sound to me like the king came. <laughs> That's okay. I did my best. Bravo, bravo. Grazie, grazie, bellissima. Si, si. An immaculate performance, dearest. There we go. <gasps> she hit me with the bravissimo. Grazie. There's only one more scene to reenact. And then this world will be mine. And me along with it, my queen. I mean, your highness. Shit, she prefers your highness. I probably should have asked before we got to the final act, but this play isn't a tragedy, right? No, it's not. The ending is actually quite hilarious. Ah, oh, she is a school of the scholar, of the bard. She either does tragedy or comedy, no in between. That's actually a huge relief. What happens? It doesn't. It's not going to be comedy for me. Your character is slain, and all of his wishes come true in an unexpected way. Death by Snoo Snoo? <laughs> I mean... <laughs> in his ambitions of greed, influence, and fame, he dies penniless, alone, and infamous. That's... not all my dreams and wishes coming true. Wait, my character dies? I'm gonna die? I thought you said it was a comedy. Comedy is merely tragedy from far enough away, dearest. I mean, if you don't like the person, that could be pretty funny, but Jesus. Is she implying that she thinks my death would be funny? I gather she's an outer god, so human morals don't really apply to her. That's got to be cruel even for her. No way I can grow through with that. Sorry. I don't want to die again. I anticipated that you might get cold feet after learning of your character's fate. However... My wrath is terror far beyond a touch of stage fright. Oh, now you have my interest. So, for your sake, dearest, do the f***ing scene. And now you have my erection. Interesting. Do I want to do the scene so that I can have a happy ending? Do I want to not do the scene so I can have a happier ending? Decisions, decisions. <laughs> um, kind of scene is it? Uh, banquet. <laughs> that is not going to go well for me. <laughs> Food preparation guide. Prepare for scene three by the following. Retrieve ingredients from cold storage. Light red fire candles. Allow the king into the room. Do not make a mistake or a hungry uninvited guest may arrive. Ooh, that sounds fun too. Chicken? Yeah, chicken. Don't say that in front of dog though. He thinks that word just means food in general. He goes nuts. She has what? Don't worry about it. <laughs> Chant. Okay. Oh, this is just an actual ritual. She didn't even bother. There's so many more pages though. Black fire reveals secrets. Okay. Oh, was that because I had the black candle on? Oh, <gasps> sick. Oh, so this is just another bonus thing. Okay. <laughs> what do you mean one out of three? Wait. No. Ah. Uh... But 
I got that other one out of three forever ago. I did the bonus. I can't do it again. Wait, <laughs> that's cheating. The warrior counted. The counter is just buggy. Oh, okay. Oh, I, yeah, I mean, I guess it's one of those, like, it's all the different universes and stuffs, I guess. Maybe we'll know after we're done with this one. Okay. Bumper story, maybe? I hope so. Maybe. Ugh. Okay, anyway. Um, what do I have to do for this? Not this book. My bad. Wait. I mean, what if I end the pledge now while I'm halfway down the golden route? Does that change? I don't know. Let's do this. I've only got one broken heart so far. <laughs> Where are my multiple ones? Okay, ingredients from cold storage. Red fire candles allow the king into the room. I'm going to do all of that except for red fire. I'm going to go with black fire. I want to see this hungry guest show up. Let's just milk again. We're not even giving her anything fancy. Ah, oh, you're in, my queen. Your highness, you are looking as regal as ever. Up, well, allow me to prepare the banquet. Better not just be one of those ones where it's like, ah, 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 you didn't do the thing. <laughs> Switch? No. Versatile, but not switching right now. Feel like since it specifies consequences, it won't be. Ah, oh, we'll see later then. Sorry, but are those tentacles on her feet? Don't worry about it, Fuji. We'll find out when the dress comes off. <laughs> I already used up my supplies to cook for Lynetta. All that's left is leftovers from her dark communion. Oh, fuck. Um, <laughs> I really do not want to give... Oh, I'm giving the fucking king of yellow a fucking leftover doggy bag. Oh, no. You must be kidding. You were seriously planning on serving this to me? Um... The bone marrow is a delicacy. We could make some really fucking hearty soup or stew. Wait, I can explain. Please, do. I got hungry. Yang, you wouldn't hurt me while I'm pianing, right? I have nothing. Mere leftovers for a king? How humiliating. Yeah, what are you going to do about it? I mean, your king leftovers. what are you going to do about it? Pray tell, did you find worthy of the feast? Dog. I said chickens. He came running over. I can't say no to him when he has his puppy dog eyes in. She's on to me. He's got to figure out I served it to Lynetta. I hear heavy chains dragging nearby. I... I just got hungry. I skipped breakfast this morning, so... On your own because you were feeling peckish. I mean, I was hungry. There's nothing wrong with that. Was just... We can eat again. I, I'm a big guy. You can give me seconds. So, the person you think deserves to eat before the king does is you. What are you gonna do about it? Such self idolatry is a serious crime against me, God King and heiress to Carcosa. Mm-hmm. How are you gonna put me in my place? Conveniently. The punishment for blasphemy and treason is the same. Death. Oh, that's boring. Come on, you can do better than that. You're an eldritch god. You can make me go insane. That's worse than death. You can make me not exist across the fucking cosmos and all realities. What are you doing? <sighs> what a shame. I thought you had some potential, but you're a totally worthless servant in the end. Lynetta, save me! Help! Oh god. She's serious. I'm seriously gonna die here. Wait, what if I did something to appease you? Then would my crime be forgiven? I am God King. All is as I say. If I wish for you to be pardoned, then it shall be so. What do I gotta do? <laughs> Perhaps if you grovel on your hands and knees, I can let you off lightly. I'm down. <laughs> I'm down. You want me to lick your feet? I can... No. Oh, that sounded weird. I meant to say boots. You want me to lick your boots? I can go... Ah, oh, fuck. Now it's just dirty. I don't like it. 
I immediately drop into a full prostration bow. See, the MC gets it too. Please forgive me. Let me make things up to you. I beg you. <laughs> you look so pathetic like that. <laughs> Very well. Shelby. She hit me with the Western equivalent of humu humu. Oh, that's fucking amazing. Why does everyone want Archivist on his knees lately? I don't know. It seems to be a popular position. I'm a lowly worker. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to make her uncomfortable with this. I'm leaning way too far into the masochism and degradation. I'm a lowly worm. Forgive me, but don't let me off with some harsh punishment first. But he... you... Well, don't you think you said that too willingly? Do you want me to lick your boots, your highness? Or perhaps you want to spit on me or step on me? But he... I'm just checking, but you're not enjoying this, right? No, of course not. This is the most horrible thing in my life. Now, are you sure you don't want to step on me? Spill some hot wax on me? Chain me up and whip me a little? No. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, you shameless pig. You're lower than... You hit me with pig. Let's fucking go. Your trough, swine. Oh, we're right back into the Fata Morgana torture. You think I don't enjoy this shit? Oh, you want to bite? Even though my lips have touched it? Open wide and don't drop a single morsel. I won't forgive you if you make a mess on my gown. Okay, that's actually fucking hot. <laughs> a lot of this I'd been joking about. But my god, the whole like, if you spill any on me, I'm going to fuck you up. God damn. A juice-soaked morsel from the leftovers is shoveled into my mouth. It feels gritty with an unusual texture like it's covered in thousands of small hairs. Oh, fuck, dude. Nope, nope. It tastes strangely. I can't even begin to guess what food this used to be. I try to gulp it down before I can taste it, but it's too big to swallow whole. If I just bite it in half once and swallow the pieces, I might get it down before I gag. As I bite down, it bursts like a tomato, filling my mouth with a sweet juice. It tastes extremely fruity, sort of pineapple-y even. That is, that is good. <laughs> kind of good too big to swallow yeah they're, they're really trying to drive home the horror here but it also sounds kind of kinky <laughs> it's better than good it's great oh i'm adapting <laughs> it's godlike nectar instantly addictive ambrosia more i need more it's too delicious to have just one bite it's seriously like nothing else as soon as i swallow i feel the immediate effects of withdrawal my fond memories of any other food fade to utter disgust. The mere thought of ever eating anything else makes my stomach churn. I greedily take another bite, filling my mouth with as much as I can. The smooth nectar bursting from every bite swims around in my mouth, coating every surface. It's so delicious that it's making my mouth tingle. Huh? Did I just bite my cheek? Why do I taste blood? The dull tingling suddenly turns into a sharp sting, then into an unbearable burning. My whole mouth feels raw, like I'm gargling acid. It's like my mouth is being digested. I lurch to spit it out, but my willpower fails me. I just can't bear to spit it out. It's too good. Just a little while longer. Let me chew it just a little while longer. The food falls out of my mouth with a splat, as a heap of bloody viscera. Okay, now I know he's just going to collapse immediately and start eating it off the floor like a dog. Which again, that's too far for me. But at the same time, I get what they're going with with these scenes. <laughs> it might be my imagination, but I swear I spat out twice as much as I put in my mouth. The horror. <sighs> Wipe away that sour expression, Oh, he didn't. Okay. <laughs> the next act is about to begin. And everyone will be watching. Yay! This should be the final act, too. Although there's a lot of pages of the book left. Isn't this like an autophagy? Um, no, he did bite his mouth a little bit. 
But I I don't think it was his mouth being digested. Bro, is this a horror game? It's literally in the description for this video. Yeah, it has, it has warnings at the beginning of the game that literally say there are graphic depictions of self-harm, mutilation, body horror. <laughs> it says horror, romance, comedy. It's everything. <laughs> okay. Well, I wonder where my other girlfriend went. Oh, the mask doesn't appear back on the mannequin anymore either. I can never talk to her. This makes me sad. Oh. Boop, boop, boop. I wonder how I look right about now. Ah. What if I wash away that blood? That's better. That is an improvement. <laughs> Wonder what the world outside is like right about now. Ah, nice and golden. I love golden hour. Okay. Just saw Uncle Folger and I clicked. <laughs> For one thing, um, I know you're new, Fuji, so no worries. Uh, one of my rules is against calling me like any kind of pet or familial names, even Uncle. Like, I know uncle isn't, like, a cute one, like, father or daddy or anything, but yeah, just, yeah, that's one of the chat rules, so please don't do that again, but no big deal, I know you're new. Um, but yeah, I hope you're enjoying the stream, but yeah, there is some horror moments in this and some graphic depictions of, like, blood and gore and body horror. Okay, what are we up to next? The King in Yellow, yeah, that'll be the finale. Oh, it's a whole ass. Oh my god, it just keeps going. Host expires, last verse kills audience, and the king exits. Recast the role of host. Begin the play a new- Hey! She's gonna cheat on me immediately next? What if I do this again? Wait. Yeah, that's fair. I already got that one. Okay, what if I switch books? Maybe there's something different in here now. Final pledge, dark communion, break up. Metamorphosis, Eldritch Mouth, the calling. Ah, fuck. Well, okay then. Let's do this. Let's get another ending. Definitely check the description for warnings and utmost importantly for the screen chat rules. Yes. These make everybody safer. Interior, no light besides open window. Host enters wearing robes and mask. And nothing underneath the robes, am I right? <laughs> Gotta be ready for anything. Yeah, I've got the mask and I've got the robes, apparently. I'm gonna double that just to be safe. Okay, don't need milk. Keep in the dagger just in case. I know what kind of game this is. <laughs> oh, and no light other than the open window. There we go. I've prepared everything for you, your highness. Okay, let us do this. Is the second heart broken too? Yeah, I think it's because I already started down the Lanetta route. I think once you start down the Lanetta route, they just start as broken hearts. So there should be another ending where we don't do Lanetta at all and only do like the pure Esther route. <sighs> Damn the night and morrow scornful. Wicked morning unremorseful. Why tonight must I be mournful for ambitions unfulfilled? After all my preparations, all the daylights I have killed, why is it us only still? Oh, why are my wishes unfulfilled? Oh, why so livid if your actions that permitted this result truly befitted to a hunger such as thine? Yeah, she reads it less like Shakespeare and more like Edgar Allan Poe prose. <laughs> Maybe I should do that. Greed is grave and tomb and crypt in which you die. It's within your grease you fry. Dearest host, the end is nigh. Oh, I am so down. Yeah, I'm sorry I won't do that again. You're funny, though. Thank you, Fuji. I'm glad you're enjoying your stay. Welcome to the sheep pile. It's lovely to have you here, and I hope you continue to enjoy your stay. Yeah, you've done a really good job. Yeah. It really, like, it's being read like the raven. Um, And yeah, the raven is supposed to be read like that in, like, quick verse. So let me try. I'm not sure if I can do that. Objective, perform a perfect recitation. Uh, that's a lot of pressure, man. 
I'm gonna like slowly drag my way through it and then I'll do it properly once we get on the... It's not... There we go. Okay. Wretched guest, you've come to mock me. For bemusement thou hast hawking, and so in the town you stalked me to watch my schemes fall apart. Strip thy mask, apologize, then hastily depart. Leave thee just my broken heart, leave naught else in wall apart. Oh, she really is an eldritch horror. Let's fucking go. There are no tentacles. There are only spikes and blood and the captured souls of mortals. Okay. What's up next? Maybe there's more secrets. Nope. Fuck it. Down onward we go. Okay. Ugh. Draw thy blade from mine contusion. My life reaches its conclusion, clearly matched by your delusion that you truly are the king. Yes, you would have granted all my wishes, not forsaken me. If indeed you were the king, why would you have murdered me? Granted all your wishes, I'm afraid I disagree. All alone you are with all of your remaining family. And as vision turns to darkness, you have claim to all you see. And you'll wear that mask and robe for the rest of all your life indeed. Oh, she's covered in blood now, too. Fuck, she's so my style. Strong will fall to illness, haunt you too with crypt like stillness, and none left alive to witness my ascension to your till. And from the catacombs shall spill the cries of innocence laid still, he heard from lady and from smithy and from throne to peasant mill. I liked that as well. The way she like extenuated stilly to get the rhyme in. Let's fucking go. Unprecedented in the history of your till. Wales, unlike they'll ever be again in dark your till. That your invitations quill brought the king to black your till. Ten out of ten. Bravissima! Amazing! The final play of all time. Listen to that applause, dearest. The euphoria of a flawless recitation. Innumerable voices make up the cacophony of cheering outside my door. Fanatical revelry, screams of terror, and sadistic amusement all amidst thunderous applause. The king has come. Smiles, dearest, smiles. Aren't you proud of yourself? I am, actually. I did good. I'm glad. Why? Why didn't you use a stage knife? I'm really bleeding out here. Dude, you knew you were going to die. Why are you questioning this now? <laughs> my blood streams from a gaping wound in my chest. My abdomen is unseamed. To ensure you stay in character, call it method acting, if you will. Yeah, I knew what I signed up for. The curtain falls, and the show begins. But I want to be part of the show. The stage is now set for you to inscribe the yellow sign. Do this, and I will bestow upon you the smooch I promised. Two smooches! <laughs> yeah, fucking, I love him. He's literally bleeding to death, and he's like, You I mean the smooches you promised. Plural. You said you'd give me two. Even now, that's really all you can think about? Uh-huh. Your world is about to be enslaved by a horror from beyond the stars. You're dying from a stab wound. Two smooches! And the mask and veil stay on! And you're worried about smooches? Mm. You are... an interesting human. It is a pity that you'll soon cast away your individuality for me. You can change that. You have the power. We both know that. You are a god. Okay, what's next? The yellow sign. Ah, it's the question marks. Hmm. 
Draw the shape below without the X. Ah. Huh. Okay. I not, oh, I don't even have to read anything. Okay. The yellow sign is only visible or drawable by those who have witnessed or performed the King in Yellow play. Being exposed to the yellow sign after witnessing or performing the play, the King in Yellow will cause a permanent irreversible obsession with the King, her court, and Carcosa. This obscene obsession persists after death. If you are content to spend your life with the King, dim all lights, leaving your window open, and light black fire candles. This will allow otherworldly images to reveal themselves. Draw the shape below without the X. So they make you on this page turn on the black fire candles, which means I would have eventually found that secret message anyway. It's kind of rude. Yeah, this was a much bigger book. Anything new in here? At least Lynetta's hearts aren't broken. Lynetta's hearts are very happy. Black fire! Still can't talk to her? This is bullshit. Oh, you didn't see me with that book. Don't worry about it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we already did that. Um, if you're on the contenders, dim all lights, leaving your window open. Light black fire candles. Okay. Dim all lights. Oh, they're already off. Oh. Draw this. Hello, sign. Become my slave, my eternal captive audience. Well, that works for me. I did boohee quite hard earlier. Oh, I presume you are wondering about those smooches, huh? Yes! Tell me, does a servant that betrays his master only to come crawling back to collect his reward deserve anything? She, she knows. She knew. Ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> from me well i take everything from you honestly deserved queen shit right there good for you you know your value you know i cheated on you i deserve this so no smooch none not even two if i wasn't going to give you one why would you think i'd give you two i'm, I'm, I'm hopeful you know I think I hate people that go back on their word even more than I love smooches. Hate? What's with that defiant tone? You're supposed to be under my control now. I'm also supposed to be insane just from staring at you. Did that happen? No. I'm a special case. Maybe I like being defiant. <gasps> is this the brat taming route? Please tell me this is the brat taming route. Say, you're the embodiment of the light from your planet, right? What if I close these blinds over here? Yes, I am. So in a way, the planet star Kokosa is also you, right? Well, yes, but what could you possibly mean by asking that? What if I kiss the sun, huh? Then I'm taking those smooches. Means I just figured out a way to get to <laughs> He's actually gonna try to kiss the sun. My dude! <laughs> um, even if it means taking this whole planet with me. Oh, I, I know a better spell. Awesome. Kokosa, Gurdramazda, Fthganastgain. In the event that stage lights fail mid-play, perform this ritual to bring Kokosa closer to your current location. Oh, and it's right next to us, so yeah. We're gonna supernova! <laughs> well, no, technically, we're just gonna have a sun move into us. But yeah, we're gonna get sucked into the sun. Well, the, the star, the Kokosa star. Awesome! Only use in case of emergency and only cast it once. Okay! Carcosa Gudvamasta, Frutgana Stegain. Hey, you're only supposed to cast that once. Carcosa is close enough. Yeah, don't worry about it. I'm brat taming right now. You wait your turn. Carcosa Gudvamasta, Frutgana Stein. What are you doing casting that spell repeatedly like that? That spell only brings Carcosa within a dangerous distance to the earth. But why do something so pointless? I am getting. Those smooches! If you keep casting it, Carcosa will move closer and closer to Earth. Yeah, I know what I'm doing. Don't worry about it. Don't tell me. Mm-hmm. Are you trying to smooch my planet itself? Uh-huh. Not even this bullshit light wave form. I'ma smooch you directly in your true form. How much more does that hurt you, huh? Carcosa. Good of a Mazda. 
Frithgana's thine! Heavens below. You're serious? Come now, we can be reasonable about this. No, you started this shit. If you crash Carcosa into the earth, it'll be an extinction level event for humanity. And I'll have my smooches. I'll lose every member of my court that I worked so hard to steal from Lynetta. There's no need to do anything drastic. You'll die instantly. I'll die with a smile on my face. Dying once or twice is a small price to pay for smooches. <laughs> Fucking hell, dude. <laughs> Don't you like being with me? Think back to all the good times we had on our date. Like I said, the only thing I hate more than I love smooches is people that go back on their word. No, you've ruined your memory for me. That was short. Uh, please? Oh, now you're begging. Good. How the cookie crumbles. How the shoe is on the other foot. Tell you what, how about you call me your highness and groveled on my feet? See how you like being called pig and doing the buhia? Carcosa, Yodva Mazda, Frithganana, Sdain. <laughs> That's the end. It's just wait. Dun dun. <laughs> bum 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 bum. <laughs> I destroyed the earth because she wouldn't give me two smooches. <laughs> Smooch acquired. Hell yeah! Had to take the whole planet with me, but we got there. Bum 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 You've met with a terrible fate, haven't you? Oh, a terrible end, still. Zelda reference. Majora's Mask ending, yeah. Not a moon this time, though. A planet star. <laughs> well, that was fun. Hmm. Got the two out of two for that one. Two out of six for this one so far. Okay, so still worth it. Banquet Dark Communion. Final. Oh, this is where we get the six two ends. If I reload this one, is she going to remember I treated on it still? Or is this going to be like without that? <laughs> um. Ugh. Ah. Let's find out. So this is right before the final. Yeah, the hearts are still red this time. Awesome. So I haven't done anything with Lynetta. Okay. This time I've been completely devoted. Okay, let's see the good ending. Let's see what changes. Um, oh, you can talk to her. It's because I cheated on her she wouldn't talk to me. So I missed out on extra dialogue along the way. No. Hey, Esther. Why did you blow up? What? All I did was say hello. Don't speak my name, dearest. There's a reason I am she who is not to be named. A mortal saying Esther summons me to them. Esther's a pretty common name in the UK. What happens if somebody is like, you know, just calling a different Esther? Or what happens if they're like in the middle of lovemaking? And the guy's like, oh, Esther. Does that summon you? <sighs> okay. If I can't say your name, what am I supposed to call you? Your Highness, she, she told you that. You have many options. You may call me your majesty, your <laughs> grace, my king. Nice. <laughs> you could even call me your royal highness if you're feeling particularly subservient. Like your royal hiney. Esther, Esther, Esther. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I love, I love that this game is leading so much into the brat taming as well. It's so silly. <laughs> that? What are you going to do about it? Esther, 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 Esther. What is it now? Esther. I was just thinking, you know how saying your name summons you? Yes. What of it? Is he going to actually ask? There's an old myth that saying Bloody Mary in the mirror three times at midnight summons an angry demon to your room. Oh, this is unrelated. Really? I've never heard of such a ritual. Does it work? You should try it. What if she gets scared? That'd actually be really funny. 
You call your aunt Esther and she pops up and suddenly you're discussing Christmas dinner with an Eldritch Horror. A very pissed off Eldritch Horror, I'd imagine, too. <laughs> Could be you have to have the image of the person and entity in your mind. That's possible as well. It summoned my neighbor telling me to shut the hell up and go to bed. So, sort of? <laughs> oh, good. We can run through all the dialogue. This is awesome. So we get to catch up on everything we missed on. More questions, dearest? You read my mind. I was just wondering, what exactly are you? What do you mean? I mean, you're the planet star itself, right? It can only be wherever light is. Does that make you a bunch of light particles or something? Not just any light. Specifically, the light of planet star Carcosa, which moves and shines to my will. Beg the real questions. Darling, dearest, whatever. Ask her if I can touch her. If Carcosa was destroyed... I would cease to be. The same would happen if the light went out or was permanently blocked. So if we just put it in a big bowl, she dies forever. <laughs> so in a way, I am the bewitching goddess you see before you, the planet Carcosa and its light. Love versatility. It's good to know. But if you close the curtains, then she can't come in. She does just disappear if I close the curtains. It's funny. <laughs> So that makes you a person, place, and thing. I suppose, yes. Hey, inanimate object play. Well, I know what I'm picking next time I play 20 questions. <laughs> Any more? Oh, we've got more. So, so Lynetta is he, your sister? Half sister. One of our parents is the same. Though we have the same grandparents, so Cousins is also technically accurate. Same grandparents. Not the same pair. Oh. So the pair that came together... Uh-huh. Oh. Huh? Um. Grandparents, two grandchildren. No, can be multiple grandchildren. Okay, multiple grandchildren. Two... No, multiple children. Two of the children came together. Oh, God. Fuck me. Two of the children came together and made Esther. And then one of those same parents with a different parent, but who was also a child of the exact same grandparents, had sex with their sibling. But not... This, oh, okay. Um. That's less of a family tree and more of a family tumbleweed. Sweet home Alabama? Yeah. Sweet home Alabama. So I wouldn't just be sleeping with two sisters at the same time. I'd be sleeping with two sisters and cousins. Does that make it more interesting or worse? Anyway. Hey, your grandparents are the same? Both yours and Lynetta's parents are related to each other by blood. I suppose so. Why? Your inbred. They're from the fourth dimension, my dude. Only 50 of them exist, and they exist for all eternity. Purebred. The term is purebred, dearest. <laughs> yeah, that's what the aristocracy says, too, so... After all, there's only about 50 of us total. Not unlike a pantheon of gods. Yeah, okay, I mean, the Greek gods did that a lot as well. And the Egyptian gods. Don't know about many others. I mean, no, we're not going there. We're not going there. <laughs> Just like the Prussians? That I don't know anything about. To be fair, do deities become inbred, though? I mean, they're deities, so no. <laughs> they literally created everything, so technically, you know, the gods created all of everything, so they're also the parents of all of everything, and yeah. Adam and Eve are technically siblings. I mean, they were crafted, but I guess so in a way, because yeah, they were created by the same person. Uh, whatever. <laughs> Greek mythology, Zeus and Hera, husband and wife, were siblings. This kind of thing is only natural when godhood is involved. I mean, I don't know if that's true, <laughs> but okay. <laughs> makes sense. It doesn't make sense, but I mean, yeah, blah, blah. It's, it's fine. It's, it's a fourth dimensional being and it's fiction. Who gives a fuck? You too well to remember that ethics, taboos, and social norms between gods are not like yours, huh? See, now, yeah, that's completely fair. Well, in general, we shouldn't really apply our own cultural shit to other cultures, so yeah, you do you. Things aren't so white and black in the outer cosmos. They're more... 
pink and yellow. You guys do seem to have a bunch of pink and yellow. But what about the third option, the cat girl option? I don't want to know what's taboo in God World. Oh, she left me. Ah, yeah, I'll do your ritual, funny lady. Do, 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 do. King in yellow, ba ba ba. Yellow sign. Wait, did I already do the yellow sign? Oh, I did, but I got the bad ending because I cheated on her. This time I haven't cheated on her. Um, dim all lights, leaving your window open, and light black flyer candles. What if I don't? What if I just do it like this? Ah. That's fair. <laughs> Captive audience. Oh yeah, but this time I get those smooches, right? I am entropy. Disorder. Where things are built tall, I appear to knock them down. Monuments, nations. Hot. Relationships. Oh no. I don't want an audience. I'm not into that. Some of these husks have wedding rings on their fingers. Wait! Way. <laughs> have I been cheated upon? Or am I uh, just part of the fucking harem? Oh, I'm just one of the many harem members, huh? I steal the hearts and minds of the rich or powerful to break them and litter my court with them like gold dust. Oh no. She's just like. I forget her name out of Danganronpa. See something. The old Joe Sama from Danganronpa who wanted a court full of vampire Ikemen to serve her. But why me of all people? I'm broke. Celestia Ludenberg, thank you. Because I am the breeze of chaos that knocks down any tower that challenges the grandness of my court. Your relationship with my sister was one of those things. I mean, I didn't do have a relationship with your sister in this universe. Before, I only pursued you because you have a great deal of clout amongst the Nycoling crowd and shrewd wealthy types. You would have been an incredibly powerful servant who would have been able to draw in countless wayward souls that meet my standards. Oh, she would have used me as like... a uh, honey pot? <laughs> she would have used me as like, hey, come join our cult. We're sexy. We have fun. <laughs> Reality ended and you undid all of my hard work. My bad. But I mean, this is a new one, so let's pretend other things didn't happen. All of my followers that I had stolen from Lynetta. In an instant. And I had no choice but to abandon that reality. I mean, you're apparently doing the same in this reality, so similar shit? There's nothing left to destroy if nothing exists, you see. But in this reality... I've stolen away her most powerful asset. You. Aww. Just as I've stolen every member of my entourage. You only NTR? You don't just take... Oh, wow. That's kind of fucked. <laughs> All the husks. They're bleeding from their chest onto their elegant robes. Just like me. Oh. These people. Why? Why? Because it's what I do. No. I mean, why are they still here? Aren't they kind of third-wheeling our moment here? Kick them out. We need our smooches. Huh? You heard me. I want my smooches. Such a defiant tone. Why aren't you under the effects of the yellow sign? Why do you think I am something special? Were you... unaffected? Did... did the spell fail? I don't feel any different. You're supposed to be obsessed with me. I was always obsessed with you. Quit trying to make it weird. Oh shit, the music. Okay, fuck it. Ah, I already was since I first saw you. That's why your little spell didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> the fucking subtitle. Awkward blushing gasp. Oh, I can't even, I can barely see the blush, but it's there. Try and resist it all you want, but one way or another, you're my eternal slave from now on. Yeah, I said that willingly forever ago. I boohied. I collapsed to the ground. Are you proposing to me? I accept. No, dearest, I'm not talking about marriage. What I'm talking about is catering to my every whim, anticipating my every desire. 
and living solely to please me. That sounds like marriage to me. <laughs> yeah, that just sounds like marriage. Fair enough. No, I'm talking about a servitude where you do nothing but kiss the ground I walk on and revere me for all of time. Marriage! What do you want me to say? A servitude unlike anything on earth where you never so much as think of anyone else. You at least have to give me a ring. No, we have that on earth and it's called marriage. It's not. Is too. How so? It means no freedom. Forever. You are only permitted to do as I say. Holy matrimony. What do I need to do? Yup. And it means preparing every single one of my meals for me. Whenever I so wish. I'd do that for the fun of it. If I'm going to be a trophy husband and you're earning the money, let's fucking go. Yeah, for sure. Never be free of me so long as you live. I step out of line, I expect you standing behind me with a knife. That sounds fun. Until death do us part, even. Exactly. Yeah, okay. I'm sorry, but you're literally just describing being married. I mean, hey, if that's what you want, then I'm in. Let's get married. <laughs> he fucking stole a kiss. This is the brat taming ending. Let's fucking go. Look at that blush. I don't like my hair being blonde, though. Y you shouldn't. And I already did. And you owe me a second one. I only got one so far. You know what you promised. I... I... I stole you away. I ruined your relationship with Lynetta. No, no, no. Don't get all weird about this. Don't be all like, Oh, no, you shouldn't love me because I'm a horrible person. Be a horrible person. Steal me. Use me. Abuse me. Ah. Oh. I preferred you from the beginning. This is true. I already broke up with Lynetta in the other reality, actually. Why are you being so persistent? You can't really want to marry me that badly. And yet, I do. You're just trying to act all smooth, so I give you your second smooch. Now I can take the second smooch whenever I want, clearly. Save it for our wedding day. <laughs> I fucking love this MC. He's crazy in the best way. This game is awesome. I'll get that second smooch. When we say our I do's. Uh, it, you can't be serious. Right? Dead serious. <laughs> Her fucking face! King in white. Hell yeah. She's like, wait. How did this work? Why am I here? What am I doing? What's going on? <laughs> I am the ultimate brat tamer. I have tamed a planet star eldritch being god. <laughs> He was serious. I love it. This game has such good humor. God damn. Okay. I have no idea how I'd get the other endings. <laughs> face. <laughs> His face is the way Lynetta drew it. True. I guess it's just like in the actual game. It doesn't look as manly. It looks a bit more fuckboyish. Perfect fit for you. Yeah, this game is great. Okay. <laughs> Got two out of two. Got three out of six. Do we know what the other ones are called at least? No, shit. Um. Hmm. Maybe it'll be. Oh, 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 oh. I have to do like a bunch. Of, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll load from here, but then I'll do Lynetta's ending. Uh, Because that way I'll get the bad ending for Lynetta for sure. And that'll be four out of six. You got the tamed princess? Hell yeah. <laughs> Happy marriage. Congrats, food. Thank you. I earned this. I worked for this. S sorry, I, I, I gotta... Yeah. Um... Uh... Have I even done the... Uh... Okay, I've done the Eldritch Hand. I just haven't done the Metamorphosis. This is okay. I wonder how I get the other secret as well. Good call. You got this food chan. Yeah, let's get this bad ending now. Okay, Metamorphosis. If you see or hear something strange, just let your imagination be ready. Proceed in total darkness. No lights, no candles. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Total darkness, no lights, no candles. Ensure their images appear in no way. Wear a ceremony robe and a ritual necklace and a mask. 
Have a ceremonial knife on your person. Always remember the second step. Okay. I have pretty much everything. Do I have... What if I have the yellow mask? Oh, I can't take it off. Oh. Oh. Um. Oh. That's okay. This will make it more interesting. I want to see what happens when I show up with that mask on. I need the necklace, I need the knife, and I need a robe. Oh, I've got a robe. Sick, 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 sick. All the lights have to be off, which they are. That's closed. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Ceremonial robe, ritual man, necklace, wear a mask, a headpiece, mm -hmm. Ceremonial knife. Remember the second step on the previous page. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Okay. Did I take down the poster? Nope. Whoops. <laughs> that would have been bad. Do, 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 do. Yeah, okay, we're good. Do, do, do. Well then. Up gun the bank law as the uncore. That was not too fast. <laughs> Up gun the bank. I'm not moving. Up, gun, the bethunk, le, as, bethunkor, aya. So slowly, inch by inch, just keep swimming. Just keep swimming. Just keep. The fuck do I look like with a bird mask permanently attached to my face and a tentacle mask? Oh, so when did the shower turn on? Ah, uh, it just doesn't show the tentacle mask. That's cheating. That's cheating. Where did my robe go? She wasn't supposed to be showering. Huh? This game is full of glitches. <laughs> I, I still love the writing, but man, that... But huh? <laughs> that was supposed to be a universe where I hadn't gone down her route at all, and yet, for some reason, she just decided to appear in the shower. Okay, uh, everything's good. Uh, switching sides. Switching sides. Okay, all lights off, that down, mask on, knife in my hand. Oh, sorry, you, you saw nothing. Um, return and then wear that so it's still on me, and I need the necklace. Perfect. We're golden. I had this issue with this as well, but yeah, there's a few bugs. It's fine, we've seen some of the bugs when it comes to like audio files and stuff. It's not a big deal. Okay, yeah, we're doing metamorphosis. Top gun for Uh-oh. Can't get the ritual mask to stay on my face over my masquerade one. <laughs> She's finished with her shower. Uh, yeah. I'm just working on my pronunciation. She's right in front of me. Maybe if I bury my face in this book, she won't notice the mask is fused to my face. I love how the book is upside down, too. <laughs> oh, are you stuck on a word? I can help you sound it out. Let me see the page. Um, no, thank you. No, no, I got it. I'm a big boy. Um, uh, really in can't be harder to figure out than English. <laughs> it would probably be easier to read if the book wasn't upside down, darling. Oh, yeah. That explains why I couldn't read it. <laughs> okay, I think I've got it now. Darling, why are you holding it so close to your face? The font shouldn't be that small. 
I'm far-sighted. I need it near. Uh, it's been going for a while now. I got to pick up some prescription reading glasses, but I keep putting it off. <laughs> I didn't know you need glasses. Yeah, I, I think they'll make me look better, don't you? Maybe a bit more of a mature feel, a bit more of an intelligent look. I, uh, I usually wear contacts. But you aren't wearing them now? Oh, shit. She has good eyes. I guess not. I must have dropped them on the ground somewhere in the last reality. <laughs> Darling. Yeah? Put the book down. No. Now. Oh, boy. Not smooching time. That's it. I'm screwed if she sees this masquerade mask. Oh, God. She'll know I've been meeting with Esther. Think. Think. Think! Did I slam the book on her fingers or something? Quick! The bathroom! Open this door. Oh, no, that's yonder as fuck. I like this. Will that door hold? No telling. This mask is still on my face when she gets in. So, I have no other option. Is he gonna rip it the fuck off? Honestly, you know what better idea? Just jump in the shower. She won't peek on you in the shower. You'll be fine. I dig my fingers under the edge of the mask. It feels like I'm pulling my very fingernails off a of mere millimeters of leverage. The mask feels fused to my skin. I'm taking off large chunks of flesh with every pure, every pull. This pain, it's unreal. What's going on in there? Let me in. It's do or die. I take a deep breath and pull the mask forward until my skin is taut and there's no more give. Then I... Ooh, that's squishy. That's very squishy. Why did you lock me out, darling? Heavens below! What happened to you? Um... I cut myself shaving again. Oh no, she's got the broken heart, but she has got one heart. I... I... I can't even formulate thoughts right now. Whatever happens here, happens. Hiding your face? Yeah, I was scared you wouldn't like me ugly like this, dif disfigured and whatnot. No, baby. I don't care about any of that. I'm not so shallow that I'd fuss over what you look like. Aww. Also, that's better than a smooch. That's way better than a smooch. Bury your face in there. Bit D. Turn your face. Go ahead. You, you, you deserve this. I'm here because I like you. No matter what happens to you. So don't be so self-conscious around me, okay? Aww. Lanetta? Shh. Just let me hold you. She's too sweet. This feeling right now almost makes tearing off my face worth it. Almost. Just stay right there until you're mentally prepared to continue. Oh, she's actually genuinely sweet. Eldritch Embrace? Yeah, I got my hug! Uh, it's even better than a hug. Because she's bigger than me, which is kind of awesome in its own way. Okay. I end up blacking out from the pain. Waking up sometime later in my bed. The golden mask was nowhere to be found. Well, at least I'm back on... I can actually talk to her on this route. I didn't get to talk to Esther when her route when she had broken hearts. Ah, no, 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 no. I said talk. I can't actually talk to her. It's a glitch. That's fine. How does our face look like now? I'm pretty sure it's just still the maskless, like, bloody face. Yep. Oh, I've got the tentacles and the kiss mark. <laughs> Holy shit. We have been through a lot. Um, Two hearts on... Why are they still not broken? Huh? <laughs> Well, anyway, let's see what happens when we keep going through this. Oh, the Eldritch Embrace. 
Oh, Lynetta, let me go talk to you. And she's gone. <laughs> ah, that's what if Lynetta? Yes, darling. I'm just checking, but okay, we're still gonna have this dialogue too. Hi, gay. That's cute. Um, he's going through it. Yeah, we've been doing some crazy shit. Okay, Eldritch Embrace. Adorable. Dark Communion is possible. Nothing is just your imagination. That's good to know. No secrets as far as I can see. Although it did say... In general, black light is supposed to reveal secrets. Maybe my turtle is a secret. Alright, my face is just blood now. Yay. <laughs> Fun. My turtle is not a secret. Turtle's got to have something to do with something, though. One of the few things you can actually deal with. Okay. Performing this ritual after X. Oh, right. Because she's already had the banquet. So she's already eaten the food. And now I'm giving uh, Lynetta the leftovers. Okay. Let the room be well lit. Wear no robes or necklaces. Leave the offering on your person. Have the offering on your person. Um, well lit. Well lit. No robes or ne Oh, I can take off the mask. That's very confusing. No, it's glitched. <laughs> if the mask goes on the statue, I pick up the necklace. Oh, there we go. That was strange. Anyway. I'm naked now. This is much better. Um, the room is well lit. We're good to go. Okay, let's go for let L Lynetta's punishment. The question is, will she punish me or will she just be boring and kill me? And not be boring and kill me. It can give me some abuse. Abuse is fun. Happens if you keep the opens open. Oh, you know what? Hey. <laughs> Don't mind me, just doing a fun little thing over here. Anyway, gotta call my other girlfriend. The necklace. Oh shit, fuck, the necklace came back. Sure, I took that off. Okay. Nalftagen. Oh, Really, uh, mm. Yog, fuck my life, lol. Oh, I didn't get the fucking cake. I mean, I don't have a cake, but... The milk! Right, because I already gave the cake to... <laughs> to Esther. Okay, let's do this again. Nalf Targen. Uegel. Ot Yog Cakeless behavior? Yeah, even after I've gotten my cake, I'm still acting like a cakeless individual. But I brought the milk, at least. I mean, isn't it impressive enough that I brought the milk, finally? <laughs> I already used up my supplies to cook for Esther. All that's left is leftovers from her banquet. That's no good, darling. Oh, she can't. Oh, yeah, she does do Yandere. She doesn't do, like, the abusive shit. But, yeah, I'm probably just going to get killed here. Ooh, the music box thing, though. Wait, one broken heart, a second love heart. I'm really confused by these things. It's no good to leave dirty dishes out, especially after eating so much. You know, it's important to take your diet seriously. You should be more careful when your health is on the line. Is that, are you going to cook for me instead? Maybe spoon feed me? I'll remember that. This much food... It's surprising that you were able to eat it alone. Yeah, well, I know I don't look it, but I'm a big eater, especially with sweets. I know this is very clearly like a giant turkey or something, but... You're so interesting, darling. Uh-huh. I'm learning something new about you every day. I do my best. I can't tell if she's onto me or if she's in denial, but I sense I'm in trouble. It just can't be helped if you got a sweet tooth. Yeah, she's going to do... Oh, is she going to rip my teeth out? That's a bit beyond <laughs> playtime abuse. Do you want me to feed you the last of it? Yes. What, the leftovers? 
Uh, I'm good. It's no good to waste food, darling. Uh oh, those are bones. Um. Uh. Nah, you were right. I should watch my diet more carefully. I already ate like a whole turkey by myself, so. If you've already eaten the poison, you may as well lick the plate. As they say. Ah, oh, fuck. That is something that I said in a different route. She remembers all the other universes. I forgot about that. Fuck. <laughs> um, I'm full. Make room in your dessert stomach. I'm not a cow. We only have one stomach. Oh, God. She's merciless. Say, ah. Uh... Ah. Uh... No. No! Huh? You don't want to eat? Uh, not that. I wonder if this isn't the food that you like. It sounds like you're saying this was for someone else. Yeah, my dog. My dog was a good boy, so I gave him a whole turkey. That's why, I mean, he probably would have eaten the bones too, but let's go with that. But that can't be right. After all, my darling wouldn't secretly be hosting communion with other gods behind my back. Yeah, she knows everything. <laughs> right, darling? That's not even a dialogue line! Well, she's breaking the game! Those are dangerous eyes. I've got my back against a wall here. Even if she knows, I have to keep up appearances here or she'll drag me to oblivion without a second thought. I reluctantly unclenched my teeth and opened my mouth. A juice-soaked morsel from the leftovers is shoveled into my mouth. It feels gritty, with an unusual texture like it's covered in thousands of small hairs. Oh, we've done this. Blah, 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 blah. Tastes extremely fruity. It's good. Blah, blah, blah. Seriously, like nothing else. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Makes my mouth tingle. Did I just bite my teak? Feels like I'm eating my own mouth. Can't bear to spit it out. Spit it. There you go. Good boy. You know how much I love to spoil you. We are so back in. Everything's happy now. You will never betray her again. So it's all good. The same, I see. Yeah, that seems exactly the same. We just get to like a different kind of... Um niceness from the voice actors do you remember the last time we did this when you couldn't speak back to me uh-huh i do remember so you know what happens next right uh-huh one last ritual and then we say goodbye again uh-huh as always take as much time as you need i'll wait as long as it takes darling <sighs> oh, i knew waking up could be so exhausting I'm gonna take a nap before you end everything. You know me so well. Oh yeah, there is a little tiny bit of Esther in the back. She's just watching all of this. But don't try anything while I'm sleeping this time. Oh, of course I not. Know what you did. Don't look so surprised. Uh -huh. Okay, let me get those lights for you. Um, there you go. Uh huh. Okay, so. Esther, I could really use some guidance right now. Um, oh, now she's got a second broken heart, too. What am I up to with her? Oh, it is the yellow sign. But yeah, I guess I just have to finish this one instead. Well, that's a shame. Have a ritual knife on your person. Maybe because Esther's in the room as well, something will change. The giant glitch? I, I don't even know, man. All I know is I have two women in my bedroom and they're both eldritch horrors and this makes me very happy. That makes me less happy. What if I just leave? What if I just... And she's gone. I mean, I could just walk away. Look at that beautiful sun. We could just go somewhere else. Sideways to the sun. Okay, let's do this. Hey, welcome back. Shame I can't bring her back. But Esther, if you want to stop me, I'm about to slice myself open quite a few times. You could jump in at any point. Uneta af at el mugapagadishto nil gurri. 
Planeta af art l mbukpek disto nil g ri Planeta af art l mbukpek disto nil g ri Planeta af art l Megadeka Pisto Neil Gurrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr
Oh, she just wants to stay single forever. Hopefully this book never finds its way back to your world. For your sake and mine. I'll handle the book, but if you survive, could you throw out the rest of these summoning artifacts? Um, yeah. Oh, wait, what do you mean if I survive? It's no good to keep things that remind you of me, you know? Yeah, somebody else can use them. I'm sorry. It's a beautiful day outside. You should open the window. Maybe let in some light. That's not what the dialogue line says. <laughs> um, I think for the sake of the good times we've had, you've earned one goodbye smooch. Which one's real? Which one's the truth? Maybe there's still a chance for us. In reality, far from this one. But the best I can do in this one is spare you. You're not going to kill me? No, I am going to kill you. To spare you from the slow, agonizing end. I would like to grow old. I'm sparing you the pain of being alive when the fog lifts and reality sets in. You won't have to live to see the consequences of the spells you've already completed. At least this way, you won't feel a thing. Okay, death by snoo snoo, let's go. Goodbye, brother. It was fun. Okay, she's giving me the real illithid kiss. Let's go. Fuck her up, everybody. Till we meet again. <laughs> ah, she sucked my brain out of my head. She's so cute and mature. Yeah, she gave me one hell of a kiss too. Look at this shit. Uh, that, that, that means you know it was good. <laughs> She left kiss marks. Love by It's all over my face. I was confused about that whole, like, maybe if I left the windows closed, there's a special ending where you open the windows and then she sees the other thing. I still don't know where the final secret is either. Hmm. We've gotten the ending where we do this way and then go to that way. We've gotten the ending where we go this way and go to that way. Huh? Sucker for love. First date. Sucker for love. That's the date, though. Um, load? No, I meant, like, where's the third book, though? I mean, I know it isn't unlocked yet, but... Okay, how do I... Hmm. How do I change this? How do I make it so... Because I kept opening the window. Esther kept coming in, and yet... Uh, the next one's simple. I just... I've done... Uh, can you make them actually meet, maybe? I, I tried. I I opened the window. She came in. She was, like, there right while she was sleeping. I'm going to say it now before you unlock the final chapter with the final goddess. The third one's the sexiest one. That was a glitch. So it's supposed to... Okay, let's, um... So let's, I don't know, go to this level. And then just open the window. Yeah, okay, she's in bed. She hasn't gone to sleep yet because the lights are still on, so. What if I do a yellow ritual right now? Maybe that's what we have to do. Masquerade. Oh, but this is in the bathroom. Buy the masquerade mask. Adorn the host in elegant robes. Affix a ritual knife. Robe, mask, knife. Got the knife. I got a tiny turtle. I'm name him Tiny Tim. I'm gonna take him to the bathtub and see if he can swim. Gonna drink the water. He's gonna eat the soap. Now she's in the shower. Okay, this may work perfectly, actually. Check the mirror. The mask won't stay on my face. It keeps slipping off. A metamorphosis spell must have made my face incompatible. Why? Aren't you in proper dress, dearest? Maybe this is it. Uh-huh. <laughs> Just having pre-show jitters. Jitters? Yeah, you know, uh-huh. No, I look like a playboy, but I still get nervous. We've already done this. But she's in the shower! Just open the shower! Fuck! <laughs> Man, um, oh. Nanetta can't be asleep when you let Esther in. Was there any point where she was in the room and not asleep? I can't remember her staying in the room. 
By the masquerade master host face, interior well lit, host who enters wearing robes and mask. Was there ever a time she was awakened in here? Yes, yes, yes. Hmm, was before, I guess? Oh, yeah. How do I go back? Um, I, I guess we'll just start from Metamorphosis and wait until she comes into the room and stays in the room. Oh, she's there right there. Oh, she's there. Okay. Oh, let's try. Huh? Darling. Oh, it was that simple. How the fuck did the... I swear I did this a few times. It must have really glitched. Because I'm sure I opened the door while she was... Yeah, I did. Because I remember looking at the bed and being like, I've got you both here. Let's go. So yeah, it just glitched and didn't interact before. Uh-oh. <laughs> yeah. They both know now. <gasps> My sister? You did it. I mean, I didn't do anything. I I I just started down that route a little bit. Oh dear. Look at me, darling. What's going on? Um at least Esther doesn't look mad. She just looks like this is gonna be more fun for her than anything. Well, obviously your darling has been playing us for fools. Uh Ma I thought I had you wrapped around my finger to think you broke your vow of fealty for this slovenly understudy. Oh, that is rude. Holy shit, dude. Esther, I knew you were a bedazzled dime a dozen hussy that beds the first literate ass kisser that'll sit through your little skits, but I expected better from you, darling. Why the fuck am I catching strays here? What am I? An illiterate ass kisser? <laughs> oh my god. Did you really just going to date two outer gods at the same time and get away with it? It worked for a little while, yeah. Hold on, did you just call the king in yellow a skit? It is a composition of theatrical genius that a Philistine like you couldn't <laughs> appreciate if you had another thousand years sleep to mull it over. Ouch, she really called her dumb. But if my play is too cultured for your tragically unrefined <laughs> sensibilities... <laughs> Perhaps you've heard the one about the watery tart who never gets a second date. Oh my god. That one is true comedy. And that's just because she steals all the boyfriends. You uppity little... Hey, calm down you two. There's enough of me to go around. Can we all just smooch and make up? I'm gonna be so fucking murdered in this timeline. And I deserve it. Who the fuck? I thought he was gonna be like, girls, girls, girls. I'm the piece of shit. You two don't have to fight each other, but no, he's just like, hey, can I get in the middle of the... <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's fair. Bad end. Wait, so that doesn't even count as one of the true ends? No. Yeah, no, we're still on four out of six. That isn't even one of the true ends. Ah, fuck. Um. I, I don't know what to do. Um, we got two of the secrets. I, huh? Uh. Sucker for love, first date. Uh. Well, you know what, chat? <laughs> Feel free to sack beat me if you know. Then you only have one broken heart with Lynetta. Yeah, but I mean. I don't think it would change having multiple broken hearts. Do you need a hint? Yeah, hit me with a hint. It has to be something each route since there are two left, right? Yeah. I definitely, like, the first bad end I got with, um, with Esther, I had all, like, bad hearts. So is it because of that? The writers did an amazing job. They already knew we would want to share this, see the sisters meet. Hell yeah. Um, it's quite tricky with getting these endings. Hmm. Yeah, feel free to let me know if you know. Otherwise, I will just Google it because I want to see every ending. And I can't figure it out. Maybe you do. I mean, these hearts are here, so I guess that's the whole idea. Okay, so... Do I have to cheat early kind of thing and get all the dark hearts with... Because I only had one black heart with Lynetta, one broken heart with Lynetta when I got her bad ending. So maybe I need to start the masquerade. And then immediately start doing her route as well? Huh. Right, uh, looks like everything's in flip. <laughs> I may have failed to mention that we read from this point. The 
Wait, that's new. Wait, what the fuck? Huh? I don't remember the mask being... I don't remember this dialogue where she actually says the mask is fused to my face. <gasps> oh, that's because I never... Wait, huh? I'm confused. Okay, let me reload that so we can actually go through that. Um... Uh, 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 uh. Oi. Go checkpoint. Um, masquerade. Alright. Looks like every... We didn't do a full route with Esther? You skipped to a pre-made load state. I've never done a full Esther route! I thought the brat taming route was the full Esther route! Okay, I'm an idiot. Wow, okay, that's simpler than I thought. I'm just dumb. I reloaded a different spot than I thought I did. <laughs> Alright, looks like everything's in place. I feel all gussied up. Even for me, this outfit's pretty loud. But even so, the beauty of this whole ensemble is out of this world. If Lynetta is showering in here, I'd better meet with Esther in the other room. All I have to do is stand where the planet's light can reach me and... I already know what you're going to say, Your Highness. Yellow is more your color than mine. But I still look pretty good, right? Going up well. I'm impressed. You'd be presentable before my royal court in that. Aww. It's a pretty snug fit. The mask almost feels alive. Like it's molding to fit my face permanently. Quite the opposite, dearest. Your face is molding to fit the mask. Oh. Wow. <laughs> I feel a twist of metal digging into my temples. It's stuck to my face somehow. Ow! Ow! Really won't come off! <laughs> I may have failed to mention that we reenact the play with deadly accuracy. From this point on in the play, your character never removes his mask. So neither shall you. This surely shouldn't be a problem for someone who is planning to be my eternal servant. Correct? Of course not. You did get a king and white ending, though. I think you just skipped some dialogue. Well, now I'm confused. <laughs> and, uh, we'll see. We'll go down this route. We'll see if anything else changes. I can't even blink anymore. My eyelids are stretched to meet the indifferent metal of the eye holes. The your face have become one. Your every pore is now gilt and gold. This is... What? Do I have to wear this to work? When I see family? When I see... Lynetta? Wait a minute. Those strange people outside. They all had masks sucked to them too. Are they past followers who became Esther's servants? Is that going to be my fate? Ah, no point worrying in that now. No, there's glitches in this game. I just prefer to think the MC breaking universes and desperately trying to piece back it together. Yeah, that makes sense. I'm gonna turn those to black just in case any other secrets get revealed. I bet it's like a combination of like a certain drawing. No, I went through all of them. Um, there was that time when I lit the candles to black and then a, a chimey sound happened. Maybe if I had fiddled with the drawings then, that's how we would have found the secret. Hey, Esther. Oh, this is just that again. So screw that. Um, I've got no broken hearts with her. Should I just keep doing rituals? <laughs> the dialogues were skipped because you went with Lynetta first. Oh, you got the king and white ending because it loaded save file with no Lynetta date. Ah. Still confused. <laughs> I just I, I I get that now. That's true. Like I did that one first, and I just at this point I'm like, how do I change things then? Later you need to do the feast with Lynetta. Do you think continue this? Or um maybe maybe we go one heart each. Let's go with that. Let's try to balance them. Maybe that's how you get the harem ending. So close that, you get out of here. Um, what's next? Metamorphosis, you got it. Um, oh, shit, yeah, I've got the mask permanently fused to my face. And the mask doesn't fit with the tentacles. So what happens... What happens if we do both of these? 
There's an ending for two broken hearts, for one broken, and one for hearts of... Uh... Okay, so it's like every combination of hearts. That's hard to remember. <laughs> okay. If you see or hear anything strange, uh, proceed in total darkness, no light or candle, no images. Ceremonial. Okay, so where everything. Where everything. Proceed in total darkness. No pictures, no lights on. And where everything. Okay, okay, okay. Do, do, do. When all is complete, chant this thing. Okay. Oh, this is the this is the one that's glitched. This one you have to move through incredibly slowly. I don't know why. The rest of them are way less sensitive than this. But this one, if you just slightly move too fast. It cancels out everything immediately. We're missing one ending for Esther, right? I think we're missing one ending for each of them. There's two endings we haven't gotten. Um, and it probably is just the number of, like, broken hearts you have on each person. But I don't even remember how many broken hearts I had on each person. <laughs> Uh-oh. I can't get the Ritual Master to stay on over my Masquerade one. Okay, so this is the same. Yeah. Break the bathroom. I rip it off my face. Okay, so that's all the same so far. Now we have one broken heart with her. I don't remember. You have two broken hearts? You had two on Esther and one on Lynetta. So I need to get a second broken heart with Lynetta. And then get her ending, I guess. Um... So maybe now I do one with Esther? <laughs> uh, yeah, fuck it. Um, I'll, I'll do an Esther ritual. While she's in the room, even. I wonder what will happen with that. What can we talk about? Oh, we can't talk, right? That's a glitch. That's a glitch. Okay, what's up next? Host enters wearing robes and mask. Material well lit. Okay, well lit. Robes and mask. I got robes and mask. I'll put this away, though. Good enough. Okay. Let's go. Huh? Was it because she was in the room? <laughs> I have so much confusion. So much confusion. Huh? You forgot to open the curtains. Oh. That was it? Fuck, so I have to do this? Ah, oh, fuck. Um, no. Total darkness. Ensure their images appear in no way. Wear everything. Okay. Hide them. Wear everything. Don't worry about it, Esther. I'm just doing a thing. I got some stuff to do. Um, total darkness. These are off, right? Yeah, these are off. Um, 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 look in, was it look in the mirror? Oh no, let's just do this. Okay. And this is the broken one, so this will take a while. So yeah, okay. quick save slots could have made this. Yeah, uh, quick save slots where we could know like exactly how many hearts we have on each save slot would be better than having to start from one each time to balance. Are you still? This makes it extra painful. Because you have to load up and do this every time, which is the fucking worst! Gambare. I'm a Gambare Mas. I want to see all the endings. But I don't know if I'm strong enough. I know what I must do. But I don't know if I have the strength to do it. 
Please. Don't break now. We're so close. We're so close. Okay. Okay, now... Curtains have to be open? Do -ba -do -ba -do. Interior well lit. Oh. I mean, it's lit enough without the cut. But if I open it, she's just going to see her sister. Unless she's not really here. And it's just a glitch. It's just a glitch. <laughs> okay. Um, sure. Um, okay. Uh, 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 um, well lit. Uh, let's light shit up. And open the curtains for the love of God. Hey, Esther. It's been a while. Um... Wearing robes and mask. I am indeed. Let's put that away. Okay. <sighs> Need the king for the play? She's supposed to make a grand entrance anyway. Surely she should be able to do that by herself. <laughs> is there a guide? I'm sure there probably is a guide. Welcome, company much cherished. May my loneliness thus perish. To this evening we shall share, which would be wasted by myself. No attendants have arrived tonight, alas, behind thyself. But I'll be beside myself when the king reveals himself. I gotta be honest. Lay thine hands upon my bodice, for before you stands a goddess. Know this guest of Goldenrod is merely the first of the night. I just realized she said, lay thine hands upon my bodice. She wants me to grope her? What the fuck? Um, but yeah, what was I gonna say? Oh, yeah, rhyming myself with thyself and... <laughs> yeah, themselves? That's just cheating. Uh, perform a perfect recitation. You got it. What if I don't, though? Maybe that's the secret ending. Oh! Oh, oh! What if I... No, you can't. I was gonna say, like, what if I reveal the hidden text now, but you can't do that. Um, what if I read from a different part? No, you can't do that. Shit. Okay, I mean, whatever. That's just a bad ending. I've never gotten one of those from that. <laughs> no. Do I have to do that all again? No, 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 no! <laughs> Masquerade. Um, uh, what do I do? What do I, 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 I want to do this? And this is the annoying one where I have to put on fucking everything. Yeah, I have to put on everything. Take down the poster in total darkness. Oh my fucking god. Total darkness achieved. Um, go away you. Put on everything. Uh-huh. Good chance sanity is deteriorating. Yeah, because I want to see these special endings, but man. They really make you do some shit. The blue ritual is done already? Yeah, I, I just kind of wanted to fuck up the recitation. I was hoping fucking up the recitation wouldn't just give me a bad end, but would do something different. Sounds so tired. We'll bounce back as soon as we're in an area that I actually understand. Right now, it's just very much a thing of like, I have to get past this stupid, incredibly slow text. And then keep going down paths I've already been down and shit. It should just let you reload when you have a certain number of hearts and black hearts, essentially. That's really annoying. Okay, I ripped my face off. We got a black heart. Um, I exit and then enter. She'll be gone and I can open up for Esther. Switch to these and do the play. So I have to... Well lit. Robes and a mask. Okay. Well lit. Just have to not fuck this up anymore. We're not fucking around anymore. We're doing this seriously. <laughs> bum, ba -bum, ba -bum. She's there. Well lit. Yep, yep, yep. We're good. Okay. Proper, slow recitation. Gotta work for the endings in this game. It's crazy. 
I just want to see the other crazy endings. And I'm going to guess if you unlock all six endings, that's actually how you get the third secret. I just have to assume that. Okay, skip this. Even though she recites it beautifully. And then I recite perfectly. No slipping up this time. Slowly. It's funny because I actually did this quite fast in the past and didn't get in trouble. But now that I'm scared, <laughs> it feels a lot more painful. Careful. 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 Who's Frappa? There we go. Bravissimo! Incredible! It's amazing! Now what happens? An immaculate performance, dearest! Bravissimo! There's only one... Do do do... This is exactly the same as before. Okay, but now we can have a second broken heart, right? Because now if we do this heart... Well, why isn't her heart broken? Because I cheated on her first. That should be a black heart. Huh? Screw it. Um... Uh, I mean, I guess I should just keep doing one each and each. The food? But I did the food with each person. <laughs> What about the food? I... Perform banquet. So you think I should do banquet with... Uh... You think I should do the dark communion? I guess? Okay, fuck it. Let the room be well lit. Wear no robes or necklaces. Have the offering on your person. Um, have no robes or necklaces. Do roulette, but I have to close the window, otherwise Esther will be here. Even though I did that a lot of times in the past. <laughs> Wait, it's already roulette. Sweet. Okay. Um, let's do this. Sounds easy enough, but this is going to be different. Shouldn't it be Esther since we want two dark hearts for Lynetta? I. Oh wait, food with Esther and then Lynetta. Okay. Fuck it. Food with Esther and then Anetta. Banquet. Retrieve ingredients. Did that. Light red fire candles. Mm -hmm. Allow the king into the room. Do not make a mistake or a hungry uninvited guest. Prepare for the scene by the following. Okay, we've done everything we have to do. It doesn't say anything about the lighting. So, let's go. One banquet for each. Have we fed the hungry guest? We have not. But I don't know how to do that because I tried to make a mistake before. And it didn't work out. It just told me, no, you did it wrong. Like red fire candles, retrieve ingredients. But in this case, I do need this to be open. Maybe it's the lighting. If I leave the lighting off, maybe it brings in an uninvited guest. Because last time I just had the black candles. <sighs> yeah, but what if this gives me a bad ending and I have to do all of that over again? Last time you fed Lynetta first, so it didn't count. I... <sighs> My brain hurts. Um, make a mistake before reciting. I, I mean, sure. Let's hope this is a bad ending. I mean, I hope this is a different thing rather than just a pure bad ending. Make a mistake before reciting. I mean, I've made several mistakes this time. <laughs> That's the uninvited guest. Why does that only count as two out of three? <laughs> Is this going to be three out of three then? No, it counts. That one has already been done. You have all three. I... What? Huh? Okay, let's just continue with the plan. Let's feed Esther. <laughs> let's, let's feed Esther and then do Lynetta. See if we get another broken heart. If we get two broken hearts, glitching again, probably. I don't know anymore. Um, sure. Red fire, got it. Got the ingredients, got it, right? Yes. 
Um, allow the king into the room. We've done that. Okay. Don't question it. Yeah, I, I, I think we give up. We just hope that it works in the long run. Switch what? Surely you don't intend to merely watch me eat, dear. Oh, is this a new scene? I think this is a new scene for us. Okay. Cause yeah, oh, cause we skipped the first two scenes last time and then started doing Esther's route. So we never saw this either. I didn't think she was gonna let me have any. Don't mind if I do. Uh, uh, that's not what I meant. Instead of watching me eat this feast, you'll feed it to me. Well, that's actually kind of cute. I'm down with that too. What was that? It sounded like groans of murderous anger from outside the door. <laughs> that's all her previous boyfriends getting pissed. <laughs> Was that from the masked stalkers outside? Dude, you know they're just you essentially as well. They've all got masks on their faces. They must be Esther's followers or even ex-partners. Then their groans were of jealousy. Makes sense. They've been locked outside all this time. But they kill for the chance to spend time with Esther. Just a moment, dearest. What is the thread count of your silken sheets? At least 1,000, I presume. Why? Are you going to get in my bed? Silk? My blankets are cotton. Perhaps I'll just stand while you feed me instead. <laughs> That's funny. So picky. She's that uppity. Maybe I'll start with the grapes. Something that'll feed her princess complex. Aww. She even eats cute. Delightful. Glad you like it. Yeah, that. <laughs> Hey, think I could have one of these? <laughs> Dream on. My lips have already touched it. If you want an indirect kiss, you'll have to be more clever than that. I already got the kiss and the marriage. Thank you very much. <laughs> oh, yeah? So you want anything? won't eat anything my lips have touched either? Of course not. You were eyeing this cream puff, right? Would you like me to feed you a bite? I'm going to lick it, aren't I? <laughs> oh, heavens below, yes. I am pleased by this new <laughs> I'm a bit of a brat too. This is awesome. <laughs> I casually take a bite out of the cream puff. What do you think you're doing? Oh, it's mine now. You can eat it if you want, but it's already been touched by my mouth. Mmm, delicious. It's so good. We've never had anything like it. Let me try. Oh? You want a bite? Even though my lips have touched it. <laughs> I, I don't want it after all. <laughs> She's so cinder. <laughs> well, if you don't want it, then I guess I can have some now, right? Hey, hold on. Mmm. It's really delicious. Mm. Ah, nothing tastes better than food with a twist of Eldritch magics. It's a shame you don't want any of it. You could have some, you know, if you stopped being a little spoil sport. What's it gonna be? Watch me eat your favorite dessert or suffer an indirect kiss. <laughs> that, shit, that VA is putting in work as well. That like, give me the cream puff. <laughs> what was that? I order you to hand over the cream puff. Oh, so you do want the indirect kiss. Very well, my king. I offer over the other half of the cream puff to her eager hands, but instead... Aww, that's actually adorable. She's letting me feed her. Aww. I, I forgot I was hand feeding her. Her lips are insanely soft against my fingers. Mm, it really is delightful. Aww. She's damn cute when she drops her sadistic front. I'd do more, but I feel those husks staring jealous daggers into my back. I'll tear my head off if I let this go on. Shouldn't we save some of this for the play? It'll hurt the performance if we the, eat the entire set, won't it? I suppose. Very well. Let us resume the play. Of course. After something very important. Okay, so now I do another one with her and then I'll have two broken hearts with her. Yeah, I just need to do the banquet again. If... Bum, bum, bum. 
Let the room be well lit. Wear no robes or necklaces. Have the offering on your person. Still got the milk. Wear no robes or necklaces. I am not. I can't take off that mask. That's fair. <laughs> um, room be well lit. Oh, it is well lit. Sick. Everything's good. Okay. The room be well lit. No robes or necklaces. Have the offering. Yeah, we're good. Okay. Nafus Baden. Ergoth Blind. York Yeah, that works so much easier. Okay, so this is going to be the same scene we've already seen. Say, ah, right. Good boy. You know how much I love to spoil. She didn't get a second broken heart. Who knew waking up could be so exhausting? So. It's a normal heart. Huh? Huh? <laughs> I should be on track for another ending like this. Which which ending should I get then? Should I do the pink book or the yellow book? I don't know. Which one I end on? This is why we can't have nice things. Apparently. <laughs> you want to reopen the game? I mean, if I reopen the game, I'm going to have to load a slot, and then I'm going to have to start from the first slot again. Yellow? Okay, yellow. I guess, yeah, now she's got a broken heart. They've each got one broken heart. I don't think I did have that before. This should be fine. Okay, let's finish the play. King in yellow. Setting, interior, no light besides the open window. Host enters wearing robe and mask. Okay, robe and mask. Oh, I can't take off the mask, right. Okay, I've got the mask. Um, well lit. Oh, no, wait, no light except. She's sleeping there. It should be fine, right? Surely they won't fight each other because she's asleep. <laughs> Probably. Yeah, um... Let's open the window and just hope she doesn't get pissed off. Okay, we're good. We're good. <laughs> Don't worry about the sleeping sister. Um, interior, no light besides open window. Down the nine of the robe and mask. Okay, we're good. Whew, I'd head into the bathroom to double check. No, I think we're good. I think we're good. The worst case scenario, if this doesn't work this time... We're just going to give up, probably. Damn the night and morrowful scornful. Oh, wait. Damn the night and morrow scornful. Wicked morning unremorseful. Why tonight must I be mournful for ambitions unfulfilled? After all my preparations, all the daylights I have killed, why is it only us still? Oh, why are my wishes unfulfilled? But yeah, this is still the same currently. Um, let's not fuck it up, though. We know what happens when we fuck it up, so... Let's get a bad ending. Don't get a new ending. We just get a bad ending. So slowly. Will you check the next chapter? Yeah, I mean... I did technically unlock all three secrets, so I hope it's just the number that glitched, and it's fine. <laughs> Otherwise, that might be, like, a permanent glitch. I could try reopening the game, but... Ooh, the transformation. Okay. Should have the three secrets for it, yeah. So worst case scenario, I should have like a whole new chapter to start. Even if I can't get these two extra endings. It just still would suck. I wanted to see all the endings throughout this playthrough. But it is what it is. Okay, let's see if anything's different. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Listen to the This is the same for now. Smile. 
really bleeding. To ensure you stay in character, I'll go with the state. Do the. All right, we've got another level. I forgot about that. Ava, your world is about to be enslaved by a horror from beyond the stars. You're and you're, you are, and. Um. Um. <laughs> I mean, I guess I finished the yellow one. I think I know how you get one more Esther in. Should I tell you? Yeah, go for it. I am very confused otherwise. <sighs> I have a tiny turtle. There's five endings here, not six. So lost, I don't even remember which endings we already have. I remember the endings, it's just it doesn't, like, let me know how to get the other ones. I... Ah. There are six, as I know. Lynetta's end is just a slight bit different. Emma. Emma. Okay, I'm just waiting for Tasty Medleys to tell me what they think I do to get another Esther ending. You need one broken heart with her, which happens if you do metamorphosis first before her stuff, and then finish a book. Okay, so just finish a book. Okay. Do, 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 do. Yellow sign is only visible to all those who have witnessed the king in yellow being exposed to the yellow sign. Blah, 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 blah. The insane obsession persists after death. You're content to spend your life with the king, dim all lights, leaving your window open and light black fire candles. Blah, 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 and then draw that shape without the X. Okay. Window open. Wait. Oh, wait. Black fire candles, right. That's why the sound happens there. Okay. Yeah, but he has the golden mask on. Yes, I do. I I don't know. But you don't have a broken heart with her. I, I do. It's broken. It's right there. I don't know. This is my last chance. I'm trying this final thing, and then I'm just like, yeah, I'm just gonna Behold, see if I can get the other chapter. Sir, become my slave, my eternal captive audience. Tell me, dearest, your devotion to me faltered today, did it not? Um, no, I don't know what you mean. I cannot fathom how someone as common as my sister could have led you astray. Don't be led astray, my confidant. That's rule number one. <sighs> Problem of the past, as you are now the fully devoted servant that I see fit to invite to my court. Oh, this time the power did work and I've become enslaved. Okay, this is a different ending. All the husks, they're bleeding from their chest onto the elegant robes, just like me. Oh, these people. Why? Why? You're acting like you're staring at pure evil. Mean... I do not kill or maim humans personally, nor do I cause the reality-ending maelstroms your ex-girlfriend does. Ouch. I do this because it's what I live for. It's what I am. I am entropy. Disorder. Where things are built tall, I appear to knock them down. Monuments, nations, relationships. That's still one of the coolest lines ever. <laughs> Fucking love it. Some of these husks have wedding rings on their fingers. I steal the hearts and minds of the rich or powerful to break them and litter my court with them like gold dust. But why me of all people? I'm broke. Because I am the breeze of chaos that knocks down any tower that challenges the grandness of my court. Just to your steal me from your sister, huh? My sister was one of those things. Yeah, it's kind of fucked up, dude. Before, I only pursued you because you have a great deal of clout amongst the Nycoling crowd, and you would have been an incredibly po At least, all of my- There's nothing- Yeah, hit me with the new stuff. But in this reality, I've stolen away her most powerful asset. You. My thoughts are already becoming muddled. The dizzying, lurid glow of the yellow sign is sweeping me away. Soon, Lynetta will fade into obscurity. Less than a forgotten memory. She'll have never existed. Oh, but Lynette is so sweet. For this, 
I am ever so grateful. How to show my appreciation, I wonder. Oh, is this an ending where I get the double smooches, but I don't get married? I become a slave? Oof. Uh, allow me to fulfill my end of our agreement. <coughs> Two smooches, as promised. Fair enough. Close your eyes, dearest. Okay. Oh, boy. Smooching time. <laughs> Enslavement. Okay. Okay. That's still a hot CG. I'm not even going to argue that. Well. They're cheering and they're screaming. That's awesome. <laughs> the cox people at the window. I'm just another one of them now, to be fair. My mind was already disappearing, so I'm with them. The spit. Oh, shit. Yeah. Spit joining them together. That's actually, that's really sexy. Okay, let's see if I can go to the third one now. Oh, I can! But first. Okay, so what the fuck did we miss? They really should let us know. Damn it! It's number one, so I... Bleh, bleh, meet again, awakened redux. So that was where I did, like, pure full love hearts. This must be two, lo two broken love hearts. I think. So that is bad end. It's glitched, I believe. No, I... Uh, can you move a bit? Yeah, it's the top one. It can't be glitched, right? Have you gone the full innate? Up. Innate? What's full innate? I don't know what that is. <laughs> it's either going to be like one broken heart with her or two broken hearts with her. We still need two black hearts for Linda. Oh. But that didn't work. When we tried to break her heart, she still got the second love heart. Because uh, we got... Maybe that's why it's glitched. There should be the still worth it ending. Two broken hearts, but I think you're soft locked. Maybe if I start here, like here, before I did anything. Eldritch Mouth. Um. Yeah, now I've got no love hearts. So I think I have to start with her? No. That's where I started next time. <laughs> B -b 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 apply the masquerade mask, adorn the host in elegant robes. Fix a ritual knife. And look in mirror. Okay, so we do that, and then we do the other one to get the first black heart. If again, this time it doesn't give us the second black heart, then that means that's something wrong. You only need to open the curtain, I think. No, we did the one where they met each other. It glitched with Lynetta. You got two broken hearts, but one glitch. So it was a good heart. Get one bad heart with Lynetta. Oh, I only need one bad heart with Lynetta? Or maybe it just glitched on the look? Okay, only one bad heart. I'll try only one bad heart first. Um, so this will be the bad heart. This will be where I rip the mask off my face. Brr, 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 brr. This is the really annoying to read one. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba, proceed in total darkness, no lights, no candles, no images, and then hold everything. Bye. Okay, all the lights are off. Perfect. Um, ba -ba 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 I need everything. If you can seal the knife on your person. Yep, yep, yep. Got all of that. Um, I always complete chant this. Okay, I'm getting mixed messages from chat now. <laughs> like, fucking! Cataclysm saying I need two broken hearts. Somebody else is saying I need one broken heart. You did get one broken heart before, so I need two. I need both. Okay. In which, I, in which case, I can't load the other save state. I just have to do it this way. I have to break a heart both times, which means I have to do... Yeah, yellow book first and then pink book. Nor the hearts for now. Guide online said do all of Esther's rituals until banquet, then swap back to Letna. I mean, I guess, yeah, that's just another way to get the hearts, but fuck it. Fair enough. Go up to banquet. 
Wait, did we not already do banquet? Banquet's after the king in yellow. Interesting. Okay, um, interior, well lit. Interior, well lit. This is the last time I'm trying this. Somebody has actually read a guide and said this is what the guide said, so I'm following the guide. If this doesn't work, I give up completely. I'll just go on to the third girl. Um, interior, well... This is after masquerade, so we're good. Enters wearing robes and a mask. Not that. <laughs> My own mask. Robes and a mask. Welcome, company cherished. Wait. Now someone's saying masquerade, then metamorphosis. Have I done metamorphosis? <laughs> This is metamorphosis. Do I need to do metamorphosis or not? I, the mixed signals are so... Ignore the hearts for now. Guide only said do all of Esther's rituals until blanket, then switch back. Somebody else said do the fucking... Da, da. Both of them have said they read a guide. I'm reading my own guide. I'm done. I'm done. There's no more sack beating. Okay. Um, What ending am I looking for? I'm looking for the first ending. Uh, love, 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 yeah, sucker for love. Sucker for love. Ending guide. See, yeah, I can't stick with the guide. There are two people who said, I read the guide, here's what to do. They said two different things. <laughs> Sucker for love, official guide on the Steam community. Sorry for it, you must be logged in. All right, this game is adult themes. I have to do it through the official. Uh, yeah, I can't do that. Ending, Sucker for love wiki. Chapter one, worth it, blah, blah, chapter two. Why does it only show Thor in chapter two? That's a lie. Terrible ending, Awakened Redux, King and White. I've got all four of those. <laughs> ah! Okay, I have to log in through my browser. That's fun. That's awesome. That's awesome. Sure. No, I don't want... Ah! Okay. Okay. Do this as well. I have to do this. Fun. Fantastic. Awesome. 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 Approve. Okay, fantastic. Breathe for Chan. I'm breathing. I'm just confused. Confusion makes me angry. Hey there, little Miss Wickers. Secret ending. Friend zone. If you get two broken hearts with the letter, then complete the final pledge. Should get that ending. The visual budge currently with a second broken heart shows up as a regular heart. Ignore that. So I was on track before when it. Oh my god. And then I did the yellow one instead because it looked like only one broken heart. Oh my god. Yeah, blah, blah. Okay. So, two broken hearts with Lynetta, then complete the final pledge. So, it doesn't really tell me how to do that, but I'm going to guess. I'll try this again. I'll go for the official guide. Official guide, preface, ritual, chapter one, chapter two. Blah, 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 blah. Nope, it doesn't even fucking. On the basket, do everything else when there is journal and look till we meet. Oh, yeah, well, yeah, terrible end. I'm gonna uh, fuck it. I'm gonna do one by one, I guess. I'll do metamorphosis and then I'll do the yellow one and then I'll do the pink one again. That should be two broken hearts, even if it shows as two, uh, one red heart. Okay, okay. You met the most serious bug I've ever seen from others' playthrough. You're a warrior so far. <laughs> yeah, I don't. This is weird. Okay, so I'm gonna do metamorphosis. Um, blah, 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 blah. total darkness, no lights, no candles, no images, and wear everything. Okay. Total darkness, total darkness. Where everything? That's everything. Total darkness. Off. Off. Total darkness. Have a certain fair ceremony in mind. I got that. Remember the second step when all is complete. Chant this, which is really slow. I mean, this is the final ending as well. That's the sad thing. We can go on to the third route as soon as we want to. It's just the fact that I want to get all these endings. <laughs> I want to see it, man. No! I was so far! Please, for the love of God. I didn't even move much. I didn't move. Why? Why must you hurt me so? I am but your loyal servant. Worst part is this ending is really similar to the kiss to death one. 
Great. So it may... It's not even worth it. It's not even worth it. <laughs> but I want it anyway. Can't get the ritual mask off. I rip the mask off my face. First broken heart. Okay. First broken heart done. Now... I get her out of my room by just entering and exiting. And then I can do this. Okay. Act two, constellation. Interior, well lit. Need to open the window and do all of this. Robes and mask. Robes and mask, yes. Take off that because I don't need it. Um, well lit. Light it the fuck up. I even put some candles on. Set the mood lighting. Open it up for you to come in and let's do this. Don't read it too quickly. Banquet and then dark communion. Wait. Banquet? I don't know. We're, we're going to do more of this for now. <laughs> going to do more yellow for now. And then we'll do the pink. We just need to get another broken heart. So yeah, I'm imagining this and then banquet. And then we feed the leftovers to Lynetta. And then we'll have two broken hearts. And then we finish Lynetta's route. That's all we have to do. That's all we have to do. It's so simple. It's so close. I just need to not fuck up. Just don't fuck up, Fu-chan. Just read it slowly. You fucked this up before. What you need to understand is that you have to experience mind break, just as Lovecraft intended. I have technically looked upon their forms, so yeah. This is just my eyes, yeah, liquidizing outside of my head. Pouring out of my skull. I'm doing this so slowly. I'm so afraid. The fact that I sometimes get little jitters is not helping me. <laughs> the true Eldritch horror experience? Yeah, they're hitting us good. Experiencing a group mind break, as we should. Come on, just a little more. There we go. Okay. Malissimo! Glitch is a part of the plan. Yep, it's all part of the story. It's all part of making me feel the Edrich pain. Okay, yeah, we banquet and then we banquet with Lynetta and Lynetta will be pissed. Ingredients, red fire candles. Allow the king into the room. Perfect. Don't fuck anything up. We've already got that. Um, red fire candles. Get an item. Perfect, we got milk. Um, does it say anything about light? Red fire, ingredient, let the king. So just let the king in and we're good. King's in. I'm going to make sure the king's in. There we go. Okay. <sighs> I respect the grind, man. It's normally, like with a normal save slot system, this would have been so easy. But with a checkpoint system where you have to get specific amounts of broken hearts, yeah, this has become pain. And that one glitchy line where it like you have to read it incredibly fucking slowly. Okay, now we banquet on the other side. So, get rid of her. Switch book. Find out what we do for the next bit. Choose the Eldritch Embrace and Communion. Communion, sure. Um, blah, 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 banquet. Let the room be well lit. Well lit. No robes or necklaces. Have the offering on your person. Got the offering. No necklaces. Yep, yep, yep. Um, well lit. Are we well lit? Yes, we are. Everything's golden. Everything's perfect. Okay. Room be well lit. No robes or necklaces. It have the offering. Perfect. No robe? Oh, shit. No robe. <sighs> Thank you. That would have been fucking bad. Thank you, chat. <laughs> I kept seeing no robe and necklace, and for some reason I was thinking about the silly Cthulhu mask. I was like, yeah, no robe, no necklace. I'm good. <laughs> I'm great. I'm doing fantastic. Ah, <laughs> oh, Fuchan. This is truly a mind break game. Okay. She force feeds me it. I spit it on the floor. But she's nice to me anyway. And now I finish off her thing. Does it even show two broken hearts? No, but that's fine. That's a glitch. Final pledge. Have a ritual knife on your person. I got that, fam. Okay, let's just do this slowly. Almost to the third sexy Eldritch God. Foo, you got this. Thank God. 
seen other playthroughs and done it myself, it's normal for this part to glitch like crazy. Fun. Fun. I'll see how fast you can do this one. So much easier than that weird glitchy one. Two. Surprised they haven't fixed the glitches. I think they're too busy working on the second game, to be fair. But I mean, yeah, they should go back if they can. Maybe it's one of those things, like, sometimes genuinely people just don't even know what's causing the glitches. Even if they wrote the program for the game, it's sometimes hard to figure out what's off about it, essentially. <laughs> the third goddess is worth it, I believe. Come on, cat girl. You've got to be the sexiest of all after all of this. Oh, Joe Sama music is stuck in my head. Wait. She didn't even say stop. We need truth. It. I just wanted to have the best prom work for a happy future together. So that now you're. Don't. Wait, but this. So. Uh, is this just the same, but I don't get the smooch, so I don't die? Tomorrow. Maybe. Silly. I'll handle. Yeah. Okay. She's it's telling me. I'm sorry. Take care. Oh yeah. Okay. So this time. Okay. That's where it was weird because I had the window open and she said maybe you should open the window. So I think this is a different one where she doesn't kiss me. Yeah! Still dead somehow. <laughs> That's all it was! <laughs> Friend zones. <laughs> Someone did say this ending was similar. Yeah, but I thought I'd at least like... Op especially since it ends that dialogue line with Maybe you should open the window and let in some air. I was like, oh, I'm going to open the window and then she's going to come in and be like, you were cheating on me and she's going to kill me. But no, they just skipped to the dead for no reason. I'm just dead. I'm just, I'm just dead. Okay, well. With that, we're done with all six. Yes, six out of six. Oh, thank God. Cat girl, let's go. Save me, cat girl. Cat girl, save me. Chapter three. Nyanlothep's catastrophe. This is Nyanlothep? Nyanlothep. Oh, so this is their version of Nyanlothep. Nyanlothep. Fuck me. Fear of the unknown is the single strongest fear of mankind. Terrors from beyond the borders of knowledge. Oh, she's doing the fucking narration this time, too. She isn't just doing the voice dialogue now. Nah, she went in. And yet, the truest horror has been in mankind's cradle since the beginning and walks the earth amongst us now. I like her voice. Yeah, it's very mature sounding. For true evil exists not in the devil unseen, but the devil seen and unrecognized as she says the first two sounded so youthful this is so different when you meet her you realize that tucking away the rest of the horrors to the unseen corners of the stars is a blessing hmm. a shade of a thousand manifestations each more horrific than the last she serves only one whose chaotic and phantasmagorical wishes she obeys with extreme prejudice. Sounds fun. But enough about me. <laughs> Let's talk about you. Oh, my room is very different this time. Holy show. Wow. She's got assets in all fucking directions. That <laughs> she's permanently doing the cat pose. Holy fuck. Tall mommy. Yeah, she is. God, her waist basically comes up to my ceiling. She has to crouch so low to get in here. Well, well, well. You're the one that Renetta calls darling and that Esther calls dearest, aren't you? I am, and you are the one who sneaks into baby's cradles? Why well, has you got the little cute cat bell up here? That's adorable. Chat, you're in the way. One second. Oh, she's got a little adorable cat bell attached to her tail <laughs> with all the fear and shit that's... Oh, this theme song as well. Holy fuck. I 
<laughs> the D stands for dog this time. Okay, this is going to be a sexy route. I... I... This dread. It's like when I first met Lynetta, but this time it's sustained. Like a state of constantly being breathless. The very air has become unfamiliar and alien to me. Saturated with infinite malevolence, it's impossible to breathe. The veil has been pierced, and the outer cosmos has revealed its limitless cruelty in the form of this avatar of insidious implication. Its very presence assails my mind, turning it against itself and all that is decent. There, at the terminal precipice, I learned that terror not only haunts, it speaks. Fuck, the writing for this part has gone hard. <laughs> Up until this point, the writing was very, like, simplistic, but cute, funny, adorable. Had some great moments of comedy, but now, goddamn. Speak up. I'm an older god, so I'm a little hard of hearing. <laughs> are you or are you not the human that has been dating my nieces? Ah, shit. <laughs> Yeah, but I mean, um, uh, we, we like to keep it in the family, am I right? Normally, I'd have an ounce of defiance in me, and I'd demand that she introduces herself first. But now, I feel it in my very bones. I'm being talked down to by something far beyond me. I... I... I am? Good. She had like a cat's purr while she said that. Fuck, that's a nice level of like detail. Would you like a cup of hot tea? A cold glass of water? I could really go for a cold glass of water, actually. I am very thirsty. And not, well, actually, yeah, in both senses, but I'm almost out of water. Hmm. Ah. No brat taming this time? Nope, nope, nope. I think we're the ones being tamed this time, and it's more of a domestication. We're going to get collared. You're offering me something to drink? You've been through a lot. I just wanted to ensure you're at ease for now. No, I just meant it's odd for you to be a guest in my room and offer me something. I should be offering you something. Are you certain this is your room? I mean, it looks a bit different, but... <laughs> The very floor beneath my feet feels mercurial and unreliable, shifting nightmarishly in non-Euclidean non, non vertigo. <laughs> Again, I get the meaning of that word. I've still never heard anyone actually pronounce it. I've only ever seen it written down. So I'm very like, eh, Euclidean, Eucl Euclidean? <laughs> who, who are you? Who am I? I am the obscure, the unutterable. I am the crying chaos. Sexy. When mankind pushes out into the unknown, I am the unknown that pushes back. And the little bit of like a tiger's roar there when she said pushes back. Okay, they're doing some really sick things with like the layering of these voices with extra sounds. That's awesome. But just like my troublesome nieces, you can just call me Auntie Nyan Nyan. I don't think I will. <laughs> no, that doesn't fit you. I'll, I'll call you Nyan, but Nyan Nyan? <laughs> Auntie Nyan Nyan? Maybe just Auntie? Auntie works for me. Auntie. Yeah, no, that's good. I... Er... Unlike with Lynetta or Esther, I still can't overcome the unnerving presence overwhelming my senses. I feel violently sick never been visited by someone so high up in rank as me, have you? Nope. I was ready to for a certain level of Eldritch Horror, but not this, apparently. Silly question. There's only one that outranks me, and if you had met her, neither of us would still exist. Oh, so they're saving Cthulhu for the sequel. Got ya. Ominous vistas of terror open from every corner of my mind. I want to run, shrieking and wailing, and alas, I've nowhere to go. My, my, you're still holding on, eh? I expected you to last long enough to chat, but it seems you're nearing your limit. Wait, Nyaruko? Nyaruko bigger than Nyanlathotep? 
I thought Cthulhu was like the main one. Is Cthulhu just like the most popular one? Huh. Anyway. Let me offer you some words of assurance. I'm the last outer god you'll ever have to see. <laughs> yeah, we'll see about that. There's a sequel being made. <laughs> what? What do you mean? I mean that things are about to return to abnormal. <laughs> Eldritch horrors will return to being obscure boogeymen that stalk unbeknownst to their prey. Oh. Lynetta is Cthulhu? Oh. I, I genuinely thought it was just like a different character. <laughs> Fuck. Okay. Cthulhu's not big at all. Wow. Cthulhu just got real fucking popular then. I just assumed Cthulhu was like the most powerful being in the Lovecraftian universe. I have never really read most of the stories. I only know like bits and pieces. Lynetta is supposed to be Cthulhu. Fair enough. The veil shall be lowered again until the gate opens and mankind eradicated in other words you'll never see me or my family ever again but what if i like seeing your family also why does your tail come oh it's her hair it's like a ponytail pony tail fuck that's cute <laughs> that was fucking wordplay that turned into artistic imagery that's awesome but why why she want to split us up. Did you know that even amongst gods, there are things that are strictly taboo? Like a human getting together with an eldritch god? You see, whenever mankind starts exploring too far, too quickly, you accelerate the end of all things. So we appear to slow things back down. We scare you back to the safety of the familiar. <laughs> I growl again. That's fucking awesome. <laughs> We whisper evils and destructive mantras to the most dangerous of your kind to ensure progress slows. Aw, they don't want the universe to end either. That's nice. The goat gilf Lynetta talked about is way more powerful. Oh, the fertility goddess. Fair. That'll be a fun sequel. <laughs> Maybe that's when the adult content will really set in. I mean, it's hard to please the fertility goddess. Because the longer you stay afraid, the longer you live. To put it simply, once mankind isn't afraid of us anymore, everything will come to an end. Ah. So just because I got horny for some Eldritch girls, I almost ended everything. Humans are doomed to explore. And once mankind makes the last discovery, once mankind reaches the edge of the map, Aw, oh, I hope you have a good day, Spacey. You'll fall off. <laughs> so if there's one thing that is certain amidst this infinite cosmos... She can get grumpy. It's that for all of time, our relationship is shepherd and livestock. As we set the pace to the slaughterhouse. You could have at least said sheep. Jesus, dude. In that context, outer gods and humans being romantically involved is beyond taboo. It's upsetting the natural order and is a conflict of interest, to say the least. You're just jealous I stole your nieces away from you. Now, all of this I can forgive because my troublesome nieces led you astray. They're hitting us with all the shepherd language. I know you didn't mean to participate in such a grave taboo, right? Um, no, I, I, I'm not even going to deny it. I totally did. I wanted to bang both of your nieces. I guess I didn't know. Don't lie, dog. Good. Then we can work together to ensure it'll never happen again. But what if I want to upset the natural order with you? You're familiar with these books, yes? I had one made for just this occasion. Even she has a book of how to please her. <laughs> Do what needs to be done. Perform the banish moo ritual. I don't even know moo. Why do I have to banish moo? What? What will it do? Mu is the bookmaker, so it will prevent eldritch gods and humans from dating ever again. What if I instead use this book to date her? I think that's the plan. No more books can be made, and the entity responsible for bridging the gap between our realms will be destroyed. That's rude, though. That's killing an elder god. You'd think you'd be against that. Our 
relationship will return to strictly business, in a manner of speaking. I don't want... Do not force me to remind you the grave seriousness of the situation. I promise you've never seen anything like what I can do. I bet, like, holy shit, you, yeah? Uh-huh. Yeah, I've got a smooch meter. That's good. Well, hold on. I kind of want to see how many endings this route has as well. God, she's big. Well, what are you waiting for? Perform the ritual. No. I had a question first. What is it? How come you're so tall? The other gods I've met didn't have so much trouble standing in my bedroom. Uh, I'm not always this tall. Sometimes I'm shorter, sometimes I'm taller. I have over a thousand forms. Oh, so you're just fucking with me then. It's bad for your back though. Maybe you should shrink down just a tiny bit. And this one is a two-story tall cat girl in high heels? 37 of my forms are. Nice. She knows what she likes. That's good. <laughs> I could take her, not in a fight. I don't think I could take her. And I've got cybernetic implants. I, I'm amazed at how much you believe in your own skill. What, what, what exactly are you? Well, when it comes to the unknown, trying to explain something is a good way to ensure you'll never understand it. Clever, clever. Huh? Let me make an example. How about love? Why don't you try to explain love to me? It's when the chemicals in your brain say, hey, this person's pretty cool. You should hang out with them. And then the other chemicals in your brain say, hey, you should smash because we want to reproduce. And then the other chemicals in your brain are like, yeah, we should keep smashing and therefore we should keep staying together. That's love. That's what love is. Ah, uh, well. I guess it's like chemicals in my brain that tell me to instinctively pass on my genes. Fair enough. Is that what it felt like to date my nieces? To smooch them? Some mere chemicals in your skull? I mean, they were kind of all over my body, to be fair. Hell no. Do you see now? The more you try to explain love on a technical level, the further you get from what it actually feels like. <laughs> I think she, she's referring to a smooch too. Incredible description, Futan. Thank you. Yeah. Love a long season pass for Smash. <laughs> Holy shit, baby. I'm a lion. And the more you try to understand what I am, the less you'll know. Yeah, you know what? You're right. I don't need to know. My only problem is you don't have lips, so we can't smooch. That's why this is the scariest and best ending. It's got to be the full-on death by Snoo Snoo ending, isn't it? That's why you can't view the Steam web page without being 18 plus. Finally. Hey, I... You ask far too many questions. Sometimes things are best left unexplained. Heed this advice. Sometimes the unknown is best kept at arm's length. But then you can't smooch it. What do you mean? Do you know where time came from? How it started? Or why it only moves forward? I know a few creation myths know about the big bang theory not the faintest clue <laughs> but you probably wouldn't have any trouble telling me what time it is right even if you don't know what time actually is or where it came from uh-huh uh-huh that's what i mean arms linked me and my family she's very protective over her nieces i and the, the rest of them i guess i'ma change that i'ma fix that i'ma take my turtle too Oh my god, Moo, no! Oh, doesn't that say Demomo in Japanese? Demomo. Anyway, or is that Moo? That'd make more sense if it was Moo Moo. Banish Moo. I am so, so sorry. She forced me to make this book. She said she'd spare me if I let you banish me instead. That's still kind of fucked up, though, isn't it? Still killing you. <laughs> to destroy me, draw this symbol and chant this. Goodbye. I hope that love will be your black fire in total darkness. <gasps> black fire in total darkness, baby. Secret ending. Let's go. Total darkness off. Oh, this is with the light on. She's just that fucking powerful. Everything already looked dark. 
Oh, there we go. Okay. Um, banish? No, I don't want to do that either. <laughs> I wanted to smash her, not banish her. <laughs> but okay, we'll do this weirdness first. Banish Nyan Lothotep. Anti Nyan Nyan. Didn't think I was going to turn my back on you, did you? We can beat her together. There's still hope for love. Draw this symbol instead. Wearing your ritual amulet, chant this. Countervail porosity? If holes appear in your hand, you've been cursed by porosity. It looks like these. Um, my hand looks good for now. The holes will multiply until you are no more. Wear the that mask and stand in front of a mirror. Chant until the holes are filled. Ugh. Oh, God. Countervail Icarus Swarm? Sudden plague of insects appearing means it's likely she is attacking with an Icarus Swarm. Immediately light red fire candles to distract them temporarily. Okay, so these are just the next things I have to do. She's going to start attacking me when I start trying to deal with her. Countervail Tenebrosity. If the lights go out and won't turn on, you can't expect Tenebrosity. There's so many Countervails. Holy sh... How hard is this going to be? Riding on the wall. Tormentor. Hideous reflection. Silence. Spirit away. Take her. Final fear. Holy fuck. No telling what will happen if she uses the sex against you. If a true form reveals itself outside your home, there's nothing we can do to stop her. I'm sorry. Give it our best shot. Um... We routinely check that your doors are still closed. If they're ajar, close them. You only have moments to do so. If he enters your home without taking something with him. Um, however, if you want to ma wear a mask and have a life form on your person, he may spare you. Leave only with a life form. Tiny Tim! Um, don't bother hiding. Okay. okay. Let's start this. And then we'll see what happens. That symbol. Two circles with a cross. Okay. Ooh, the candles are glowing. I do this. Okay. Oh, ritual mask. Whoops. Got a brand new one. Sick. Got lots of eyes and creep shit. I'm sorry. Yeah, it's like, hey, you're fucked. We're fucked. Everything's fucked. Mimagon. Nyan Lothotep. Yeah. Imgfaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaa
Nafl ot Alyoshlog. Auntie Nyanyan. Nafl ot Alyoshlog. Do you believe your mind is still on your side? For now it is, and I've got all my health, thank you very much. Do you still trust it? We'll see who it sides with soon. Oh, she is fun. Okay. Oh, what? Is, oh, shadow, 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 shadow. Icarus swarm, tenebrosity. If the lights go out, no, that's not. Uh, caustic humors. Wait, is that good? No you feel a burning sensation. Nope. You hear something strange. Nope. Um, riding on the wall. Nope. Tormentor. If you hear suspicious voices. Nope. Hideous reflection. Here, stretching lust. Nope. Silence. Nope. Spirit away. If you start turning invisible. Nope. Take her, maybe? Routinely check your doors. That's not it. It's shadows. Final fear. What? What? There is no shadow thing. Routinely check if your doors. What's the shadow? What the fuck is the shadow? Perform the correct counter veil. I don't have the correct counter veil. Shadows, 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 shadows. Porosity. Icarus swarm. Tenebrosity. Is that it? <laughs> No such thing as a cruiser. You must complete this ritual before the darkness takes dominion. Okay. Darkness, technically. Um, symbol. Circles, 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 circles! Okay. Um. Ngaft. Uh. Ahor. Nafel. Img. Infata. Ngaft. Ahor. Oh, and now I can't speak. Well, I know what to do for that one, at least. Forced humors, Psychic scream. Riding on the wall. Tormentor. Hideous reflection. Silence! If you're only able to speak before many accusations, do not try to scream. Grab the ritual knife and go to the bathroom with a mirror. Oh, God, I'm going to have to cut something out of my fucking mouth. Oh, God. Okay. Okay, that's that's done. Um, now can I continue the weird thing? No, the shadows aren't here anymore. I did that. I caught that. Do I have to keep doing the shadows anyway? Um, chant three times. The prognostications of death. <laughs> Fuck. Okay, death. Death. Caustic humors. If you feel a burning sensation in your blood and your flesh begins, uh, 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 unbearable cries. This doesn't feel right. Uh. Uh, uh, cries. Psychic scream. Hear something strange is getting louder with time. It can kill you. Go outside. All becomes quiet. If you sense the source of the strange noise, cast this counter evil. Uh, uh, go outside. Yep, that would be it. Shit. Well, oh, fuck. <laughs> That's the second piece of health gone. And the shadows are creeping in again. Hey, shadows, my old friends. Um, I've got you guys ready to go at least. Um, black horrors gibbering nearby. Come on, come on, come on. Go away, shadows. I don't like you. Not my friends. Gift ahor nafil img nifna. Was that too easy for you? We've only begun to lift the veil. <sighs> of course, mommy. I mean, auntie. Let's see how you handle the next one, dog. Okay. Woof woof. What's that? Outside your window. Answer the door, hurry. Um, outside the window. Outside the window. That was, that was, uh, if you're a burning sensation, here's something getting loud at the time. Never trust to hear any words beside mine. Oh, what is that? There's definitely writing on the wall, too. Writing is beginning to kind of appear any or you are writing on the wall. Sure that there is no writing on your body. Check your mirror off and wash any writing off your face. You write it without realizing it. Do not touch your chalkboard. Chant three times. Okay. First, check that. Oh, you are fucked up. Now you're using the girls against me? Chant this three times. Um, you write yourself. Just chant it. Sorry, Lynetta. I'm doing the thing. Chant three times. Okay. Chant it again. Chant it again. No! 
I did the right thing, didn't I? Ah, fuck. Did I have to be outside? I mean, did I have to be in the room with the writing on the wall to do that? Fuck, bad end. Well, okay. <laughs> we didn't wash our face off. Oh, I forgot to wash my face. I, I thought with the mask on, I mean, I didn't want to take the mask off. I... Fuck. Are there only two endings? Oh, good. There's only two endings. So we just have to survive this or become her dog. Um... Okay, let's do this again. Draw this symbol. Sure. Two circles. And this. Oh, ritual amulet. Ikuza. It only learn as you play. Yeah, that's the thing. Now we'll know a bit better. Hopefully we won't die as much. We won't go outside. That's for sure. Looking for this dog. I love how it gives the failed sound as if I did anything wrong. You may be capable of. <laughs> I didn't do shit wrong. Form the correct counter spell. What have we got? I don't see shit. I don't see shit. Flesh becomes porous. Okay, that we know how to deal with. Um, porosity. Wait, the mask stand in front of the mirror. Alright, I don't have to look in the mirror. I just have to do it here. Chant. Nyan lo thept. Nyan lo thept. Nafal at alushog. Nyan lo thept. Nafal al nyalushog. Flesh decaying while falling. Lovely. Now this stuff. Do you believe your mind is still Okay, we're back to where we were. Man was still rocking in its cradle. I know not only what scares you. Oh, I'm invisible. Every single one of your ancestors. This is really hard to click on things. Accurate swarm, tenebrosity, caustic humors, psychic scream. Where, what's the invisible one? Tormentor. Scratching glass. Incantations, you've been silenced. Turn invisible. Uh, they're looking for you. They want to take you away. Don't bother hiding. Pretend to be alive by standing in a room as well lit as possible. Remaining perfectly spill. Hold your breath. Do not move as much a finger. Okay. Um, candles, lights, everything. Yeah, as well lit as possible. And then just stand still. Am I good? Can I move now? I see. An eye for you. Imperceptible wraiths appearing. Nope, still invisible. Stay still. Ah, ooh, ooh. Can't do shit to me. I did the thing. I did the thing. You can't perceive me. I'm invisible to you now. Yeah, get on out of here, you fuck. Who you think you are? We good? I don't know if we're good. It said Wraith is with an S, so. Was that too easy for you? Okay, two You've down. Begun to lift the veil. Okay. Let's see how you handle the next one, dog. Why are the only one who likes it when she calls me dog? <laughs> I mean, I'm, not, I'm into it. <laughs> Your voice won't be heard again. Okay. So I'm being silenced. Oh, shit, right. Um, I can't even read the book. Cacophony of Anguish. Okay, Spirit Away. Take a final fear. Silence, silence, silence. Cries of Agony. Uh-oh. Silence. Uh, buh, 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 buh. If you're unable to speak or perform incantations, you should be silenced. Do not try to scream. Grab the ritual knife and head to the bathroom. Okay. Cut it out of my fucking face. Cut, 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 cut. We're free. Should I wash my face? Fuck it. Just in case. There's shit dripping out of it, but it did nothing. Okay. Scream. Screams of agony. Spirit away? No. Become unbearable to hear. Hideous reflection. Tormentor, if you hear serious voices, check your window. Uh, to check your window. No, no, no. If you see something upsetting, do not go outside. 
Innumerable cry voices. Is this it? Don't open your door for it. I don't... Writing on the wall. Psychic scream! Okay. If you hear something strange that's getting louder with time, it's not just your imagination. You can you go outside. Okay. Uh, outside. Outside, 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 outside. Do this. E Fuck! Is that not the right one? But we can't speak. We can speak! I cut the things out of my mouth. Fuck! And this is the shadows. Maybe too slow? Maybe. Pitch black horrors. Yeah, 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 yeah. The shadows. Uh, where were they? Tenebrosity. If the lights go out and won't turn on. I don't know if they're out. Yep, okay, they are out. Okay. Tenebrosity is no such thing. You must complete this ritual before the darkness to show the symbol is nearby. That symbol. Ooh, uh, swirlies. Swirlies, 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 swirlies. Where are you, swirlies? There we go. And then chant this three times. One, two, three. Hmm. I expected those to be a challenge. Am I surprising you? Yeah. I want that smooch, lady. In fact, I want more than a smooch this time. I am working my ass off for this. These next horrors won't be so easy to <sighs> spell. We'll see about that. I'm quite tenacious. It's clearly a time limit. I mean, yeah, obviously. But I didn't realize I'd finished the time limit. I'm hearing noises. Cacophony of... I still don't know what this is. Is it just the go outside one? Psychic stream? It's got to be psychic scream, right? Okay. It can kill you, go outside. If you can see the source... Starting to have trouble. Are these horrors becoming too challenging for okay. you to withstand? So it was just the combination of being silenced and that one that fucked me up. It was actually the time limit. I thought because that had happened twice where I got outside, saw the creature, and it like died instantly. So I thought maybe that was the wrong one, but we're good. <laughs> Oh, you can't begin to imagine the horrors I can show you. And Sounds so sexy. You won't have to imagine. <laughs> Hell yeah. Hit me. It's found you. It's found me. It's found me. What found me? Tormentor? I don't have suspicious voices yet. Hideous reflection? I don't hear glass being scratched yet either. Silence. Spirit away. If you start turning invisible, nope. Take her. Routinely check that your doors are still closed. They're still closed. Dentist your home if you wear a mask and have a life form. Huh? Check the mirror? I look good. Yeah, I'm good. Um. What? Huh? Was that the taker? Tuna check the door. I didn't see. Suffering is born. Suffering, suffering, suffering. Door one, but I didn't see any doors open. <laughs> uh, the suffering is beginning. Suffering, suffering. Tormentor, maybe? I don't hear suspicious voices. Riding on the wall, psychic scream. I don't hear that this time. What's the cumulus? If you feel a burning sensation? No. Tenebrosity, we've seen. Icarus swarm, we haven't seen yet, but. Huh? Okay, I hear something creepy. Continue to check your doors. I didn't even get to see what the fuck that was. I just kept hearing. No, nah, man. These are so hard to figure out. God fucking damn it. Here we go again. This is like playing Five Nights at Freddy's, man. We'll get there. Yeah, we'll learn about it. I just, I don't know which one that is. Always keep Knife and Timmy on you. Oh, is that the taker? 
fact, the taker didn't even make much noise. This is bullshit. Oh, I didn't like the black candle shit. Let me go read that one again. Taker. Check your doors are still closed. If they are ajar, close them. You only have moments to do so. If he enters your home, he won't leave without taking something. If you wear a mask and have a life form in your person, he may spare you and leave you with only a life form. It doesn't say anything about it making noise. I guess you just have to know. Oh, man. Silence. I haven't seen Hideous Reflection yet. Have I seen the Tormentor? You hear suspicious voices calling out to check your window. See something upsetting. Do not go outside. Writing on the wall. Psychic scream. We have heard. Caustic humors. If you feel a burning sensation. Yeah, we haven't heard that yet either. Put a mask and rove on quickly. Tenebrosity we've dealt with. Icarus Swarm. We still haven't heard yet either. There are subtitles to help. There were no subtitles in the creepy like things though. There were no subtitles for that one. Okay, we're going to start with porosity and silence. So we'll remember these ones. Um, Yeah, just wear the mask. Stand in front of the mirror. You got it. Why is everything getting creepy already? I haven't even done this thing yet. Um, draw this symbol. Did I take too long? Looking for this? Yes, dog. I was. <laughs> Guess the lack of the noise is the king and the mark here and the mark on the blackboard. Yeah. Okay. What have we got? Creepy music. I'm going to take my knife and Tiny Tim, just in case. Flesh becomes porous. Okay, they always start with flesh becoming porous. That's easy. I just wear the mask. Go stand in front of the mirror and chant the ritual. Porosity. Nyanlothotep nafel altriaga. Nyanlothotep nafel altriaga. Nyanlothotep. Nafel at Alchiog. Do you believe you What's okay. outside your window? Is she just fucking with me with the window thing? I've got to Okay, writing. Um writing, writing, writing. What did I do for that? Ignore the door. Um what's the humors? Where's the writing? If any writing's begun anyway, writing. Oh, that one sounded real. Sure that there's no writing on your body, check the mirror off and wash any writing off your face. Uh, do not check. Do not touch the chalkboard. Okay, so. Um, wash face. And then, read the thing. Ya ame glur a ya yarm yig. Ya ame glur a ya yarm yig. Ya ame glur a ya yarm yig. Ya ame glur Why does that fail? What am I doing? There's no writing on you. Do I have to wait for the writing? Okay, this is the shadow one. Sure that there's no writing on your body. Check your mirror off and wash any writing. You wrote it without realizing. Do not ch ch chant three times. What the fuck? Okay, tena 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 tena. Um, that sign and chant three times. You see it on your hand, foo. So is that something else? Well, there was definitely writing on my wall. Chant, then wash. But last time I didn't wash it, everybody was like, you didn't wash your face. What? Was that too easy? Oh, it's the mysterious voices. Wash three times. Huh? Chant, wash, chant, wash. Ch oh. <laughs> I'm so confused. So it's wash chant, wash chant, wash chant. Okay. What the nah. Let's see how you handle. Okay. What do we got this time? It's not shadows. Suffering is born. I don't know what that is. Force the humans. No burning sensation. There's suffering being born. Here's something strange that's getting louder. No. Tormentor, if you hear suspicious voices, no. Scratching last, no. Silence, no. Spirit away. Start turning invisible, no. No, no. Taker, it's probably the taker, right? Um. My doors are fine. Final fear, it can't be final fear. 
Porosity. It's not porosity. It's not the Icarus Swarm. Right. Immediately light red fire candles. I'm going to do that just in case. Oh, but then I won't be able to read the book. There's nothing else happening right now. I don't know if there's anything else going on. Forced to Cumus. Oh, yeah. I go. Oh! Okay, that's the taker. I. Um. Um. I didn't have the mask on. I didn't have the mask on. Okay, so now we know suffering is born as that. Sound of scratching glass. We've never done this one before. Uh, that's the the, the, that's the, uh, uh, the the mirror thing. Here, scratching glass. Check your reflection. If you see something strange, run away from the mirror immediately. Do not make eye contact or touch the mirror. Retreat into your bedroom and turn off all the lights. Reflections can't exist where there's no light. If it gets into the room, there's nothing you can do. Okay. Look away. Exit. Lights off. Okay, they're already off. Close that. And turn that off. Okay. Oh, but then I can't chant. Oh, I need them on. Everything else can be dark. Candles are fine. The candles are the one light you're allowed to have. When suffering happens, it's the taker. Yeah. Now we know that. We're learning them one by one. <laughs> oh, God. At least I've got my hand on Auntie's booty. That feels nice. These next horrors won't be so easy to dispel. You're already making it hard on me, woman. I've walked the earth while man was still rocking in its cradle. Oh, I'm going invisible. Not only what scares you, What's the invisible one? Every single one of your ancestors. God, it's so hard to find my way around things. Fuck, I missed it. Tenebrosity. What's the humors? Psychic scream? Written words? Tormentor? Hideous reflection? Where's the invisibility? Oh, start to turn invisible. I don't bother hiding. Tend to be alive. Standing in a room well lit as possible. Laying perfectly still. Okay. Perfectly lit, well lit. Okay. I can get one more bit of light. Yeah. Okay, perfectly lit. I just stay still. We're good. He's making something hard? Well, that's nice phrasing. <laughs> we chill? Yeah, we chill. We should be good. We just pretend to be alive. Just like I do every day. <laughs> pretend to be alive. Oh, here they come to T-pose on us. Jesus, is that you? That's normally your pose. Now we have a different kind of shepherd in the chat. <laughs> I'm gonna grab some water while this is going on. Slow ass ghost. We're just chilling. Yeah, we're just having a good time by ourselves. By our lonesome. Starting to have trouble. Are these horrors becoming too challenging for you to withstand? They've been too challenging. <laughs> oh, you can't. Yeah, okay, we've heard this before. What's that? Outside your window. Okay, that's the riding one. This is the riding one for sure. So, inside, look at face. Oh, we actually have the the riding for once. Wash face. Back. Fuck, I never turned the lights back off. Um, off. Off. Oh, stop the hurrying. No. Do I have to wash my face again? Wash face just in case. Fuck it. Wash, chant. What is this one called? Riding on the wall. Right, 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 right. Wash, chant. Wash, chant. Wash, chant. Come on, please. I deserve this. You think I'll let you become a legend? Wash. Chant? Or are we done? <laughs> okay, um, knocking at the door for real this time. Tormentor, if you use the position for you to check out your window, it's not out the window. It's out the door. 
Blah, 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 blah. Speak or performing attacks. Maybe we're fine with that. And spirited away. It will start to turn invisible. It's not invisible. I don't know which one this is. Is this... Uh, the final fear? I, I don't know which one this is. It doesn't say anything about people knocking on my door. Unless that's supposed to be the window. In which case, um... First you can check your window. If you see something outside, do not go outside. Do not open your door. Chant this. Haven't surrendered yet. Dog. Okay, okay, okay. They're knocking at the window, apparently, not the door. What? <laughs> okay. She's impressed. That's a start. That's a start. <laughs> You've got backbone for a human of your age. Thank you. Wow. Yeah, I don't get to hear that often, especially with the fucked up spine. But I doubt your will to survive will last much longer. We'll see about that. Your voice won't be heard again. Nope, gonna cut it out. Yep, super speed run. And we wash our face too. Okay, what's going on out here? I'm hearing... Oh, this has got to be the thing getting louder. I hear the written words. There's something strange. Cacophony of anguish. Here's something strange that's getting louder with time. It's not just your imagination. Go outside. Go outside and then chant that thing when you see it. Got it. Cast this counter evil. Ba ba ba. Imeshtalaba. Fatandlaga. Nafla. Survived all that. Just one human? I mean, if you're that impressed with me, you could check out my stamina in other regards, too. How about that? <laughs> in such a short time, becoming. Used to your presence? Yeah, soon I'm going to be smooching you. I can't believe it. You're no average human. Hey. But you still can't escape me. Don't even want to. She must be running out of tricks by now. The ultimate wrath of the clawing chaos is upon you. She has tentacles. And damn, that's a nice pose. Hold fast and prepare yourself, doll. <laughs> yes, ma'am. <laughs> I've lasted this long. I'm not stopping now. Wood? Yeah, fucking wood. Wood in multiple, multiple ways. I'm not afraid. <laughs> then you lack imagination. Oh shit, she's awesome. Okay. Form the counter, correct counter spell. What have we got? I hear nice music. I don't hear shit else. Maybe... Flesh becomes porous. Okay, I know how to deal with that. We put on the mask. That's the reason for the mask. And then we look in the mirror, but we don't actually look in the mirror. We just be near the mirror. And then we chant the ritual. This one. Um, you could get out of the way. Nyan Lothotep Nafel Ot Ali Shiog. Oh, it's going faster than usual. Nyan Lothotep Nafel Ot Ali Shiog. Nyan Lothotep Nafel Ot Ali Shiog. Sounds of scratching glass. Okay, we're immediately going on to the glass one. Um, glass, 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 glass. A plague of insects. You want to turn on your curse by tenacity. Feel a burning sensation. Uh, something strange is getting louder. Written words. Voices calling out. Scratching glass. Check your reflection. If you see something strange, run away from the mirror immediately. Treat into the bedroom. Turn off all lights and hide. Okay. Okay. Go see the thing. Get out of here. That's good. Um... Proceed in your bedroom, turn off all the lights. Reflections can't exist where there's no light. If it gets in the room, there's nothing you can do. Okay. Off. Where are they? Off. Are they already off? They're already off. Okay, we're good. Just repeat, repeat the thing. Epigolka ya muka ya nogafil. Okay, we've got Tenembram too. Fantastic. Does this one, did I finish that one? Yep, good, good, good. That's actually good. I test. I was testing things. Tenebram, 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 Tenebram. Tenebrosity. There's no such thing as an instance. So you must complete this ritual. That spinny thing and then that. We've got that. Okay, let's go. Nigift Ahor Nafel Imig Nigta. Nigift Ahor. Fuck! Nigift Ahor Nafel Imig Nigta. Nigft Ahor Nafel Imig Nigta. Okay, she took away my voice. That's fine. I can cut that the fuck out of me, and the screaming's getting louder. I forgot what I did for the screaming. Um, oh, screaming, 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 screaming. Sudden insects appear in hand, curiosity. I don't think I was gonna turn my back. Oh, fuck! Screaming. If you hear something strange, it's getting louder with time, go outside. Go outside, okay. Outside and chant. There's a ding, we chant. 
I Mr. Bizna Fatalgan am Nafal Imig. Oh, it's gone already. Okay, nice. What else we got? Fucking riding. I know what to do with that one. Um, do I have do I have to put on a thing? I know I have to wash my face and chant a thing. Oh well, well the riding's easy to see. And we're getting the knocking! Are you shitting me? Oh, well, 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 we're riding on the wall. Do I trust to touch the drug board? Okay, just write it off. Wash it off. I hate that. Um, wash face. Back. Chant. Yamatagla-a-ya-ya-imig. And then wash again. Shut up, Hugh. Um, again. Yamatagla-a-ya-ya-imig. Wash again. Not letting you in. You scare me. Um, yeah, I'm a gla. Ah, yeah, yarm yig. Watch face. I think I did with the writing. What was the thing about them knocking? Um, it was something about Tiny Tim. Uh, and just, not a knife? Uh, 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 your... It's the taker. It's the taker. I know it's the taker, but what do I do against the taker? Take a 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 Oh, he already took Tiny Tim. They'll protect you only once. Oh, I'm fucked then. I don't... I can't do... Oh, wait. That's the window. That's the window. This was a burning sensation in your blood. Oh, the lights are out. Tenebrosity. Insects. Oh, I'm fucked. I'm too late. I forgot that that was the window one, not the door. Uh, if you feel a burning sensation, something strange is getting louder. Written words. Uh, check your window. If you see something upsetting, do not go outside. Do not open your door for it. Chant this. I have to open the window first. Okay. Don't open it. Fuck, the window ruins my rating. That's fine. Um, yibli blibli blibli blibli. Uh, Mega Li Ali. Mega Li Ali. Still alive. Still alive, baby. What's next? Is that the creepy sound getting louder? I think that's the creep. Oh, and I'm going invisible. Okay, wraiths. And the, and the scream thing? Can I deal with the scream thing first? No, okay, the scream thing isn't here. I imagined it. It's just the invisible thing. I have to just turn on all lights. Oh, the race already fucking coming. Open and we freeze. We're good. We're good. <sighs> wow, that wraith moved in fast. <laughs> Holy shit. What up, Jeebus? It's been a while. Aren't you supposed to be carrying me when there's only one set of footprints in the sand? Why aren't you carrying me, Jeebus? stress yeah this is going this is actually pretty hard why am i doing this i hate games like fnaf <laughs> okay what's next you you're <gasps> still standing how i'm just that good you he impressed in fact the longer this has been going on you seemed more and more resolved it's almost like you're exciting me with all of this all of this making it hard on me maybe that's what i want it's not possible there's no emotion stronger than fear, and no fear more powerful than fear of the unknown. You don't realize just how much I want a smooch in time. That's not true. Humans don't fear the unknown. Never have. If you think we do, you haven't been paying attention. Even sailors, the most superstitious humans to ever walk the earth, set sail to the edges of the world. They were sure it was flat and, uninhab and inhabited by sea monsters. We've been inventors, explorers, astronauts... Hell, we take holidays to places we've never been for fun. You're not even stuttering anymore. Why aren't you cowering before me? Because now I just want to smooch you. But I need to figure out how that's going to work with you not having a mouth. Because you were wrong, Auntie Nyan Nyan. There's one emotion stronger than fear. There's one feeling that every living thing knows. And it's way stronger than fear. It, it can't be. It's... I was going to say horniness, but sure. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I fucking love this game. No, fool. It's lust. What? I just want to smash it, Auntie Nyan Nyan. As soon as you showed up, I was like, big woman, death by snoo snoo. We're going to need a bigger bed, but this is going to be great. You think the male praying mantis knows fear while he's getting some? Hell no. He knows his head's going to be bitten off by the female praying mantis. He doesn't give a fuck. He smashes that shit. That's ridiculous. You're saying pure lust is keeping you from being scared of me? Have you seen your ass? Ever heard of the suspension bridge effect? They say when two people face danger together, 
they fall in love. Not when one of them is the danger. You, don't you understand the cruel indifference of the infinite cosmos? And you should be pretty indefinite about, you know, smooching. Your world, your reality, everything you know and love, it's all meaningless and could vanish in an instant. Yeah, I mean, that's just life. That could happen at any moment anyway. You never know. Even as we speak, your sun spins around the precipice of terminal oblivion. That's gonna happen long over my time, dude. Ha! Idiot. The only thing that the sun spins around is the Earth and every human on it. Wait. My dude, that that's like 1700s thinking. We've known... No? No? no <laughs> okay he's he's he, you know what good for him oh so my hair went white yo i'm finally in my true form now that i'm gonna fuck auntie nyan nyan and that's not all there's more you don't realize you really think i'm meaningless because i'm human right you think i'm the lowest of the low an insignificant speck not worth any attention and yet here i am in your dream <gasps> You're dreaming of me, Auntie Nyan Nyan. I've got that right, don't I, Auntie Nyan Nyan? If I'm here with you, it's because you're dreaming about me. It means I'm in your head just as much as you're in mine. I think the truth is that you're terrified of me. You're terrified of the speed at which I'm meeting the unknown and planting a big wet one on it. <laughs> what a line. I'm terrifying enough to invade your dreams after all, right? You've come face to face with the greatest threat to your power, and nothing you can throw at him can stop him. And after all this, after meeting Lanetta, serving Esther's whims, and being subjected to the worst you have to offer, I gotta say, it was all pretty fun. Pretty worth it for some smooches. Now tell me, does this sound like it's my nightmare? Or is this yours? It's my win, Auntie Nyan Nyan. It can't be. You, you think you can turn the tables on me? Oh, yeah. I already have. You're the second most powerful god, and you fear me. It's only a matter of time before I date every single god, you know. I'm going to leap into the great unknown cosmos and smooch that, too. Starting with you. Buck her up, Auntie Nyan Nyan. You've earned it. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> We scared her so much she woke up. No, keep going. No, no, keep going. I'm, you know, you can keep going, Auntie Nyan Nyan. Um, now I see why people like it when I did the breathing heavy thing on a voice pack. Fair enough. That's a good CG, too. He, he escaped from me. Technically, you ran away from me. A human. Too lustful to fear anything. <laughs> Shit, this game really was made for me. It's just like every time I play a horror game and I'm just like, damn. They're kind of sexy though. I mean, why should I run away when a <laughs> cute monster girl is coming after me? I, I just want run forward instead. Could such a thing even exist? What horror. <laughs> as soon as any of us dreams again. I'll be right there to smooch you, Auntie Nyan Nyan. So I guess you better all wake up and end existence otherwise. He undoubtedly will return to haunt our hearts once more. <laughs> oh, I'm never getting a good night's sleep with him on the loose. Auntie Nyan Nyan. The D has arrived. <laughs> what a fucking ending. Yo! Dream, 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 dream. Yo, is this a? This sounds like the girl who plays um the first one, the Lamba Maya Cthulhu girl. Wonder if that's actually her singing it. Dedicated to my brilliant wife Caroline Hunter. You make me a real sucker for love. Oh, that's adorable. The pathetic guy is the true winner. Yeah, he is. <laughs> So we got every ending. Well, no, we haven't got the bad ending for that yet. We have to go back and do the bad ending before we win. Uh, before we're truly done. Friendly reminder, do you want to smooch, Auntie? You can. 
Is it by just following her guidelines? Oh, I'm glad I saved that for last. I thought it was just going to be a bad end, so I never bothered. But yeah, we'll, we'll go do it again. Vocalist is Chisa? Oh, so it's not. Special thanks, Liam Sorda. I miss so many of the things. The credits. Simple, but it's nice. Yeah. Can't get over his only goal being to get a kiss. Yeah, it's really funny. <laughs> they didn't even, like, try to go any further than that. They just wanted to kiss. Ah, uh, there were some great scenes in this game. And yet it's so fun to watch. I'm glad you guys enjoyed it, too. I had fun. Oh, shit, I can load checkpoint now. We're done. Um, yeah, let's go. Let's go see the bad ending. Two out of two, six out of six. And let's meet Nyan and do the bad one. All I have to do is, yeah, just keep doing that. Okay, Auntie Nyan Nyan. The eyeball one. I guess I'm going to banish poor Moo Moo. Sorry, Murray Moo Moo. You've been a evil spirit attached to this world for too long. Destroy me, draw this symbol, and chant. One final time. Moo. So, you're as wise as you are lecherous. That's good. I expected you to be an insolent, uncompromising philanderer. You can imagine my disappointment to have found you actually quite agreeable. You can still give me a smooch if you want. I mean, might as well on the way out, am I right? Then all is settled. The bridge between our realms is severed for good. She did say she was disappointed I wasn't so lecherous, so maybe she was kind of into me from the moment she saw me. C can, can I just go home now? This may look like your room, but I promise that you've traveled a long way from home. Oh. Far enough so that you will find it quite impossible to return. Oh. Um... That's a problem. <laughs> Wait. Hold on. I... I did the spell. I'm no danger to you anymore. I know that very well. You've just seen the precipice of the abyss and flinched. There's nothing left of you to be concerned with. However, that banishment ritual made it so neither you nor I can travel to the realm of man ever again. I mean... We get to be together, though, right? You're not just going to abandon me here. Just a precaution. Call me Thoreau. You will stay here where I can keep my eye on you, where any romantic escapades of yours will not endanger us all. So I can continue my romantic escapades. <laughs> but... But I... Rarely do I bother myself with the affairs of humans, but it was a smooch, wasn't it? The treasure for which you traded your life how many times? I'm gonna get a smooch. Curious. Then allow me. Oh, <gasps> yeah! I'll show you how worth it it is! Smooch! Is this sufficient? That's all you need to smooch me, right? Three hearts and a big glowing button. That's the plan! I am well versed in human courtship, but am curious as to what made my nieces bicker over you so incessantly. <laughs> Now that you don't pose a threat. I hope she gets addicted. It'll be really funny if she gets addicted after one kiss. Now then, come to me, human. If you don't mind smooching an old cat like me. She said the thing. She said the fucking thing. If I don't mind. Oh, my fucking God. <sighs> That's the best part. <laughs> While the fucking shambling horrors are <laughs> watching on. Together forever? Yay! It's got a tentacles all wrapped around me. I'd imagine, yeah, that'll eventually lead to some smashing. It's death by Snoo Snoo. They just couldn't show that in the actual game. He didn't mind at all because his mind broke. <laughs> oh, yeah. Your face. I became just like her. That's how we learn to kiss each other. It's not an end pun. I know. That's weird, actually. Sucker for love. For okay. I think, yeah, we finished everything. 
Two out of two. Six out of six. Two out of two. We have finished. Sucker for love. <laughs> I wonder when the sequel comes out. Let me check that real quick. Do, 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 do. If it has a date. Ah, don't do your advertisements. Sucker for love. Only two out of two? Yeah. There was a prelude, which was a free demo. Okay. Sucker for love. Date to die for is the next one. The sequel. Put the love in Lovecrafty and horror. Avoid the fanatical cultists and survive dangerous rituals to escape the black woods with your life in this 90s anime-inspired visual novel. It is indeed Sheep Mommy. And Sheep Mommy looks pretty... Um, I mean, she's very furry. <laughs> but she's still kind of banging. <laughs> Plan release date 2024. Okay, that's going on my wish list. I'm not sure if we're going to get permissions to play that, but I want to. Oh, a fun four-chapter visual norm through Lovecraftian mythos. Introducing Roxanne, the black goat of the woods, a new datable entity. Multiple endings determined by player choice, all new 360-degree hand-drawn 2D. Oh, shit. So, yeah, this is going to be even harder. It's going to be everything is move-aroundable, everything is explorable. No horror elements this time, we swear. Come on, trust us. <laughs> Fair. Um, developers have mature content including insanity, violence, light swearing, innuendo, and sexual themes. Man, I want full on sex. God damn it. Then I probably wouldn't be allowed to play it. This is fair. The characters in this look crazy. Summon the All Mother. Oh my god, the bookseller. Okay, stop, stop, stop trying to get me copyright. Okay. So, <laughs> there's more stuff going on later. <sighs> horny O-Sheep. It's not even horny, because, I mean, what would I be able to do about it while I was playing it on stream? It's just, I, you know, when you get, like, a mature warning and you can't even open up the page without lock... Why? When you get a mature themes warning and get told you're not even allowed to fucking, you know, open up the page without proving that you're 18 plus... It's just kind of disappointing when you do that and then it's like, hey, it ain't even your full arrow gay. It's just a dating game. <laughs> it's fine. That was a fun experience. <laughs> the room jump scares. Yeah, that happened twice today. Moo the Shogoth is cute. Wait. Wait, which one's... Mo I don't think I ever saw Moo. Unless Moo's the old bookseller? That is spoiler. It would make sense, I guess. Because, I mean, yeah, she made the book, so being the bookseller in the game would make sense. Um, I regret not getting the plushies when I had the chance. Oh, she is the bookseller. I wonder who the trendy girl is, then. There's, like, a trendy girl in the advertisements as well. Interesting. Okay, let me put on some music. MC? Wait, you think the trendy girl is the MC of the game? <gasps> it's a Yuri game? Oh, you better not be lying to me. <laughs> I want to believe. I want to believe. Um, battle theme. Chill. Yeah, what should we put on? Maybe this one. Can you play the demo? Oh, okay. People played the demo. That's why they know. It's a Yuri. Oh, that's awesome. Which one was your favorite foo? Oh, God. Variety is the spice of life is the thing. <laughs> it's, it's like, um, meh. Mm, I uh, first girl was very very sweet adorable I never wanted to cheat on her it made me feel bad second girl I fucking loved um she's awesome she was very degrading she was very like I loved the brat taming roots but I also like this is the thing like when I if you ever get me to do one of those like kink tests I am fine with being a brat tamer and being the brat I am fine with being abused and being the abuser. So she was kind of perfect for me with the different roots. It was kind of fucking awesome. But then Auntie Nyan Nyan showed up and she was fucking huge and interested in kissing. And her bad end was honestly better than just the terrifying her end. Well, there were some implications about the terrifying her end, but you're just, yeah, stuck with her forever and her using me as a plaything. Not bad either. Not bad either. <laughs> so, you know what? Uh, Number two or three. Number one was too sweet for me. Number one was the type of thing where I'd like the story more than actually being in that relationship. Number two and three? 
They're a fun time. Not a long time, but a fun time. <laughs> I love Esther. Esther was great. Auntie Nyan Nyan was great. Um, Lita, 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 whoever she was, the Cthulhu girl was just adorable. I want her to have the purest happiness in the world. And that does not come from the MC. The MC does not give her that. So she did have that Yandere vibe though. She did, but she didn't lean into it enough. It was very much, I'm Yandere. Nah, I'm just kidding. I like you too much to be full Yandere. <laughs> Lynetta, thank you. Lynetta sounds so weird for me. That enslavement ending CG for Esther. So many of the CGs, honestly. So many of them. That was a good game. I had fun. <laughs> and awesomely, we, we didn't actually get any super chats today. So I don't have to catch up on anything. Plus, it's been a long stream. We just hit seven hours. We just hit seven hours. God damn it. I'm the only one who could turn a three hour game into a seven hour game. <laughs> it wasn't even that text heavy. I didn't even read to have to read or voice act that much. It was just getting lost on the one ending and having the um, Auntie Nyan Nyan really work us hard. But yeah, I think I'm just going to head off for today. Tomorrow, how long is Bakura? Let me check how long is Bakura. Because I mean, if that's a short one, I could definitely do like a long Zatsudan and catch up on things after that. Bokura. How long to beat? How long to beat? Four and a half hours. Yeah, we might be able to... We might be able to catch up on the rest of the uh, stream labs after that. Oh, the slowest people take seven hours. How long did it take Albanyan? Let me check that. Albanyan and Sunny played this. Oh, they took just over five hours, like five and a half hours. Okay. I reckon we'll be able to do it. <laughs> I, yeah, I, I, I reckon we'll be able to finish it within like five hours as well. I, I don't think me and Pio Chan will be any less gamer than Albanyan and Shiny. Yeah, that's not so bad. Nah, we can finish it in like five and a half hours. We'll probably chat for a little bit after that and then we'll go our separate ways. That'll be at like six hours ish. Maybe we'll finish it faster. As long as your teamwork is good. Yeah, I honestly have no idea what Bukura is about. So that's going to be a complete surprise to me. Look at him bargaining with himself. <laughs> as you and Pio Chan lend to the chat a lot. We tend to chat a lot. Yeah, so we may get distracted from the actual game and just end up like Zatsu darting partway through it. And yeah, not being as fast as we should but we'll see <laughs> but yeah in that case i'm probably gonna head out for the day and we'll just be back tomorrow morning do i have anything i have to do tonight i mean i know i have to look up somebody who do 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 a ba 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 second year a badge for us let me see Cause tonight isn't the drinking stream with kunai is it um it's friday i guess no, I'm free for the rest of the night. Drinking stream must be tomorrow. Yeah, okay, okay. Yeah, no, that's perfect. That should be good. Have a good rest of the day. Yeah. Oh, you may hire. Thank you so much for donating the food funds. Yeah. No message, but thank you so much for supporting the channel. I hope you have a lovely day. Please rest well. Thank you for being here. And Tribe Princess, thank you for donating the food funds. Hope you have a lovely evening. Please rest well. Thank you so much for being here. Tomorrow? Yeah, tomorrow I'm playing Bokuro with Pio Chan. We're starting an hour early. So we're starting at 9 a.m. Oh, wow. No, now there's suddenly a bunch of super chats. <laughs> um, we're starting at 9 a.m. Uh, we're going to play that for probably five hours, it sounds like. And then we're going to be drinking with Kunai in the evening. Um, what am I doing on Sunday? Oh, yeah. Sunday's the first time we do an open archive and see how that goes. So we'll be playing Rune Factory 5. I still need to download that. <laughs> Komori75, thank you so much for donating the full fun. Yeah. Everyone was so focused during the game. I mean, I never read them during games unless it's like a Zeldatsudan kind of thing anyway. So, yeah, I, I like it when people leave the super chats till the end. It was just, I was surprised suddenly some came in. I thought there was just going to be none for today, which is all good. Thank you for playing one of my favorite games and being a warrior till the end. You did so well. I'm having so much fun. Have a good night later. Thank you so much, Komori. I actually, once I got into the swing of knowing like the spells and things, even that final part was actually pretty good. It was stressful, but it was a good kind of stressful where you felt like you'd achieved something by getting through it. <laughs> that was good. Many thanks for absolutely not losing your mind over the uncomprehensible Riz needed to get the smooch. Yeah, I mean, the sad thing was like, ah, uh, if I'd known how silly the final ending was where it was basically no different from the other one. <sighs> the trigger is saying there were no super chats so you can leave. Oh, were people trying to hold me here? 
Too bad. I got through them. I'm heading out. <laughs> but thank you guys so much for joining me today. I had a blast as usual. This is always fun. Oh, I'm Jane Lim. Thank you for donating for funds. That's it. Arigato. But yeah, I'm going to head out now. I'm going to relax for a bit. And then, um, yeah, I'm going to finally look up and start to hire a second year. Oh, God. And I have to prepare for my birthday, too. I have to message so many people about recordings and stuff. Okay. So, yeah, I've got a couple things to do this evening. <laughs> Everybody, have a lovely evening. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you had as much fun as I did because I had a lot of fun. This MC was quite a bit like me. I do be like, yo, yes, they're going to kill me, but they hot. <laughs> so it was a fun time. I'm looking forward to playing the second game someday. Not sure if we'll get permissions to stream it, but I hope we do because, yeah, this was a great time. <laughs> oh, shit. And Yesenia. Um, this is such a fun stream. Made my work day go by much quicker. Have a great day. Thank you. And I'm glad it made your work day go quickly, but oh sure. Reverse Uno. Thank you for joining me. I'm glad you guys had so much fun as well. As long as whatever takes me out is hot. Honestly, yeah. If you get to die while looking at something beautiful, I mean, everybody dies eventually. That's just a more fun death. <laughs> okay, let's wrap this up. Thank you all for being here. I'll be back tomorrow morning. Remember, tomorrow morning's an hour earlier than the usual time. Uh, PO time set the time. You wanted 9 a.m. EST. <laughs> well, EDT. We've changed time zones. But yeah, it'll be 9 a.m. rather than 10 a.m. So whatever your normal time zone is for our streams, one hour before that. Um, yeah. As always, do not be led astray, my confidants. Thank you so much for joining me. And I will catch you guys next time. Uh, oh. Cthulhu, Cthulhu, unguard him. Sorry. <laughs> Had the wrong button pressed in. But yeah, thank you guys for joining me. Okie dokie foo. Yeah, we'll be back tomorrow morning. No worries. This is a long stream. I was really... <laughs> Considering my whole thing was, hey, once Archivist release, we'll do like one-off short streams. We're all going to be playing like three to four hour games. <laughs> it is what it is. <laughs> it is what it is. Alwarian. Oh, sorry. I should say properly. As usual on the way out, I'd like to say a special thank you to everybody who joined the membership today, including Awarian, Sarge. <laughs> Fun short stream today. It was still seven hours. It was, it was, I mean, I was shorter than the nine hour ones I was doing last week, I guess. <laughs> Callie, welcome back to the membership. <laughs> Def Kuzu. Oh, this one I'm going to have to translate i only understand the okasan oh this is the shoes okasan one edris bum, ba -da -bum. the chan doesn't understand the concept of short streams i had a short stream yesterday <laughs> shu obachan oh it's not even okasan it's obachan <laughs> shu obachan welcome back to the web sheep yee oh and it's me ka thank you so much for donating the food funds I'm glad you enjoyed the stream and I hope you have a lovely rest of your day. Joyous. Jonathan R. Cloudcat. Tiff, Tiffany. Bah. Thank you so much for the 10 gifted membership. I hope you have a wonderful evening. Please rest well and take it easy. Yena, Sheep, SHXT. Oh crap, I have to do the super chats from yesterday too. Those ones I'll definitely do, even if I can't ever manage to get through all the ones from the Archivist debut stream. At least I'll be able to do those ones. Um, I'm Jane Lim. Thank you so much for the gifted membership. And Joyce Lie, welcome back to the membership. Sea Times. Alone the Kettle. Natalie. Tenny Pa. Lavina. And finally, I'm Nix. Thank you everybody for joining the membership. Thank you so much for being here. We'll be back tomorrow morning. Um, at 9 a.m., one hour early for Bokura with Pio Chan. That should be a fun time. It's always good when we hang out with Pio Chan, but it's also supposed to be a good game, so that's awesome. Thank you, Foo and Mods. No problem. Sorry you missed the stream, but I hope you enjoy the uh, uh, VOD. Also, Mika? Oh, not probably not Mika I'm from Danganronpa then. <laughs> anyway, everybody have a lovely evening. I'll check if I can raid anybody on the way out. But as always, do not be led astray, my confidants. Not even by giant cat lady aunties. And I will catch you guys next time. Let's see if anybody's streaming right now. Nope. Ah, that's fine. 
<laughs> Goodbye, everybody. Have a lovely day. Bye-bye.